Uh, RochesterInsider.com is kind of doing a March uh, bracket brawl, Anthony, and I know how much you love these bracket things. <laughs> well, I hope Hinkley writes that I really love the bracket brawls <laughs> and doesn't catch an ounce of sarcasm in my voice. <laughs> right. No, the only one we uh, enjoy so far was what Toucher and Rich are doing. Yeah. With the unfunniest comic thing. Mm-hmm. That was very original that and different. Uh, and Rochester, they're doing Rochester Radio Madness. Rochester Radio Madness. And if you go to rochesterinsider.com. That's using the ma- madness part oh, of yeah. the March Madness. See, we used the March bracket brawl. So we had March in there, right. but not madness. No. And now they're using the madness. And coming soon to our show, April craziness. Right. And April craziness. Hands working on it. I on think the Opie and Anthony show. When are we going to do uh, April craziness? Starting tomorrow, maybe? I think the first round will be tomorrow, yeah. All right. First round tomorrow. Make sure you tune in because it's it's crazy. Oh, it's, it's well, of course, it's April craziness. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Why, March Madness just sets up for April craziness. <laughs> We're going to start a trend where we expect every radio show in America to do April craziness. Yes. Get away from that dumb March Madness. And then uh, I'm, I'm hoping for May retardation, <laughs> where it just completely goes off the scale and we become blithering idiots. You missed the obvious. What? May mayhem. May mayhem. Now we got to mm. do something for June. June. Uh, <laughs> June. <laughs> June. <laughs> the June. The June. Very nice. June bug out. Oh, 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 oh. a June bug. <laughs> <laughs> so rochesterinsider.com they're doing rochester radio madness and guys i'm proud to announce that uh we're in in this competition and we beat a show called casper in the first round casper and we are right now taking on the morning co- uh the morning coffee club what the morning coffee club what is that Look at the picture of the Morning Coffee Club. They are the three most killable people I've ever seen in my life. Look at that pig. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see. Okay. Wow. Um, Boy, does she have a voice for radio, this one. Coffee Club. Terry Clifford. Oh, oh my God. Look at this pig. Whoa, look at Terry Clifford. And she's a flatso. <laughs> she's a flatso, which is the worst thing a fat chick can be, is flat. Yeah, good idea, perming that, uh, getting a perm on top of your fatness. She looks like Del oh, Griffin. wow. <laughs> yeah, she This does. could be the most despicable woman I've ever seen in my life. Well, Terry Clifford. Wow, Terry's tidbits. We're trying to get to know. Those uh, are on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fat went to the wrong places, didn't it, honey? Um, we're taking on the morning coffee club in this, in this Jesus. Rochester radio madness competition. So we want to get to know <laughs> Terry Clifford. <laughs> Do we obviously, obviously the cornerstone of the radio show. Cornerstone of a building. <laughs> right. Well, that's called a setup. I yes. did a little bounce pass there. Nice layup, Anthony. <laughs> Well, and and thank God that uh, we're taking on the Morning Coffee Club because the Morning Coffee Club was up against Late Nights with John Tesh, and if we uh, if we were up against Late Nights with John Tesh and lost, that would be very embarrassing oh, for our career. Be. So we're taking on the Morning Coffee Club and, uh, Coffee Club. Oh. and Terry Clifford. Wow, Look at her. you want to read about Terry Clifford for us, uh, Jimmy? Today, please. Uh, the listeners are going to be able to get a picture of her. I guess. We can throw it up on onaradio.com later today. This is so heinous. Yeah. I really am stunned. Well, in the in the uh, picture, there's three of them. There's a guy, a slender gentleman wearing a flannel shirt, making kind of like a, uh-oh, like a wacky face, uh-oh face. <laughs> and behind him with her <laughs> hand on his... Sh- oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. Okay. I just have to jump in because I have a little experience in radio, and I, I'm... Just by the face in the flannel shirt, I'm thinking he's the crazy one. Yeah, he's the one. Uh oh. Uh oh. And the two people behind him, it's almost like picture a guy in the middle and two people behind him, each leaning one arm on his shoulder, like a family yeah. portrait. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're both fat, and the fat woman has a jovial look on her face, which she should not have. Uh, and that's Terry Clifford, and the, uh, the other guy, I don't know who he you is. You know why? Why? Someone's ready to throw a sardine in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, now my joke sucks. I was going to say that the camera guy it kind of has some donuts that, you know, oh. that he's kind of flashing to get her to smile I, like that. I went with, with the walrus <laughs> joke. Yeah, and I would have said she's smiling like she just bit Bo Derek's leg off. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, 
like that. What a mess. Oh. I can't get enough of this Terry Clifford now. Oh, she's and the guy great. in the middle with the big ears. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> with huge ears, yeah. yeah he's horrendous. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, we're beating them right now, forty six point two percent, and we have fifty three point eight percent. That's it. Those numbers will uh, change drastically in the next hour. Or so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, Terry Clifford, what do we know about Terry Clifford? There, she's fat. Oh, she's awful, and she has what looks like a curly version of Gene Simmons' wig on. <laughs> Terry Clifford is Zilcho number one. Uh, working at WBEE is truly a labor of love for me. I was originally hired in October of 1984, three years out of college. One small market radio station under my belt. Jesus. <laughs> you fit 18 major markets under your belt. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. She worked at 1240 AM WGVA in Geneva, New York. Little known mm. fact, I got my radio start in Geneva, New York. At a fine station called CQ102, hit music and more. Yeah. This bio, it's its so awful you can't even be funny with it. No. Yeah. Like, here's the one line she goes for a joke. Well, could you go, could you continue? Because I want to comment about the next line. Okay. She, she uh, graduated college in 81. <laughs> she, her first gig was at WGBA in Geneva, New York. And then she was ready to conquer Rochester. Ready yeah. To conquer Rochester. 22 plus years later, I'm still working on that. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, give it, give it up. The only person that should be proud to be uh, doing twenty plus years in Rochester radio would be Brother Weed, mm -hmm. because he is like a monster. He is a monster. So is Terry Clifford, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the Cloverfield monster, but <laughs> Jimmy, come on, man. She, she wants to conquer Rochester by knocking down buildings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyone uh -oh. else? Oh, that... <laughs> oh, that's the guy in the middle. Anyone else that has spent 22 years in Rochester radio, and I love Rochester, I go up there two or three times a year easily, uh, should kill themselves. Kill themselves. Oh boy. So she's still working on that, Jimmy. What else you got here? I, I don't know. There's nothing else. Um, I have uh, worked every air shift imaginable through the years, along with a number of other jobs around the station, but none that I love more than the B Morning Coffee Club. I have worked mm. with and for some of the best people the business has to offer. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Who cares? For those of you who have listened for a while, should be for both of you, uh, you'll remember <laughs> the likes of KB Cooper, Coyote Collins, and of course the unforgettable Bill Coffee. <sighs> Bill Coffee. <sighs> Is Isn't that it? why the show is called Morning Coffee Club? Oh. It's like the drink, only spelled different. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next line... Only the hijacker. Oh, only oh. luckier because you don't have to listen to this fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was Cooper. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. The next, line, the next line in this bio could go either way. It could get either a really big laugh... Mm -hmm. Or it can make people very sad. I think that is up to you. Laugh. That's up to you to decide. Yeah. Uh, who are we to uh, decide that for you? Bill Coffey. He was my coworker, my mentor, and one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. His sudden death. Ooh. Yeah. His sudden death on Monday, December 6, 2004. When the hell did this happen? Oh, it was I just December told 6, you. 2004. Sorry. Left the whole... In our uh, staff and my heart, the size of the Grand Canyon. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Start writing. All right. <laughs> At the funeral, I collapsed and left a similar size hole in the floor. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We like uh, exaggerated humor, but if you have a hole in your heart the size of the Grand Canyon, that doesn't leave a lot of room for the yeah. blood to continue pumping. Right. <laughs> she really could have used a hole in her stomach. <laughs> mm. Who puts that in their bio? Yeah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it says, uh, blah, blah, blah. Whom from, uh, wait, I will for, forever be grateful to Steve Hausman, who from December 7th, Oh, December 7th, very special to her. That's when the Japanese bombed her. <laughs> <laughs> nah, whatever. So oh. we're up against this uh, show called The Morning Coffee Club. Go to RochesterInsider.com to check it out for yourself. All the great shows in there. Uh, wow. Mike Danger. I am one lucky lady, she says. Yeah? Yeah. Are you? Really? 
Wow. Um, Luck be an elephant. Tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All the shows we're gonna have to take out to uh, take the title. Uh, we're gonna have to take out Mike Danger. We're gonna t have to take out the Wake Up Club. Uh, we're gonna have to take out Morning Drive with Gately and Julie mm. and Wesley's World, whatever the hell that is. What is that? I don't know. Wow. There you go. So we're in a bracket thing. Yeah. Rochester Radio Madness. Wow. <laughs> Look at Terry Clifford. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> oh, totally. She's all I want to think of today. <laughs> she is horrible. Look at those arms. <laughs> They're just, I can't get over this picture. I bet she's got double ass. You ever see fat women that have the ass in the middle of their ass? It's like a separate ass. Because the panties aren't that big, yeah. So, so they kind of bunch up and squeeze part of the fat into a, a smaller, like quato, uh, from Total Recall. Sure, sure. It's like quato ass. Yeah, you got a little butt growing out of the uh, the big butt. Now. Yeah, I bet Terry Clifford's got that. Mm -hmm. Her hair is. It, you know, it looks like it looks like <laughs> it looks like a walk with an afro. <laughs> it's uh, curly and completely bullish. <laughs> <laughs> it looks. I, I think it looks more like cotton candy myself. It's it's very hobbitish. I think she. I, I think she. Just, I think she cuts her own hair in the mirror. She has hair like Herb Tarlick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's say hi to Jared in Boston. Jared. Jared. What's up, Jared? Eat the sandwiches. Jared. What's up, Jared? Hey. Uh, way to tick on those hard targets, you bunch of nudges. <laughs> We're nudges. Oh, it's making you laugh, though. Oh. Let's be honest. Oh, she's what she is, you know? I mean, flatso. Uh, flatso. I love flatso. Flatso. <laughs> it's the, oh, the curse great. of the fat woman. <laughs> Being fat with no boobies. The flatso. God bless the Rosie man. O'Donnell's the classic flatso. The classic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic. Just huge with no breasts to speak of. Yeah. Let's uh, go to Tanner in Fargo. Tanner? <laughs> what? Boy. Herb Tarlick's picture. Uh, yeah, what's up, Tanner? Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? Oh, good. Where are you? Up by the lake? Again. Huh? You did this to me last time I called. I know. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do that every time you call. What do you think? <laughs> Hi there. How are you? Okay. Right. Well, okay. Jimmy. Right here. Hi. I right here in Brainerd. Why don't we take care of it here in Brainerd? No. Right here in Brainerd. You know, Brainerd. Let me tell you something, Tanner. You should go with that true coat. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, That's my deal, Wade. Hey, those are some sweet numbers there, Tanner. <laughs> what a dick that guy was. Just, sweet numbers. Just took his deal away from him. Not a bank. <laughs> I'm not a bank. Right? Miserable bastard he was. <laughs> That's my Come deal. on, Wade. <laughs> Such a super lady. I'm going to watch that movie again. Well, you just have to tell me what you need for your finder's fee. <laughs> right. Finder's fee? No, I need all the money, Wade. <laughs> you darn tootin'. Uh, hey, I'm cooperating here. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah? Okay. Someone is <laughs> suggesting that this Terry Clifford looks a lot like Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh, they would have grown his hair out a little bit. Uh, uh, go ahead, Tanner. Jimmy, I'm sorry I missed you in Minneapolis. Oh, thanks. I because I'm such a big stalker of you. But anyway, I uh, was because were we you uh, over the Radisson? <laughs> <laughs> no, but should have seen me on stage. I was funny looking. <laughs> Dude, you oh, guys see the color <laughs> picture of Terry Clifford? Oh, oh my God. God! Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, black and white yeah. makes her look in a general mm. kind of way. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. Hold on, hold on, buddy. She's wearing Terry Clifford. We're looking at a photo of her in color, and she has on glasses, and she's with two guys, and she has white gl gloves on. Ugh. She's wearing two white why? gloves. I why? Why? Because she's uh, holding an Oscar, and I guess it must be uh, a real Oscar. That's why the white gloves, so you don't mess it up with all the greasy fingers that she has. Oh, I'm all, sure. All the fried chicken she's Chicken eating. and whatever the hell else she's eating. Mm. That's great. The white little uh, gloves. She looks like a panda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Whoa. 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 All right. That hairdo is wonderful. <laughs> Atrocious. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, she looks like the rental car lady in planes, trains, and automobiles, but fatter. 
<laughs> I'm fatter. And John Candy. <laughs> Could you move down to her white gloves? Yeah, let's see the white gloves. We got to get these pictures up. Why is she wearing white gloves? Oh, because she is holding an Oscar. No, right. she is, and I'm sure they don't want the grease on the damn thing. Yeah, put these gloves on. They probably make her do that, like whenever there's stuff around, so she can't be picking up little chocolate things. I look at her fingers <laughs> and see if she's been eating. You've been eating, haven't you? The insurance company makes her do that. <laughs> she checks on her. See if there's grease on her gloves. <laughs> You got morning coffee club audio, Danny? Oh, uh, Danny. Uh, Thank God. Tanner, you better hurry up because we got morning coffee club audio. This Whoa. is the radio show we're up against in Rochester um, Radio. I forgot the name of the contest already. Brackets. Bracket like madness. Gem. Craziness. Okay, Insanity. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, with my job, I can only listen to the show at night. So I was just listening to yesterday's show. And around the end, when you were talking about Dennis and Callahan... I decided to call them up because they're on right now, and I played some of your audio for them, and they listened for four minutes and then hung up, and then I rolled it back to when you boys were talking about how well you've done for yourselves, so I called back, and I played that for them. Well, cool, because they, they were the ones that took the shot yesterday and said yep. they, they said, whatever happened to them, guys? That's right, and then after you said XM, I paused it, and I said, does that tell you where they're at? And the, the young man or whatever on the screen caller said, dude, you're such an effing loser. Right. But yet you got through twice in a row immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're, oh, hey, we they're, really, I got to tell you guys, we really want this battle in Boston. We're, we're definitely going to hit EEI hard. And one of these guys, I know a little bit about him. He will absolutely crack and say some horrific things, which will be just terrific. Oh, will he really? Oh, he will crack. Why? Is he? Uh, he's just a. He's just a pompous ass that can't imagine anyone not liking him. Oh, he will crack. Oh, oh we got Jim Jeffries here today. Awesome! I forgot that he was coming in. Great guy, man. Very funny guy. All right, hey, uh, uh, Tanner, thank you. Yep. All right. Adios, boys. Bye. Oh, she's wonderful. Do we have time to play Coffee Club audio? We're confusing everyone. Please, we're, Opie. We pretty much take on the whole radio industry every morning. Let's just <laughs> let's just be honest. We're, and now we're in a bracket thing with uh, against this uh, coffee club, isn't it? In Rochester. Mm. We made fun of uh, Scott from Scott and Todd yesterday because he sounds like he's uh, talking with loose teeth. Can we play that audio from yesterday again? That made me laugh all night. <laughs> that was really good. We'll play it after the break. Know what happened to him? Old rock face. <laughs> we're taking on EEI in Boston. We're all over the place, so just try to keep focused here. This is uh, a show we're up against, I guess. Do they even? Oh, they're on in mornings, and we're on like we have a horrible time slot, by the way, in Rochester. I've been fighting that for a long time. Two to five. That's prime time. Two to five stinks. You want to get people in their cars. <laughs> It's all about getting people when they're in their cars. Two to five yeah, rush stinks. Hour. And I, I, I lived in Rochester. I mean, the commute is really short, and they're not commuting at two in the afternoon. No. Uh, morning Coffee Club. Here's some audio of the show we're taking on. Rochester okay. Radio Madness. Hold on to your uh, hats. 712 and 92.5 WBC. Wait, hold on. Why does she start off with her weight? <laughs> 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 oh, damn, Jimmy. <laughs> and that one is out of here. Wow. By the way, <laughs> just remember, you're listening to a fat pig. <laughs> I mean, the voice sounds like, wow. Oh, wow. look I'm, at everyone on Pal Talks going, swim walk. Swim walk. <laughs> swim walk. Ahead, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, you deserve a swim, walk. swim walk. You deserve a swim walk for that. Very good. <laughs> swim walk. Um... <laughs> She's got the sexy voice, but it's radio. Sexy voice equals... Uh, slob. Equals weight. Yeah. More weight. 712 at 92.5 WBEE. Some sunshine later on today. Had to do the low 40s. Were 20. There'll be some sunshine as soon as I get off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> We're the most juvenile show on the radio oh, dial. We're doing third grade humor for guys in their 40s. W-O-B-E-E-S-E. <laughs> <laughs> Rochester's the only, the only city in America that has uh, more eclipses than everywhere else because of this Terry Clifford. Oh, she's wonderful. <laughs> oh, she's a gem. Uh, low 40s. We're 28 right now. Tom George, what do you see? Not bad, Bird. Uh, first off, he's from Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Not you. No boobs. <laughs> what do you see? 
Do you really want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Circus Kent masquerading as a dress. Uh, oh, I love her. She's all I want to talk about. She's great. A month. Bird, uh, first off, eastbound travels got sunk there this morning. All expressways are on time on a dry highway. Just a handful of power outages from yesterday's windstorm. Not affecting any traffic signals, we're told. All right. Uh, according to the... Uh... Uh, post-it notes all over the studio. <laughs> Don't forget the announcement. It's 7:10. Now's the time uh, we should make the announcement, which is three minutes off schedule, which is right on time for us. So I um, would like to applaud our punctuality for once. Um, hey, relatively close. Thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, like Ladies and gentlemen, you have uh, the email in your inbox already. Um, you've seen it on our website. Uh, your friends perhaps have asked you about it. Uh, maybe you've overheard the cool people at work. <laughs> the morning Viking uh, Club. Possibility of attending. Um, well, today is the day where we begin to announce the lineup for the 2008 Guitars and Stars Showcase going Ew. on um, wow. early May at the Dome Arena in Henrietta the 7th, right? Is that my That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep. May 7th. How, how odd that he mentions cool. Henrietta and then the hippo pipes up. <laughs> 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 wow, in the rocking town of Henrietta. Boy, these this show's going places. <laughs> Henrietta. And Henrietta the seventh, right? Great success. Mm -hmm. Yep. May seventh. <laughs> right. hey, cool. You think I you know, all that talking, I know what day we're doing this. <laughs> um Now I need to know who's playing at their great concert. Oh, my God. I think it's in that. WBEE.com is the web address. Just go there. It's so easy. It's so fast, and you're still in plenty of time it? Uh, to sign up for the I Love My Country Club. Not easy for her. She hits five keys with each fat little chubby <laughs> finger. I can't get to a website. Who's playing at the... What is this, what is this show called? The... Guitars and stars. All right, who are the guitars and who are the stars of this big uh, concert? Country Club, WBEE.com. All right, which, by the way, is where James Otto will be joining us relatively soon. Am I right? Who? Yeah, he's, uh, he's supposed to call us actually on the phone. Uh, on the phone as opposed to uh, actually he was Tim supposed to call a string. few ago, but I think I might have given him the wrong number. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up and we could be like, hey, what are you looking for? Call Jim Zotto. But no, Terry's picked the sound off of my uh, broadcasting. So there you go. Just jolly laugh there, Santa. All right. All right, you just do the news. Nice. All right, stay tuned. Jade Zotto will call us uh, here in just a sec. You know how many times he's been called you have such a great laugh? So. Yeah. Terry Stevenson. Yeah. Why don't we have our voice guy sound like that? I'll be Anthony and Jim Norris. I could not imagine having a show like that. I hate this business. That does why, that whole, hey, blah, 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 puke, puke, blah, blah, blah. This is the greatest thing you're going to hear. And it's the guys and the hole is there and it's just the, the same Formula. She just laughed over rap. She just laughed over a concert announcement. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, slow down a little bit. Oh, whoa, good there, gravy. Uh, concert announcement. There's kids listening. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down a little bit. <laughs> well, imagine what a chair smells like. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! I like the inside of her wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of uh, a lot of New Year's Eves alone. Like ground zero right in the middle of that chair. Just has to be. I just want to put my nose right there and go. <laughs> and just see what that is. See what's going on there. Mm. Oh, hey, they got a big one, though, for this uh, stars and guitars. They got uh, Zamfir. So that's uh, very good. That's a biggie for them. Just roids hanging down like a spaghetti maker. <laughs> <laughs> You just know she's forcing things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awful. All right, Oof. we got to take a break. Think it stinks? Huh? Oh, it's got to just stink. Ugh. Yeah. Just that that musty, <laughs> ugh, rank, dank, hasn't cleaned up very well in years. Kind of. <laughs> Little arms don't reach. Yeah. Look at Terry Clifford uh, getting an award. From breezing the crap out of that seat.
Get an award from Barbara Walters for what? Should be a blue ribbon tied on her. <laughs> yeah, 4-H. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Broadcasters New York, Award. New York State Broadcasters well, Award. She's playing the part of the state. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's Barbara Walters. The weird thing about Terry Clifford is that uh, four other morning shows in Rochester actually have their uh, their transmitters on her body. <laughs> she is one of the highest mountains in Rochester. Oh, yeah. You think they have a little contest to smell Terry's chair? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm fixated now on the chair. I want to smell her chair because it's probably so disgusting. Steal her chair, please. Yeah. All right, we got to take a break. And uh, we got Jim Jefferies coming in next. He's great. He is great. Love this guy. I saw him at the uh, Dennis Leary and Friends uh, show that Dennis did. And uh, we had him on and he killed. And uh, he's here today again. Very cool. cool. So we'll do that next. Opie and Anthony. Right back at you. Opie and Anthony. In studio, Jim Jeffries. Uh, Jim came in, I don't know, four or six months ago and just killed for us. And I was telling him off mic that uh, the listeners of this show just have, they've, they have taken to you. They love you, Jim. Oh, thank you. It's very nice. They talked about you for a long time after you left on all the message boards and stuff. And Jim Jeffries uh, will be playing Caroline's here in New York City Thursday through Sunday. Tickets available by calling 212-757-4100. And you got the MySpace uh, slash Jim Jeffries to get exactly. Jim. Just slash Jim Jeffries, and then that's that's it, I guess. There's not much to say, really. Well, Jim is a very, very uh, edgy, yeah, very uh, honest. I wouldn't say that honest. Honest, <laughs> pretty honest. Some of the stories you tell on that stage, you yeah. you admit to a lot of horrific things that you have done. Well, yeah, yeah, I do. I yeah. Well, it's it's the whole the truth, the whole truth, and nothing like the truth. You know, it's eighty percent true, and then I just. Put a few C words in the middle to make it more meaty. <laughs> yeah. Try to meet it up. I, mean, I, I was just so excited to get in here and actually see a picture of uh, Terry. Terry Clifford? Yeah. I, because I, I was listening in the other room and I was thinking what she actually looks like. And the first thing I said when I came in, she actually does look like my mum. Oh, really? It's, it's like, it's oh, horrific. I'm sorry. No, it's horrific. No, my mum's a heavy set woman. She, uh, yeah, but does she have an awful haircut like that? She would if she could. Her so. bangs are like With maybe... all the cancer, it's just falling out. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you got... You got a mom with cancer? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, right? This is this is a fat joke. It just made me think about it. when we were kids, right? We, my mom took me out to the circus, and there was like this elephant, the Moscow Circus, called Gunter. And from that moment on, like me and my brothers would refer to my mum as Gunter. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, like, never to a face, but with sentences like, "When's Gunter getting home? What's, oh, what's Gunter making for dinner? Don't do that. Gunter will catch you." And the, the circus master used to get in front of the elephant and go, up, Gunter, up, like this, right? And one time my mum, my brother was bit yelled at by my mum, and she was in a chair, and she couldn't get out because she's, you know, a big girl, and she was rocking from side to side, and her head slash neck was getting all red, and, and we were just laughing at her. And my brother actually stood in front of her and went, up, Gunter, up. And still to this day, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, that's we, terrible. She used to make us get get her underwear off the clothing line. She used to stand up and just swear at us from like the window. <laughs> and we lived in the same valley where they filmed Skippy, so it was a bit of a hike down to the clothesline. And whenever we got her underwear, you know how you fold a flag? Yeah. Like me and my brother would do that thing where you get apart and you walk together <laughs> and you go, uh, and you put them together and then flip them over. <laughs> that's what you did to your mom's that's underwear. Oh, mom's wow. Under but it was funny, and then she get really angry, and then all you have to do is like wave them in the air like you're surrendering. Yeah. And she was happy again. Uh, you just put it on a stick and surrender. Yeah. yeah she is wow. Like I said, Jim Jeffries. She does, she, perfect she, for she the and Anthony show. She doesn't have cancer. She's all right. Oh, she, good. She's got a problem with her lungs, and she's on an oxygen machine. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. She's become more ferocious since she lived through, like, she was going to die, and she was, like, she was unpleasant then, but then she... Yeah, but like, I went to visit her in the hospital, and she was, like, dying, so she decided to tell me that, I want you to know that when I'm dead, in many ways in my life, you've been a huge disappointment to me. She said that to me when she was dying, so you can't really fight with that. No. You just go, well, I'll try to be better for the next few days, or however long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> but she lived through, so I told her off about that. I was listening I to the replay yesterday, and I got to acknowledge something. Boy, did Terry Clifford get a beating yesterday. Ugh. Oh, my God. I don't even know if she deserved this. Of course she did. She did deserve it? Oh, think? of 
course. You can't walk around with a body like that. <laughs> think people aren't going to just mock you. For the people that weren't listening yesterday, we're in... Shame on you. We're in some kind of uh, uh, bracket uh, uh, competition. Yeah, like a, a March Madness college basketball uh, uh, bracket. Or or match. the one they did here in New York, March uh, Bracket Brawl. Bracket Brawl. I wonder what Brain Trust came up with that name. It's been in that conference room just... What do we call it? Well, they're doing something called Radio Madness. Rochester Radio Madness. That sounds crazy. So we're up against this uh, show, the Coffee Club, I think. Mm. Oh, the Morning, morning Coffee, Coffee Club. Club. Okay. Coffee is, is, is sounds like the drink, but it's spelled different because <laughs> it's not spelled like coffee. Right. So we uh, we found out yesterday that we're up against this this show as part of Rochester Radio Madness. Yeah. So we figured, why not uh, get to know our competition? So like an unprovoked animal attack, we just <laughs> decided to <laughs> lay our fangs into this poor fatty. <laughs> Who's probably a, a wonderful, wonderful no, person. No, I doubt it. I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, who would? Who would want to know? No, you just want to. You just want to go after the easy target. That, but, uh, yeah. But I was just a mess. I was listening to the replay and I was just laughing my ass, my ass off. It was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the abuse this uh, uh, fat woman took mm -hmm. from this program, unprovoked, just because she was put up against us with the rest of her radio team there uh, in some silly bracket thing. Uh, we went after her both barrels. Oh, boy, did we. We need gonna... both barrels when you're hunting rhinoceros. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ugh. I don't even know uh, why we started the show this way, but it, I just had to acknowledge how awful we were yesterday. She did nothing. It was just the accident of her birth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She just wanted to be Terry. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it just happens, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah. Just walking down I the street you? and our hands are all pointed going, ah, that's so. <laughs> Look at her. Ha ha. Hey, Dom DeLuise. <laughs> What's the website again, E Rock? Rochester. RochesterInsider.com. And then you'll find the link for the, the exciting radio contest. Now, where did we start out yesterday? What do you mean? Against uh, the, the coffee club. And where are we now as far as uh, percentage-wise goes with the voting? Well, I was reading the comments, and the guy that's running the whole thing is yeah. really, really mad because he noticed a huge... A huge spike in voting last well, night. Well, what's the problem with that? So now he's, like, filtering votes. He wants to keep it as fair as possible. Go down How the hell did this happen? Why? Well, okay. Go down to the comments, <laughs> Iraq. We're going to wreck your dumb contest. Filtering votes? Get out of here. Oh, he's mad. Go down to uh, uh, view the uh, the most current results. Right here. Hit here. Okay. Hit here. No, hit. Yeah, there's no link. There. Oh, boy. yeah, there is. If if you do what I say and and, and hit here, oh, geez. the word here. Yeah, it was really close yesterday. Now we're beating the uh, the morning coffee club, seventy four point three percent to twenty five point seven. Oh, so go down yeah. and find the comments. I don't know if it's now. Where the hell were the comments? Go back. I'm sure people were commenting on uh, Terry. Is it on the blog? Yeah, maybe the blog. <laughs> Were they commenting on Terry? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, oh, I no. I thought you meant some of our fans may might have been able to uh, comment. No, basically the guy that put the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, back on track. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, haters in the house. Oh. Some people have nothing better to do than cheat at an online voting contest Jeez. for local radio shows. Wow, such haters, man. As many of you know that have been following our Radio Madness tournament uh, might have already noticed the voting percentages did change drastically overnight. Oh. <laughs> cheating. And cheating. I just want to acknowledge that I love the pests of this radio show. And we're not doing this for the glory of winning some dumb Rochester radio no. contest. We're doing this just to be annoying to everybody. Just to ruin their little thing. Right. That's what we do. He continues. That's because we noticed that there was some vote stacking going on. Apparently, there are some people out there that are so desperate to see certain results, they've resorted to desperate measures. What? This ain't Florida, people. 
Oh, I get it. Such losers, but it doesn't matter. We're on to them. What you see now is an accurate accounting of votes, and hopefully it'll stay that way as we continue to fish out those who are intent on being corrupt. Corrupt. This guy's just going to make the pest try a little harder, is that's all. Is he insulting all. this show or the fans, or both? I uh, think both. Who is this jerk? Oh, I'm gonna, his name is uh, Troy. No matter what Troy. it takes, Insider is committed to making sure the true, most popular radio shows wind up winning. <laughs> well, now, if they get on and say, hey, we're up against uh, Opie and Anthony and they're uh, douches and uh, could you please vote for us? Uh, then their listeners would vote, and you would truly see who the most popular uh, show is. Where is this voting supposed to be coming from? I don't Just know. Just people that stumble upon the site? I guess, sure. Well, I, we... we and is that, it our show he's talking about, though? It has to be, because... Oh, yes. Because yesterday the um, the count was like 55% to 45%, and now it's 75% yeah, like Yeah, yeah. To 25 Go back, you're on. He's upset. And then he, he uh, finishes by saying, so keep voting... And hopefully those haters with too much time on their hands will get the message. And then he signs it, Insider Tony. Yeah. Shut up, Insider. Uh, Troy, 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 Troy. Insider Troy. Troy. I walked in. You guys were talking about I'm fat girls. over there. What was the fat Patrice girls Patrice loves fat about? girls. Patrice digs fat girls. He thinks it's got to do with hunting and gathering. He doesn't love them. He feels disloyal if he stops liking them. Patrice probably had to bang uh, fat chicks at one point. Let me Hold tell on, you something. Don't, 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 Stop trying to profile you me, don't bitch. don't have to bang I know yeah. what the fuck I like and no, why. You don't. No, you don't. Just because you, now you got an English judge voice here, you feel better? You don't like fat girls. Oh, fuck up. You don't like them. I, I, I watch, you don't like I watch them. sweetfatty.com every night before I go to bed. Sweetfatty.com. Yeah. Sweetfatty. Sweet I never watch me TV. They fucking, they turn me on. Sweetfatty.com. Th MySweetFatty.com. He doesn't My want to lose touch because he's afraid he's going to have to go Shut back to them someday. Shut the fuck up. You're famous you're now. Do, you I, have to do I fucking fat profile fat you in transsexuals, yes. you dick? Of course you are. I don't. I don't care. You do. Suck a dick. No, I don't want to do that. That's a good I like fat girls. You I don't. Like, but there is a, and then the thing you is, don't. your mind is sitting on a kind of fact. There's a particular fat girl I like. Like, okay. All right, in fact, no, look at this. Some of these girls are delicious. All right, looking I'm gonna bitches. have an open mind. Point me to one fat girl that we should like. The eight, the one, eight, which uh, one? The one on the left? Uh, no, the right, all the way to the right, if second wanna, row. Hold on, all the way to the right, second row. Bam. All right, all right. To the, the next one to her. It, it's, it, all right, hold it's, on, let me take a look. We're going. Uh, no, no, click off that oh, one. That no, does, no, that's no, one of the one next oh, to the tattoo. The middle. The look at the one in the middle here. The one with the tattoo. Right in the middle. Look at that right there. Yeah, but look at the one on the left. That's a MySpace picture. That looks like a MySpace. Face picture. She looks kind of hot from the face, but you, you know there's a world of hurt. It doesn't matter. Yeah. World of uh, hurt. Unless her stomach's hanging over the pussy, it don't matter. Those aren't fat girls. That we don't look. Uh, that's that's not what. Fat girls. Yes, you do look at those girls as fat no. girls. Hell no. I, they're no. fat girls. These girls, and those are the kind of fat girls I like. The fat it's, girls that you're going. Hey, they're not fat. That's what I like. No, right, well, no, then, these girls no, are no, like no, more. They're, they're, they're like chubby girls. Oh, they're yeah. There's a difference between on. chubby and fat girls. That is so American of you. You people are a fat race. Don't start calling them chubby. That's, that's what he's saying. No, no, they're fat. fat. You're right. Yeah. You're right. They are fat. Yeah, they're fat. No, they're, they're fat. fat people. No, they're not that bad. A doctor they're would not... say that they've got medical problems. To tell yeah, a girl she's chubby is like And this is a endearing. guy coming that's, from a that's country nice. with to call him fat. Pale they, they get pissed off. Pale girls. I, I like, so I like uh, pale, uh, pale they're, they're skinny girls. Fat. Dude, look at look at this one here. See the Which see the, one? the black girl and the and the wife beater and the girl next to her to the right. Look at uh, Yeah, those two uh, scare uh, me. Uh, no. Right there and the one next to her. What about the one next to the delicious hogs? I'll pop her too. What about the girl getting fisted? Where are we at with her? I'll fuck her. I just like they look. That's I think they just there's something she about them. Dude, she it's not. A lot. That's just a big it's not a profile. It's like look at a girl's ass all the way to the right. Look at that fat, juicy ass. Oh no, that's it, fucking. It's, it's uh, delicious, man. That's no, just it's delicious. No, it's not delicious. Look These are at chubby it. chicks, man. They're not. And you're talking I to a black guy. White girls. guys love sickly looking bitches. You know no. what? Let me, let me tell you something. Let me no. tell you something. You know why you're not considering them fat bitches? You're desensitized because when you go to those sites where they're obese, fucking. Fat, disgusting, I'd, freak show fat. 
Then you go, oh, those are fat no, bitches. So you look at these and they're like, they're not fat. They're what they call I was voluptuous. Zufting. I would fuck some of those girls. Yeah, there you go. That's I don't girl fuck fat girls. I would fuck some of those chicks. Okay, roll down, uh, Roll down. Roll down. Roll up. 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 Keep going. No, fam. Roll up. She's too fat. Oh, go to the middle. Top left. Patrice, you'd fuck that one right there. Top left, you'd fuck that one. Oh yeah, she's awful. Yeah, she's, she's oh, a yeah. fucking. She's oh, a fat yeah. up. Oh wait, let's let's do this. She let's find fits. one I wouldn't fuck. Roll down, man. <laughs> oh. Fine, let's find one Patrice wouldn't fuck. Keep All going. Right. Keep going. What about Tina Turner How about over that there? Mess right <laughs> there. Third one in. All right, hold on. I, nope, I haven't seen it yet. Hold on, I got the game. I got the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Patrice. You tell us when you see a girl that you wouldn't fuck, and we'll try to figure okay, out which one. Okay, keep going. That's gonna be too easy. All right, which one? Keep right. going. What about the one with AIDS tattooed on his stomach? Right, stop. Uh, stop. It's the one all the way to the left. Yes. yes. All the way to the left. Yes. Second row. That's yeah. right. I thought you meant uh, the one on the bottom. This game's too easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the bottom. That is the tree fucking her. And the white girl at the bottom left. She's she's floating on not fuck street. Are that's you, that's a bitch from Mastic she's right not there. Floating on not fuck street. That's that's fucking not fuck country. She's <laughs> disgusting. She but, but she it, looks like she smells. But, but, but so, look yeah. at her. Yeah. You yeah. like fat girls, right? I enjoy let's, fat let, girls, let's bring man. On, bring on the picture of Terry Clifford. Oh, you're gonna ah, love you, Clifford. You're gonna fucking oh, love, love Terry. Terry. Uh, We got one for you, Patrice. Tell me if you would fuck Terry Clifford. It's gonna take a couple seconds. I, I surprised Stan with this. It's okay. Here is the beauty that is Terry. Clifford. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's a mess. <laughs> now, and and it doesn't have anything to do right away with her size. It's that <laughs> horrific grill. Yeah, the face is awful, but the size and no neck, no. It's just like okay. she's not attractive. If That's what it is. If attractive. Uh, if she's a uh, got a pretty face and she's a pig, it, it's a possibility to depend on how fucking horny I am, dude. If you took yeah, exactly head how off, horny you are, like, you'll how do horny it. Would you you'll have, do it. How horny but, would you have to be to do that right there, Terry Clifford? We zoomed in. A lot of horny. Let me think. Let me think oh, about how horny. Yeah, God. How horny. Like, oh. What would have to happen for you to go? She would. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. I have to be in a bad uh, esteem spot, like my just low, like my no swagger. Feeling bad, <laughs> feeling um, all bad about yourself. She, she's like, oh, you, you know, she's talking. She calls me smart, and I go, thank you. And then she just goes, I just want to, I just, if she begs to suck dick, like, please let me just put my your balls in my mouth. I suck it, and just some dirty, rotten shit, and I'm feeling fucking weird. I, I, I you know, I fuck her in the face or something. I've done some horrible shit. To I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm exactly. I've done but I'm shit saying the more famous girls. Patrice has gotten, I've known him for years. The hotter girl, his girlfriend is a hot girl. The the more famous he's gotten, and the more he's felt good about the fucking hotter chicks he gets. It's like not that fat girls you can't be attracted to them, but like you when you date chicks, so they're, they're hot. But you just finished saying these. Look at when I say fat girls, Norton. That one. On the some of left. these girls you would fuck. Yeah. But I consider these girls fat girls. Fat girls, girls right. Any girls right. over, mm. any girl with a double digit number on her body is considered a fat girl. No, She's no, a plus size girl. You can, you can get girls with double D tits or a No, thin. no, a 10. Double meaning, digits. Meaning a 10, uh, uh, like if you, a size 10 or size 12. No, 10's they're, not fat. They're getting into Those fat girls. They're girls. getting into being a fat they're, girl. They're, they're 40, fat girls they're 40 to these, 40. Are, these are 16s. There must be, there's, there's a 22 there somewhere. I'll agree with you. I'll say they're not all, like, disgusting, right. putrid fat girls. I don't want to fuck girl. a, a despicable fat bitch. Like, I had to think the, of a scenario for Terry Clifford. But scroll down I a little. I have to think of a scenario for any of these chicks. The, I'll see him and go, mm. The only scenario I blew, for like, Terry Clifford blue, is blue fucking Blue bikini legend. blonde over there. Like, isn't like disgusting. No. She's a but fucking she's fat. Hog. I like the one. No, she's no, nice. no, 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 no. In the middle. Yeah, no, I yeah, like the she's, one. She's too, nice. Yeah, right. she's go right. two over. Go two over. But for you the bikini. Never two over. The other way. I like she will that get one. Fat. Yeah. You like that one? That's a fat chick. These are not photographed like fat chicks. These are photographed like sexy girls. These are plump. This is what I'm talking about. So you don't have to profile me like my self-esteem is in a gutter. I no. like this juicy. Look at this. Okay, look at her gut. There's guys that would think that black girl there. There's she's guys no, that would think she's horrid. gross. She's horrible. Look at those big she soggy a, tits a, and that soft stomach. That's just delicious. That, she should have a machete and be hacking apart she's tootsies. Terrible. But you're racist anyway, motherfucker. <laughs> she's terrible. <laughs> look at this chick, the dick in the mouth. And she's a hog. <laughs> Look at that ass on that I just, one. I just like I just got a thing for pigs for some reason, dude. Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the Opie and Anthony Show. I wanna rock!
It's a celebration of hacky, pukey radio shows and DJs from across this great nation of ours. I'm wearing panties to this party. Yeah. I've never seen a better antonym of hysterical. <laughs> Crank up the crapola. It's Jocktober on the Opie and Anthony Show. Was the yang for the yang. Yes. Hyster- it was the polar opposite. Happy Jocktober, everybody, from your friends at the Opie and Anthony Show. Yes, Jocktober is here. By the way, the Dow went under 10,000 in October 2004. That was the last time. <clears throat> Four years ago. Ah. Wow. Where am I? Uh, hello? Well, well. Oh, that sound fun? Oh, because I turned it down because that was so yeah, loud. Yeah, that okay. sweeper was ridiculous. That's better. Sam, who are we looking at today? Today, we're going to Rochester, New York. Mm-hmm. The home of Brother Weez. Yes. When you mentioned Rochester, you mentioned the home of Brother Weez. The home of Brother Weez and the home of the Bee Morning Coffee Club. Ooh. WB, WBEE 92.5. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What All do we right. know about them? And what are they? Is it a, isn't that a country station? Yeah, it's a country station. I remember back in the day it was. But uh, they like to spend the mornings playing some country music. Having some laughs and making you feel, you know, good to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it's uh, Terry, Steve, and Newman? Yeah, Terry, Steve, and Newman. I think they called Terry Bird. Okay. And uh, this starts with a promo the show uses to show how funny they are? Yeah, like while, while the show is running, they go into breaks sometimes with promos of kind of the big laughs that they've had in the past. Okay. And that's what this is. All right. Strap in, kids. Yeah. It's Jocktober. Mm. Good morning, Terry Clifford. Well, good morning, Steve House. Oh, this is Terry Clifford. We made fun of her. <laughs> we have? <laughs> yeah, when we were in the running to be the, the biggest show in Rochester. Yes. Oh, yes. right, okay. Wasn't she the piggy pig looking one? <laughs> she's a, she's she has a, a really hot voice, but not real hot voice, but a nice voice, but she's uh, just a mess of a, she's a lady. She's an extremely large you remember woman. Aunt, don't you? Yeah. All right. Good morning, Terry Clifford. Well, good morning, Steve Houseman. And hi, Jeremy. Hi, guys. Everyone have a good night. Everything okay in our little worlds? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Anything we have to tell anyone? Um, why, what do you know? Well, no, no, I just... <laughs> <laughs> the B Morning Coffee Club. Weekday mornings, 5.30 till 10 a.m. on 92.5 WBB. Wait, what, what, what was the laughing for? Why were they laughing? Said, said why? What do you know? Like, and then they laughed at that. And then there was a yeah. big like guffaw. But where's the joke? Mike said anything, anything to tell us about, and say why? Well, maybe, but what do you know? I don't want to get in over my head. Yeah, because imagine, <sighs> just imagine. Oh, yeah. oh, the crazy. That's you're talking crazy now. Yeah. Oof. Huh. Any examples of the um, <laughs> holy shit <man>. humor? <laughs> what? What, Patrice? Radio just. It's <laughs> well, that's horrid. why we have to do this. It's horrid. They just can't be real. But let me ask you. Ask. Uh, okay. Just don't blow I mean, up our bit. We need uh, 20 more days of this. <laughs> you have a tendency of uh, being so logical. We're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do the bit anymore. Ruined it. Right. That's the All question. right, then, then go. Because I, I can't, no, no, go I can't I, tell if no, it is. We're a real show. It's you, fine. Guys, you guys have been soldiering for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, how many out of, let's say you, 10 of these, how many out of them are that? Even if you gave them free reign, what do you mean to be funny as they could be, and how many have to be that? Have they to be? Are. No, they're they're really that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, Wait, what, no. is, what is Patrice saying? You know what we're I'm just saying? Out, you, 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 we're just picking out the bad stuff. Like you know, no, no, no. You know what I'm like. No, like do you know they go, do they go in there and go, oh fuck, I got to put on this face again? Right. Like and... if you gave them if you gave them carte blanche, they'd be geniuses. No. They are just <laughs> no because yeah. you know why because these th- this show we're listening to they think they're geniuses. That's the problem. But geniuses under the fucking under the the, the the umbrella of you have to be not funny. This is as funny as you can be to not offend anybody. Don't yeah. talk about mm-hmm. shit. They they're funny for that. Or um <laughs> or this is it. Even if mm-hmm. you if you put them on XM, that is it. Then they're unloading. No, no, they're just they're just unfunny, uh, not creative. They're hacky. They're 
There's Tur. <laughs> oh God! Remember? Now I remember. Boy, did we make fun of every inch of her. And there sure is a lot. This, she has to be oh. funny. A person that looks like that has to have a sense of humor. That is. I refuse to believe she's not a funny person. Frederica Bimmel. Oh my God! I'm for, she's even worse than I remember. She looks like. <laughs> she looks like uh, two of the fat ones from the Facts of Life yeah. put together. <laughs> put together. <laughs> two. Two of the fat ones from the Facts of Life. She She's a, a morphed, a morphed version of retarded Laverne and Shirley. Sure. Both of them put together oh, in one good. person. She's so ugly. I got hiccups now. I was laughing yeah. so hard at her ugliness. I'll tell you what she looks like: a f a fat mo from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> a fat mo from The Simpsons. Mo, yeah. mo that owns the bar. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Oh, is she awful? <laughs> wow. And we determined she's a flat so. Yeah, which is the worst. She's be very uh, uh, big, Did but she doesn't have uh, big tits, which uh, makes her a flat so. There's a no, lot of... I can see. No, there's there's a lot... I think it's the way the picture's being taken. <laughs> no, I see them. I see where they at. They're just a little... If you push them up, there will be a nice tit. Why is she a tit? <laughs> Why is she wearing the lace on her arms? Uh, or is know. that just their arms and stretch marks? Well, that's what <laughs> they're selling, Lane Bryant. That's just stretch Lane Bryant, the, yeah. The, the uh, fabric, Anthony. It was, that's what Stephen Carr start. used to wear. Oh, that is Stephen Carr. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't start as lace. No. No. All right. Uh, no, Patrice, Rip. there's... There's Holy a hand. shit, who's this face? This <laughs> face belongs to somebody, Isn't man. It's haunting great? me. It's haunting me. Well, if you... It, it, first of all, it's a guy's face. Yeah, yes. it's just, at, definitely it just manly. At the face. It's a manly face. <laughs> she looks. She looks like a weatherman from like. Yeah, she just, it's thinking, just something going on. Hair. I know her face. Wow, that, is that face. Is, I think it's John Crook. It's a little Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Little Drew Carey. Yeah, if you just uh, all right. <laughs> it's also like Mike from Don and Mike. A little Mikeish. Yeah, I know that fucking face. Uh, all right, keep it up there, and wow. uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe she was a man. <laughs> mm. A big fat man. God, yeah, maybe. Boy. Damn, no, I know that. So face. make me a woman, but don't make me any prettier. <laughs> Patrice, than this is, a man. This October thing is easy pickings because most shows suck. There's a handful of shows that get mm. the job done. All right, we uh, continue with the B Morning Coffee Club. Yes, they spent. They're a coffee club, Sam. Well, coffee they're the coffee club. club. That's so nice because you know they're on in mornings. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> it's doing the truth. <laughs> it's kind of your character. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. It's kind of close. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm squinting and covering up her awful oh, wig. Oh, fuck me. Is that a wig? That can't be her real hair. <laughs> a little Chris Farley too. A little Farley in her. Holy <laughs> fuck! Yeah, a little Farley. In her. <laughs> Farley. It's safe to say, she's a beast. All right, uh, Newman. <laughs> Newman talks about getting engaged. We find out whether or not Terry is a whole. Yeah, well, they spent oh. the entire show today because I guess uh, Newman got engaged. You know, to his fiance. But when I was doing radio in Rochester, he was old. <laughs> no, I think this is a different. Must be a different Newman. All right, it must be. It sounds like a young guy, and uh, yeah, he just got engaged. So they spent four and a half hours talking about. It. <laughs> Wait, what are we looking at? Look at Farley. Look at the big one with his Yeah, yeah. that one's great. Uh, look at Farley. Look at Farley. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. It's Tommy. Oh, yuck. That poor woman, man. I can't even do it. I can't join in with you, fellas. This wow. poor woman. This poor woman, man. She is, this is she's awful. She's such a victim, man. It's From, such a victim. This is all Everything she has. on her is awful. This is all I gotta has. listen to this shit because if she's in a uh, drop of nice, I can't join in. All right, oh. this bitch. Oh, no, she's overly nice. Oh, this, That's the this, problem. this, you feel bad. <laughs> you just gotta feel bad. I don't, I I don't give a shit. Look at this bitch. I don't should, care. She should, I'd kick her in the teeth if I could. Yeah, she should go on, Mike, <laughs> and just like spill her guts out about yeah, her problems. Then about how it was growing up, just being right. like the fucking that girl. No one right went there. with her. Unhappiness, yeah. right. would make her a genius. Right. Don't be happy and oh. Because I'm you know, unhappy for about her. I'm really unhappy yeah. for her. Talk oh. about high school and how you were just shunned. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Costello. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she does look like Costello. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, um, Ollie. Oliver. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Lauren Hardy. Uh, 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 I'm eating death. another 
pie. <laughs> She's a fucking mess. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we... Uh, Ugh. Let's yeah, listen I to gotta the next hear clip. some of this. All yeah. right. All right. This is the B Morning Coffee Club. It's the coffee Ooh, club. You yes. drink your coffee with them. All right. Uh, Newman talks about getting engaged. We find out whether or not Terry's a hole. You be the judge based right. on her reaction. We all know the definition of the hole at this point, right? Of course. Yeah. Right. It's, it's like literally I and feel like a different dude from one night to the next. Good for you. I am so happy for the both of you. And she is just a lovely, lovely woman. She is the perfect yeah. woman for you. She's so hot, too, Bird. You've yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, but it's what's inside that counts with her, all right? Nah, not really. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> She's is. hot, that helps. Oh. But it's yeah. cool it's and... encourageable. <laughs> Encourageable. <laughs> Encourageable. You know what? I'm going to give that guy a gold star because he's saying how hot this other guy's chick is in front of the big slob. <laughs> <laughs> That's That takes I balls. I didn't even think about yeah, that. Well, listen again, knowing the girl giving all the niceness there is, a, is <laughs> she just, she's not even a one. No. She's, she's not carry. even on the scale yet. The one to ten scale. It's, it's like literally I and feel like a different dude from one night to the next. Good for you. I am so happy for the both of you. Ugh. And she is just a lovely, lovely Listen. woman. She is the perfect yeah. woman for you. Now, the one saying that is, uh, have we stressed how awful she is? Yeah, no, uh, I, we can't possibly stress how awful she is. And <laughs> is she the lead person on the show? I don't know. She might be. It might be one of those rare. What's with the complimenting? I can't be right. happier. Uh, so hot, too, Bird. You've yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, you hear the oh, dude? God. Oh, God. And, and, and she's so hot. Does, does, he, does right he know how thing. it's killing her? Yes. Like, talking about hot chicks in front of her oh, it kills you. That's like being, like, like fat, or way out of shape, and, yeah. and girls <laughs> just talking about this guy that's, like, ripped and stuff. You don't sit there and go, you know, wow, that is great that yeah. he's ripped, right. and goes, that you find him attractive, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm a, a pig, or... or the, <laughs> It's just, uh, she is, it's killing her. And she goes, no, it's about what's on the inside. And he goes, no, it's really not. No, it's not. <laughs> the inside. Oh, God, that's her. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's fucking. It's Oliver Hardy. Oliver Hardy. Hardy. Hardy she yeah. looks like Oliver right. Hardy with a perm. L listen, she tries to defend that. It's uh, it's about what's inside and, and has of nothing course. whatsoever to do outside. Of course. Fucking cake. Course. I've said this a million times. You always go for the the physical attraction uh, first, and especially then, us. And then yes, guys, this is what we do. You you're looking. Wow, she's beautiful. She's hot. Whatever. And then you hope that she has something else going mm -hmm. on. Uh, Besides the looks. I'm a fat, funny guy. Let me tell you something. No fat, funny bitch is getting <laughs> anything out of me. Yeah. My girl loves me because I'm fucking funny and all the other bullshit. But you, if some guy with a fucking 12-pack comes around, I, I get mad when she says she wouldn't fuck him. I'm going, mm -hmm. bitch, yeah. you know, do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Fucking for you. She's inside. So you yeah. seen her, right? Yeah, but it's what's inside that counts with her, all right? Nah, not really. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it if is. If she's hot, that helps. Oh. But it's oh, cool it's and encouraging. Hey, Terry, why don't we talk about oh, what's inside that you? A, <laughs> a lot of calories. That <laughs> is such the hole. The complete with the. Oh. <laughs> No, it's it's what's inside. inside. She said encourageable. Encourageable. Yeah. Encourageable. That word should be taken away from us. Ugh. You shouldn't be allowed to use that word. <laughs> Along with inappropriate. Encourageable. They are encourageable, though. Steve talks about getting engaged and proves he is an emasculated nobody. Yes. All right. I was well into my 30s, a little older than you, and I was ready to just be a bachelor all my life, and I had this beautiful woman who was at my side all the time. One day, I was still living in Boston. She rings, and I lived in the second floor. She rings the doorbell. I let her in. She knocks on the door. What's the deal? I got a life to live. You going to marry me or what? <laughs> and you're sitting there with Vinny. Huh? I was there with my best buddy. We're eating Chinese food and drinking beer. And I said, well, well okay, I'll get married. <laughs> so, you know, not so wow, to say the least. All right. Oh, I said was... yes, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you for... hey, uh, with all the laughing she does, you would think she would be thinner. Yeah, it was... You'd think she would be, be burning no, off calories with all that fake laughter she does. It's a jolly laugh that she has. <laughs> wow. No, she... Oh, okay. Wow, that is demonic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's everything. Wow. It's like she could do something with the hair, maybe. 
There's a Maybe she could put on some makeup. I, I don't know. There's just something that could be done there that isn't being done. Contacts. Yes. Contacts. Contacts to lose the glasses. The a little bit. I'm gonna tell you, she is. Uh, she is uh, hopeless in terms of <laughs> fixing. Like she can never come back as. No. It's like Rosie O'Donnell, where uh -huh. nothing she could do. Like there's there's no pretty something in there. No, no. Rosie just decided to go full dyke. But I'm just, it's like, even if, like, losing weight, like, you, she would have to have a complete reconstruction, like, a, her face has to be changed. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just her entire everything, like, her head is, is almost like it's growing it, outside of her chest as opposed to on a necklace that's going down in some yeah. weird, um, you ever see, um, the dark crystal, the giant birds where, like, it's almost vulture-like, except for you don't see the, the, the vulture neck. She got fucking it's vulture head. The head comes down like a Muppet vulture. Yeah. But it, it's like, even if she lost, there's some people that just have been no. cursed. <laughs> with not prettiness. Oh, God, there hold she on, is with on. a horse. <laughs> hold on, hold on, because I don't want to lose this line. The, the comments are ridiculous. This is why we have the greatest <laughs> listeners in radio. Jay from Florida, how did we miss this one? This must this must be a country station because this woman could never do a morning show on Light FM. <laughs> uh, whacka, oh, whacka. shit, look at look this. At oh, look at her body. Holy oh, shit, that's a full body fuck. shot. Look at her fucking... I think I I think I once wore her body to wrestle in a bar once. <laughs> wow. Oh, she lo okay. Yeah. She is she retarded? She looks retarded. No. Look at the horses looking at her like you fucking slob. Oh, my oh God. poor lady. Oh, the horse hates her. Dude, her boobs are not even close. Oh, to no. being. she's shaped like a being... croissant. She is. <laughs> that is she's shaped just like Big A. <laughs> Oh, man. She's shaped like a pear. <laughs> you just feel bad for a woman that, because it's just... There's nothing no. there. Because like, weight loss, it would be strictly for her health. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, it wouldn't be, I'm going to lose weight to, <laughs> to be hot. A little better. That it's help just her out. strictly to live longer. You know what? Patrice is right. Her, her arms look too short. Her waist <laughs> has got to be close to a 60. She's yeah, a Her mess. breasts are maybe a 30, uh, like a 30, a uh, 40A. <laughs> She's a 24, 48, 72. <laughs> She's got like a steroid chin. It is a complete pear. She is shaped like a pear. Oh, poor with, thing. With two big fat legs. How do you get those How, pants? Like, oh, where does she buy her pants? Oh, man. This poor woman. <laughs> and that's hair. a young picture of her. So she's been living that... <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you could get high school pictures. She's I mean, that's, still a, the same. That's, a, that's a young picture. Guaranteed, that has she's to be in the 20 years younger than that picture that, that has been up. Drama club, she's probably <laughs> in, and all those things. Oh, no. Donkey lips. Oh, that kid. <laughs> Donkey lips. What are we looking at Donkey now? Donkey lips. Donkey lips from Salute Your Shorts. Salute Your Shorts. An that's old Nickelodeon show. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What oh. the fuck? Oh. God damn, man. <laughs> she, Patrice is right, though. There is nothing she could do to make herself no. feel like, a little like bit Like, weight loss is not going to make it better. Like, some people, you just go, oh, <laughs> shit, if she lost weight, she'd be hot. I'm trying to think of a fat woman who'd be hot if she was not fat. And I'm, I, like, wow. on, on TV, but I can't think of it right now. Because I, I say Rosie because I look at her going, eh, hey, man. Like, Oprah, if she, Oprah could be hot. Like, she's not hot, but... She knows how she to, would look better. She knows how to present herself. Right, yeah. she's sex. She'd be sexier. This woman has Wait, never. Lost. But had, this yeah. is just. <laughs> this woman. woman has never had the feeling of someone being attracted to her. Right, <laughs> never. She does not. She know doesn't what know that what means. it feels like to have somebody <laughs> want to fuck her. Yeah, which go, is nature. Oh, which I wanna, is like I want to huh. fuck you. Yeah. No, no and is, you know what? She would fuck you if you came out of like that. Oh because yeah. Because she has no defense system. Yeah. Against somebody just no. going, I want to fucking fuck you right now. I want to bend you over this fucking table and fuck the shit out you, Terry. She'd probably shake and come just, just say, from hearing that. Just the, and just emphasize the T and, and Terry. Yeah. Terry. And yeah. spell her name T-E-R-R-Y. You, could, you, you fat bitch. You I just feed her fucking fuck feed her pizza while you're fucking okay. her from behind. You could confuse oh, this oh, one real you, quickly. If you run in and you just like say this table and you just, you just, <laughs> you just slide her fucking... Her soundboard off the thing, like you can hear it crash. Yeah, and she would do one of these things, oh, 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 oh. and you just rub a crotch through her pants. She'd oh my fucking God. pass out. She there would, there would be nothing second. she can do to defend sexual 
like a, a, a yeah. real sexual advance, a hardcore. Like beautiful women ought to defend that shit all the time. Like, hey, hey, bitch, I want to fuck yeah. you. Get out of my face. Because you, you just go, Terry. Hey, Terry. <laughs> yeah? Terry. Terry. And she goes, yeah, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? And she gets that, oh, my God, because she wants to be like every other woman. So, yeah. so she's, she's juggling in her head. Um, do I, always I, hear do I, do I just, say rape yeah. or do I, do I just fuck him? What am I going to do here? I don't want to be a whore. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some dick is coming my way? You fat fuck. Yeah. And just call it that. You choke oh. her. You find her neck, right? Oh. You just lift it. You find her neck. And you, grab her, you, you know, grab her by the base of her neck, right? Yeah. And you just push a little bit on the neck. And you just and you just start to shake her face. And her jaws move. And it's just her jaws are moving. And then you just kiss her. Yeah. Oh, that Wait. big fucking pelican head. Can, can I jump in? <laughs> She's the type of woman that would have to do oh. horrific things to be in the sex game. Oh man! Oh. Like, are you talking? Like, about, oh wow! Oh, Beyond like it balls would, deep, like, like, like just, just to the balls and then lick the balls while she's gagging. Do lick the balls like, as she's gagging. Like she's like, fuck! I know he's a serial killer and he's killed twenty, but this is all you know. I have to play. She, in she'd have world. to pull some shit where it's like, look. Stab me and fuck the stab hole. Right. That would she'd she have looks, to get some outrageous shit. She looks like she would shit. marry a fucking serial killer. Yeah. Like she <laughs> sends letters to the Green River Killer and just <laughs> hoping and she's for just attention. there, hoping for attention from a serial killer. Just holding yeah. flowers. She looks like she got married in a prison. She just says, fat with flowers. Richard Ramirez letters <laughs> and, in prison. And oh, the, she's and definitely and got a pen fucking, pal in the and joint. And the prison chaplain is like fucking standing there marrying her <laughs> and some guy with a mullet <laughs> who's in forever. Peter Griffin. Up there now. Peter Griffin. <laughs> it's Peter Griffin. That's who it is. <laughs> ah, it's Peter Griffin. It's Peter Griffin. Ah, ah, fuck. Ah, ah, you're fat. <laughs> ah, you're Peter Griffin face. Oh, ah, Jesus ah, fucking God. Oh, yeah, that's it. How does Look that feel, her, fatty? Dude, that's her. <laughs> She's fucking Peter Griffin. I wonder, I'm going to hit on her if I ever see her. Oh, yeah. She would, like, if you just tongue swipe her nips. Just imagine, imagine fucking spreading that fat ass apart and sticking your tongue oh, up her ass. Imagine she would did shake. It, if you did it with no, like, regard, like you did it like you uh, want to, yes. like you just fucking take both her meaty ankles, uh, and you just know what you're doing, you just push them. Holy like, you shit. don't gently push, you just push them apart, and you just move that little meat oh. like you know what you're doing. I fucked oh. a few fat girls, so I just know exactly what to do, and you move that meat, and you just rub that clitoris, <laughs> and then you find it's just all ready to go. Yeah, she'd shake like a, a truck with a broken timing chain. Oh. She'd just <laughs> and you, rattle herself apart. And you grab the, <laughs> and you grab the back of that awful permed up hand, oh. <laughs> drag her around the room. Pull that shit. <laughs> rip her wig off. And then oh. she calls you the next day like, yeah. you know, like, what? Just, bitch, are you yeah. not well? You know, maybe dinner? <laughs> dinner. Dinner. You drag her to the... Yeah, I mean, you she, bring dinner to so, beat her with a turkey leg. You just... <laughs> she's, so, she's so desperate for romance, you would drag her to the truck stop and, that's and what make she her wants. blow everybody in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what she wants. Blowing the truck. That's how retarded women... A man like that would never think romance. He's thinking yeah. buy a hooker. She's thinking romance. She thinks there's a guy out there. Because yeah. women are dumb like that. She thinks there's a guy out there that'll love her for her. Yeah. Really, bitch? What can you, you just, do to make me love past that awful media? Head. <laughs> just oh. my girl's gorgeous. I have trouble kissing her just because I've seen her for seven years. So I'm like trying to kiss her, and she's gorgeous. But this mess after a month of looking at you with love, you just want to punch her right where, just well, right where there's no nerves. I hate, oh, I God. hate to uh, spoil the party here, but uh, the next track, she's married. She's married, all right. Oh Holy no, shit. find her husband. She's married. Is there any way we no can find her husband on a website? No fucking way. I don't know. She's uh, got a let's, blog. Let's find this out here. The blog. More of, <laughs> more of the Bee Morning Coffee Club up there in Rochester, New York. Bert, I'm sure yours was just the typical beautiful moment. Well, it was for us, of course. Yeah. Uh, we were at the Loose Caboose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Loose Caboose, all right. <laughs> Yee. <laughs> the loose caboose. The loose caboose. That's what happens after you eat fucking Mexican and drink too much. You get a loose caboose in the morning. Ew. 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 So she was at the loose caboose? Yeah. Is that where her wedding was? Booze. Oh. It was a restaurant in Webster. Ah! It was a restaurant in Webster, train it was. themed. Okay, you were right. watching a movie. What, did she marry a train? What? <laughs> 
Huh. Loose caboose. I got it. Loose caboose in Webster. Yuck. It's a restaurant in <laughs> Webster. Of course it's a restaurant. Train theme. Can't be away from the right. watching a movie. No. Is, was that the one with Uncle Joe in it? No, and he wasn't moving kind of slow <laughs> either. Coke Junction? Oh, you're so rude. The loose caboose. It was a wonderful oh, a little hole. restaurant. I'm sure many people remember it. Anyway. No, because. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> anyway, she's mad. Some guy has to say, and this is my wife. <laughs> Holy fuck. Some guy balls. has to go out and go, and this is my that, wife. The only point, half the reason that women exist is to be an object, right? Can mm -hmm. you imagine if your wife was just <laughs> all love? Like, you, it had to be entirely love. Right. Like, 100%. Half, of my, half of my girl's point is that I flash her around. Some other guy wants to fuck her badly. Mm. Like, really badly. Like, my bitch. Like, you walk down the street and, you, and guys want to fuck your bitch. And you're like, <laughs> yes. You want to fuck her. And I don't want to even look at her. And you want her badly. You'd give me your wife. To fuck my wife. <laughs> this guy has no bargaining chips. It's a hundred percent. It's all love. Love. It's all, can you imagine your whole existence is based on I love you? <laughs> I love my wife. That's that's your. You you have to love her to get on top of her, and just your <laughs> dick has to get hard. You, your dick has to get hard. Maybe she was volunteering and tearing at the the blind camp, like in mask. Like, you, have to, you, have to, you have to risk. You have to risk having a heart attack with the Viagra. Like, you risk Viagra for a bad bitch. If your dick wasn't working quite well, you go, damn, this bitch is bad. I got to keep her happier. She's going to fuck other men. But you don't even have a bargaining chip if you want to go swing. Like, if you have your woman oh, God, you bring that? to trade for his woman. You're getting someone's dog. Like she's she's tradable like, with someone's fucking pet. <laughs> right, right. Horse. Like you just horse want to or... kick her right in the all pussy. Sudden, like you just want to. All, like, all of a sudden, yeah, all right. You can fuck uh, the chick that I brought, but I'm just gonna kick her in her pussy <laughs> the entire time you're Sir, fucking you mind, the can, girl I brought. Look, you see my girl. Treat her the way you think a woman should be treated. Do me a favor. You, the, the, I, I'll fuck with your woman, but I'm, I want to stomp all over this pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want her to snort. I want her to do piggy things. Like the only. Uh, <laughs> a leash on her. Yeah, just walk her around. She was also <laughs> she was also voted Mother of the Year. Oh fuck! Oh, she has boy. a kid. She has a kid that gave oh, a great speech. Jesus. There's a video of the kid giving a speech. Oh, oh, see, that's oh, terrible. That's okay. terrible. So, let's move on. Terry continues her story about the caboose thing. Yeah. And um, and the guys continue their brand of humor. Ooh. We were there and having a lovely dinner and um, there chicken was wings. A, no. These are salad wrap. Might have been chicken though. I, I generally ordered like an, an ostrich. <laughs> no, <laughs> something trophy. <laughs> you know, it was just, just huge, a huge portion. Just a one of those giant meatballs. <laughs> yeah. like, not even little ones. Like I enjoy little meatballs in my spaghetti. Yeah, but just a giant, <laughs> one giant meatball that was rolled up like she, with she, onions in it. Uh, she calls meatloaf meatballs. <laughs> yeah, just a, meatballs. Just <laughs> Spaghetti and meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> One of those uh, Renaissance Fair turkey legs. Yeah, turkey leg like fucking Henry VIII, who was prettier than she is. Look at that fucking retard bang haircut she's got. Oh, she's getting thing. into a cop car. Well, because she's They're arresting fun. her for upsetting the fucking gravitational pull of the planet. <laughs> oh, this poor lady. Come on, man. You know man. how they arrest you. It's Damn all, it. yeah. it's all oh, fun. Boy, she's laughing. It's for charity. Oh, oh, I hope someone bails me out. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Right. Wow, what a mess. I can't <laughs> order. <laughs> no. All right, wait, 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 wait. We'll start over here. We Hold missed on. a good joke. All right. We were there and having a lovely dinner. And um, there chicken was a... wings? No. Caesar salad wrap? Might have been chicken, though. I, I generally <laughs> ordered. <laughs> no. Tilapia crusted All in there. Right, that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> you can't get the ribs. I want your fingers to be clean. <laughs> Or I'll sit on ya. Yeah. yeah, you want to hear about it or don't ya? Don't ya. She isn't. She's too fucking gruesome to have that attitude. Like, hey, settle down. Mm -hmm. Like, shut up, Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> She's too fat to be sassy. Ernest yeah, Borgnine. much too fat to be sassy. So she, she that got... fucking hair looks like a divot. 
It looks like someone fucking <laughs> swung too deep, <laughs> made a divot, and someone picked up the divot and off the golf course and, said, and put it on her head. Look, this will make you look better. <laughs> it spray painted it brown. Right. Here is your divot hair. <laughs> her chin is wider than the top of her head. Yeah. She's got like Zippy the Pinheads look going. <laughs> What a gruesome, gruesome person. Her hair looks like one of those old leather football helmets that they used to have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like an old Indy car race helmet. Uh, one of those. <laughs> oh, the old four horsemen head. Oh, is she <laughs> awful? Every new picture is more gruesome than the last. Oh, Newt Rock me head. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, uh, who took those photos of Terry? Google Earth? <laughs> <laughs> She has, like, I couldn't even picture doing anything. There it is, the old That's leather the foot. There's her hair. <laughs> Terry an old Notre Dame uh, leather <laughs> football helmet. You know, Sergeant G brings up a good line on his feedback from Iraq. He writes, are they making fat jokes? They may have just turned me a little bit. They're making fun of her fatness, uh, Sam. Um, but they don't dare make fun of her ugliness. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Right, she finishes the story, finally, of when she got engaged. There was a piano player there, and he was and so booed one over and asked her. him to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, nice, Sam. Oh. Sam can't get the leather helmet on because it's his big fucking <laughs> afro. Real hair. That's fucking cool, man. Is that a that's a real replica? Yeah, it's that's a real replica. Play, huh? That's cool as shit. How do you play football in that fucking thing? Imagine those going were, out in the field now. And those right. were tough motherfuckers, Yeah, man. running in fast out motion on film. better than the leather helmet? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Well, because you really want to... You know what? A real tackle has nothing to do with your head. Yeah. Because guys play rugby with nothing. So yeah. I mean, ultimately, you're not supposed to, you know... They didn't have, like... That's, pretty, that's cool, though. Space age polymers. <laughs> yeah. They had to fucking wait for that shit. He has something called plastic. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. I feel uh, bad that woman is such a victim. Oh, is she? <laughs> Pendulette, they're saying, too. She looks uh, like a little fat pen. Right, you want to hear the end of the engagement story? Please. Or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? All right. There yeah. was a piano player there, and he was. And Bood went over and asked him to play uh, my favorite song from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, oh my darling, oh, Clementine. <laughs> It's a small no. child. <laughs> no. Ding dong, the, scene, the witch is dead. <laughs> the scene where she landed on the witch. <laughs> we're, we're laughing our balls off as the Dow's down 500 points now. Holy shit. Below 10,000 for the first time in four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 98.30. Yeah. Down 495. Told you, Andrew. It's a small no. child. <laughs> no. The ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> All right, over the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow. And he, with, as soon as the um, song started, I went, oh, my gosh. And he got down on one knee in front of the restaurant, and he asked me to marry him. It was wonderful. Oh. It was wonderful. Wake up, you sleepy head. All right, that's not my favorite song. Wicked witch is dead. Oh, now. Wicked witch. Mm. He's dead. Got down on one knee, had a look at those big fucking thighs. Imagine trying to see her head. <laughs> like, oh, God. God. <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you go? <laughs> oh. He took that fucking barrel ring and put it on her finger. <laughs> and she can't even see her own vagina, so she probably no. shaves it like, like, like old guys shave their beard where there's... She ain't patches. shaving still shit. <laughs> she doesn't see it. Why shave it? Uh, you know that's just a wreck down there. Uh, let's say hi to uh, Sean in Rochester. Sean, the home of Brother Weeze, of course. What do you got, Sean? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I've met her daughter, mm -hmm. like, at some park event where the radio went down and did their thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, her daughter's smoking hot. Dude, I'll tell you something. I, I went out with a, a girl. My brother went out with uh, one of her sisters. Friends of mine went out. It was like a family of just these fucking girls. And the mother was atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> fucking slob. And, and, and just, she kind of looked like her, like Terry. Mm -hmm. And the daughters, smoking hot. How does that happen? All skinny, fucking blondes, just really hot. And uh, the mother was a disaster. She couldn't fucking move. She sat in the, this one chair and just stunk the whole room up like B.O., because she couldn't fucking sh wash or something. So, and I would come in, and I was working at um, Dan's Bakery at the time, yeah, making bread. So I would always make sure to get a bunch of bread and, when I was going over there, and then I would just give it to her. And she'd be like, oh, thank you, some Italian bread. It's like, yeah, it's Italian bread. Right. I'm going to go ravage one of your fucking daughters. But she was a big, like, 
slob. Smoking hot how, though? What's, tell, her, tell her you get a little more detail. What's smoking hot? What's mm. she looking like? Yeah. She's Good. like, uh, probably like, you know, 5'7". She's got a nice rack, dark hair, like uh, like hazel green eyes. Yeah, it's definitely Couldn't possible. Her daughter, but, you know, that's... That's how we roll in Rochester. You, you ever walk around? Well, we produce good-looking kids, and then all the kids leave. <laughs> there you go. Cool. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's October's still a hit, though, October. It's the this B-Morning is... Coffee Club, huh? Yeah, it's the B-Morning Coffee Club. We barely listened to the audio. <laughs> we couldn't get past the fucking publicity shot. I love October. Yeah. Whew. What are you working on for tomorrow? Uh, I don't, I'd really like to find something in Boston. Mm -hmm. We just spent so much time just bashing the hell out of out of that woman. Well, you have to. <laughs> I know. That's the best Ooh. part of October, just attacking people. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> for no reason. But you have know, that's to. Why, that's why Sam loves it so much. That's how he lives his life. Why else, why else is she walking around the earth? Just to be attacked. Right. <laughs> yeah. She can't possibly be, in, be doing any good out there. <laughs> We got Terry Clifford's isolated uh, audio from yesterday. Remember, about an hour ago we did this. We're doing it with somebody else. Is that okay? Is that good enough? Sure. We're featuring uh, The Hole as part of our Jocktober celebration. Every every show has a hole, and then you isolate what the hole is saying, and then you realize, wow, they're getting away with murder. Realize what they bring to the show. Where was the one we just did? Yeah, let me do this one first. Just in case the people... Uh, Weren't listening. We were featuring a show out of Cleveland this morning. This Terry Moore or what? Terry Moore. Moore. And then we're like, wow, she's not really adding much to the show, so let's isolate exactly what she's doing. And this is what we came up with. I love I that. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Can you set it lower Expanding than 80? They no, really are. She oh, looks yeah. great. She looks great. 32 D. You have 32 D. No. And, and then they start the blood sucking thing. No. How about blood No. So it's not even guys. Ew. Like, There's nothing to do with blood. Okay. I was wrong, and I got nothing. And I got to tell you, we didn't uh, mess with the tape whatsoever. That's just yeah, how it that's was. that's it. We just said, Sam, every time she talks, isolate it and put it into a little montage. <laughs> now, yesterday we were featuring uh, WB's Terry Clifford out of Rochester, New York. Boy, did we give her a good hammering <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> we sure did. And now Sam took her audio and isolated it from uh, the audio we played yesterday. And this is what you get from Terry Clifford. Well, good morning, Steve Houseman. <laughs> no. Is, that oh, you're so rude. Anyway. No. She all didn't right. Have... That's <laughs> enough. No. <laughs> that, no. Um, oh, my gosh. Good for you. Yeah, but it's what's inside that counts with her. <laughs> you want to hear about it or don't you? <laughs> wow. It's like it's like that's the bit that we do. Yeah. Like it our bit isn't funny anymore. It's just true. It's just, <laughs> it's just what it is. And no editing, by the way. No, no, no that's absolutely uh, every ever. word she said. This is awesome. A celebration of fantastic radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. <laughs> So turn up this turntacular radio. Oh my god, I can't believe it! It's yes! Jocktober. Jocktober. Ah, uh, Sam, where are we going today? I see we're, we're going to be doing a, a coffee club. Yes, in Rochester. Ah, uh, coffee club in <laughs> yes. the morning. You could be part of a club if you listen. Well, well there's we, a few of these across the country. I love it. They like coffee clubs. And we've visited this one many times in the past for Jocktober. And, uh, and, and this proves the point that I said, I think, last week. After we're done with Jocktober, we don't even think about these people anymore. Right. Because I, I don't remember ever doing anything on these. It's Terry, on this Steve, show. and Newman on the B Morning Coffee Hello, Club. Oh, Newman. Oh, not Newman. I know Newman. Him. I know Newman. No, you don't. I swear to God. No, what you what don't. are you doing to me? You don't know Newman. No, you don't know I Newman. know Newman. How do you know picture. Newman? Show him a picture of Newman. <laughs> show me no a picture. no fucking way you know Newman. <laughs> I know Newman. We can't do Jack Tober. Oh, know it's the fat fucking pig. Yes. That looks like, uh, oh, we beat the shit out of this poor woman. Newman. She's a mess. Is she Newman? No, nah, oh. she's Terry, I think. You remember this, Broad. We had so many jokes yeah. last year. And the year before, and the year before. Remember Terry Clifford? Dude. Terry uh, Clifford. Oh, fuck yeah, that face. I uh, know. See, I don't know Newman. I yes. know uh, no, Newman. Houseman. What? You I do. Know, you don't you know, know that Steve. guy. I know Steve Houseman. He's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> he used to work with Weeze a little bit. 
I swear to God, I know Steve Where Hausman, is he, Boston? Too. He's been all over the fucking joint. Man, Brian, but he was just cordial to me, so I don't give a fuck. So yeah, let's, whatever. Let's go. Hey, come on. Bad let's, radio is bad radio. Let's uh, get into the... Uh, Who's the chick over The there? B Morning Coffee Club on WBEE in Rochester, New York. Now, the thing about this you know, show... Do you remember Terry Clifford with the bad bangs? Oh, yeah. She's horrid. She's got retard bangs. <laughs> she's big and fat. She's so got that fat. walrus uh, mouth where it looks like you could toss fish in there. This is an awful person. The thing that makes their show unique is that they just don't do anything. They, they just, just don't do anything. They do. But our listeners say that's what we do. No, 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 no. They do. The listeners should start appreciating us. We actually do stuff. Right. The, if you the think shows out there we really do doing nothing. nothing. They right. do nothing. Like, they talk about, like... You know how Seinfeld, the idea was it's a show about nothing? Uh -huh. like, but as they were doing that, that there were kind of things they were doing. Right. Imagine doing Seinfeld on the radio with no jokes. Ah, that's, that's what they're doing? Perfect. It's a show how they about nothing. I like that uh, promo shot they did. They took a high angle to try to uh, trim down Terry. Uh, is she in a box in the back or something? That's not a good photo. No. <laughs> yeah. That's really not a good promotion. But they photo. put her in a whole bunch of white... <laughs> so she's just. She has nice shoes, at least. I'm Ugh. hoping the white just flashes her out of the nice picture. Shoes. I feel sorry for those shoes. <laughs> I'm going to bear the brunt. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Uh, Terry's hear. lotion, Anthony, is out of stock at Bath and Ew. Body Works. Not a lotion. Perfect topic for a morning show. I need a lot yeah. of it. You think? Yeah. She's just bringing out huge tubs of it. From, yeah. From Bath and Body Works. She has a thing on her thigh when they rub together. Ugh. You know, dark. Oh. Now, what's the stuff that's uh. gone? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, those thighs. <laughs> what is that, by the way? Oh, what happens? People end up getting weird discolorations. Yeah. Does it just skin tones. look? Does it excite slowly. the melanin in there and <laughs> Listen, the rubbing? Yes. We Please just, tell me she has cancer. What? We just. Oh, no. We just. Start. We haven't played one clip yet. Yeah, right. And I scroll down to look at more photos of WBEE. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this is what I got. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why would they have that on their it's Facebook? The Hulk. I they thought would... you said they didn't do nothing on their show, and that's that's a very popular photo. Well, the caption says, wait, I did this for you, which was your quote, and <laughs> it was you, posted sir. by Ted Sheckler. <laughs> oh, Ted Sheckler, big fan of the uh, show. Okay. So this is going to... I'm a huge fan of the cluelessness cluelessness of the Hulkster turning around the corner like, why are you people running away? I did this for you. you. <laughs> Alright, let's let's listen to them uh, about the lotion and why she can't get her lotion or something. Yeah. Now, what's the stuff that's gone? It's your favorite... What is it? Yeah, shame on you for not having it lead story. Right, well, Half a fez? Quarter fez? What are we looking at here? Maybe an eighth of a fez. And then they got they got to play the music in the background. Oh, yeah, like, man. Always... We play music in the background. Yeah, but they can't get enough of just throwing shit in to try to make something out of nothing. <laughs> They're kind of like... Oh, God. Kinda... Oh, God. <laughs> I found an unflattering angle. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't want to look like that Tubby's on doing a show radio. where one of the people's names are Newman. Because everyone's going to go up to her and go, hello, Newman. She's, and she's got to be like, oh, I'm not Newman. <laughs> with her fat voice. She does look like Newman with oh. fucking lady hair. Look at that yeah. stretched out elastic band on her pants. Those, those, that fucking outfit is atrocious. Why would you go out in public like that? Man? It's horrible. Where are they broadcasting from? Hopefully a morgue. <laughs> oh. It's like a food place. Uh, yeah, it? no shit. She yeah. probably, it's in her contract. Yeah. She has to have food shoveled <laughs> into her face. God bless these guys that just continue uh, doing radio. Oh, one of these family, family restaurants. restaurants that uh, and just... It says B-E-E -E on the fucking... W-B-E-E. -E. Well, they got signage up, Jimmy. They it's had called to put signage. Up signage. Signage. Why that... did you say signs? Oh, it's signage. Signage. But there's no one there to see them. No look, one. The, the table closest to them is empty with sugar. Yeah, look Scorch at that. would be laughing at uh, signage. the amount of people there. <laughs> Jeez, there's a hundred thousands of people. Up. Wow, these pictures, they should have uh, zoomed in a little bit. Because they're, yeah. they're showing that no one's at their stupid fucking appearance. There's a lot of room there. All right, here we go. Now, what's the stuff that's gone? It's your favorite. What is it? Yeah, shame on you for not having it lead story. Right, wow. Well. Yeah, really. Give me a break. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, Bed Bath & Beyond has discontinued... No, 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 Bath & Body Works. <laughs> Bath & Body Works has discontinued Terry's favorite cucumber melon scent, and uh, she's left smelling... 
Ew, that's what she fucking smells like. Cucumber, cucumber melon. Cucumber melon. melon. She even has shitty fragrances. <laughs> Except for her vagina, which she rubs onion soup on. She's, she is kind of shaped like a cassava. <laughs> a big pig. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, please. How did they discontinue it? If she's buying one... Uh, <laughs> One coating on her body is having 20 bottles. It's the whole shelf. <laughs> yeah. she have, no, she'd have to have like those things that fucking de-ice an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> spraying her down. She's so veggie. She uses 20 bottles of lotion. Yes. yes. Yeah, but it's a it's shitty huge. fragrance. Probably because that's the only one they had in stock that, that they had <laughs> enough of. Plenty of. <laughs> right. Look at what that is it? pelican Le Melon neck. and cucumber? Cucumber melon. Why wouldn't you go with a little vanilla or like a tropical type of thing or like uh, a, like a, I don't know, a peach? Rochester loves their women in cucumber melon. That's probably what she thinks is a diet. That <laughs> she's just using some kind of vegetation yeah, she eats and it. <laughs> fruits and vegetables on her body. Yeah, she couldn't find fucking sirloin steak lotion. Yuck. <laughs> and and uh, she's left. Smelling citrusy. Oh, we don't God. like it. No, not at all. I mean, I went in yesterday. Yeah, why would you like a, a piece of fruit? <laughs> Fat fuck. <laughs> she is a tubby one. Yeah. I'm sure the listeners oh, won't yeah. uh, comment about that on the. I wouldn't think any, so. Anywhere. God forbid you eat some fruits and vegetables. Mm. But it's a disease, right? Yeah, it is. Sure it is. Be sympathetic. Oh, <laughs> God, and she's a flat cell. Remember? Oh, I do. We were talking about that. She's a flat cell. What's a flat cell again? Well, if you're a big fat woman uh, and you have big tits, right. at least you got big tits, that right? That's nice. But she's a big fat person with no tits. <laughs> she's <laughs> flat chested, <laughs> so we call it a flat so. And, you know, playing off of fat so and flat chested, <laughs> and flat chested, fatty fat 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 yes. fat fatty fat 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 fat. You guys are bullies. She has a can fat I, man's face. Can I ask you something? <laughs> yeah. And First genitals. of all, and haircut. <laughs> First of all, yeah, if you yeah. erase her hair, she absolutely looks like a dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> erase the hair in your mind, and and that you would swear that's a dude. That's Second, every guy at our any appearance we've ever done. Did she actually take her glasses off for her her promo shot? She's got to show off her pretty eyes, hoping that we wouldn't notice <laughs> that it didn't do yeah. a lick of <laughs> difference. And she's wearing a burn victim wig. That's that a horrible wig. Her hair She's had a year to grow in her bag. A year. Awful. We made fun of her. On, I remember specifically, Patrice O'Neill was in studio. We made fun of this show on 57th Street. Wow. She's had years. Uh, we to gave not her some great advice, weight, but at she, least get a new haircut. At least grow in your stupid bangs. <laughs> that fucking perm is. There's nothing worse than a fat lady with a short perm. Short <laughs> perm on a fat lady. It's you're fucking you, terrible. You don't oh. like a tight perm on, oh, on a broad. Horrendous. What an awful look. Who she look like, man? <laughs> it's a guy. I can't figure it out though. But it's a fat. Cover guy. Cover up her hair, because I'm she telling you, like, she's... she looks like John Candy. She looks like Hoyt I was gonna say Axton. Candy. <laughs> I'm doing this. Oh my god, do this with your fingers, and it's like really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least her sleeves. Are that's sexy. Before. That's a guy. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, dude. Holy <laughs> wow. shit! I almost had it. She looks like meatloaf. She looks like Hillman. Who? <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm serious. Who she is looks he? Looks like John Goodman and King Ralph. <laughs> yeah. There's something in that. That. Oh. Wow. Oh. I mean, I went in yesterday and I, I'm looking all over for it, and I asked the woman. She goes, "Oh, it was discontinued in June." With this look on her face, and and I just stood there stunned. The look on her face, by the I... way, is um, shouldn't you be swimming in the ocean? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> There's a sea monster talking to me. <laughs> she was quite shocked. That's I a terrible assume. story, by the way. Awful story. It's, it's, Boy, we're well, not even sort of finished. Not over it. yet either. You know even, not by a landslide oh, are we wow. finished. I got to tell you, probably 20 things happened to me between uh, yesterday's show and today, and most of them you'll never fucking hear about. Why? Yeah, why? You know, you just <laughs> why is bring she them up. bringing this to the radio show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what happened? Oh, some of the pictures that <laughs> are now showing up. Are... Photos of WBEE. Let's do a little slideshow. Ah, little... <laughs> there's some girl jacking off and sucking the dick of two gentlemen uh -huh. at once. Well, that's you have wonderful. to. Oh, that's just, just a, just a, a black coffee penis. Club. Big black cock. There, uh, <laughs> you might want that. Quarterback Ryder. Yeah. Uh, a lot of wrestlers. Uh, wrestlers on there. always end up on these. Chris Benoit, I think I saw. Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. And just shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start Henry more shit. Let's, let's try again. Oh, get... God. What Come the on. fuck was that? Who is that guy? Cake, Cake farts. farts. 
Uh, oh, that's yeah. me and oh, Eric dressed yeah. as a tag team. Yes. Well, great Photoshop. Yeah, they really well done. It yeah, really like is. I posted my AIDS and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get through the lotion break at least, or try. <laughs> this is one of seven tracks. Oh, I can't yes. wait. Good. <laughs> With this look on her face, and, and I just stood there stunned. She goes, is there something else I can get you? I said, you sell other things? I, no. Yeah, I thought that no. was wildly popular. Like, I thought a lot of women use that cucumber melon yeah. stuff. It is. And, and she said to me, they just they stopped sending it in June. She said, I, I would think you would have known by now. I said, well, actually, no. Because every time I go, I take advantage of the buy three, get two free, and five will last me five months. Oh, I thought she, she was going to say five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her S's are enraging, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think it's a fat tongue? Uh, here's the boys' part. Those two guys don't want to hear this shit. She's probably been no. trying to tell, like, hey, you think we can get oh, to the uh, lotion story today? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's got it on the prep sheet. For seven months, I've been avoiding it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she keeps trying to segue into the yeah. lotion. And like, oh, we got to do traffic. <laughs> this story for months ago and she just keeps like finally, finally in the morning finally i'm gonna get to shine today it's a slow news and day every morning bring every morning she looks through her rochester yeah. democrat and chronicle yeah i think i just went local if i remember correctly and goes good. oh good a, a slow news day Whoa. i can get to my lotion story <laughs> how do you feign interest in that though I like i went into the store and they didn't have it how do you not go who cares <laughs> what difference it's not interesting she order or something Where exactly why can't, get something else fatso yeah why can't you do that on radio just say, all right, next topic. Just shut up. Yeah. It's boring. No one gives a shit. Yeah. Your lotion. It's cucumber melon, for God's yeah. sake. It's not rare. The last Lamb thing we want to do is think of you lathering up after a shower. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, hiring somebody with paint rollers to fucking do your back of your legs and ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Under the ass cheeks. Yeah, you big glutes. Yeah. I take advantage of the buy three, get two free, and five will last me five too. months. <laughs> so I wasn't here in June. Wow. She takes yeah. advantage of a lot of buy three. Of course she does. Two. Oh, she loves a, a yeah. discount, a oh, bargain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, buy three oranges, get two cakes free. <laughs> yeah. She loves a good deal. <laughs> loves it. The guy prefers Terry's last lotion. Ugh, she used cyanide. to have another lotion? <laughs> fucking sulfuric acid. <laughs> Sam. Well, she's wearing a new lotion today, and uh, uh, her co hosts preferred the cucumber melon would lotion. It, would it be funny if she said, why is that? And like, there's something about the, the odor of a sweat of a fat person in citrus, <laughs> which is making us sick to our stomachs. <laughs> I know normally we go like one clip, one story, next thing, but this story could not be contained in just a single clip. Oh, I understand. No, no. no I, it's I, huge. I, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> what? What's, what are you... One, two, three, four. There's four lotion tracks. Oh, good. <laughs> well, how long is like each track, more or less? A minute or so. And you know, I why cut didn't they off. move on? They, this is all they talked about was their stupid lotion. They spanned forty minutes. Of Can their I make show. it perfectly clear again? Because this is what makes October so great. I. I, I I disagreed at first, but I'm all in now. I, I thought maybe we would get the best of some of these shows. No. But Sam goes and just gets one show. Yes. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> this, which shows you how awful this really is. It's yeah. the lotion special. This is just one show <laughs> within the last week, right? Well, you know what it was when she was in the well? She would always have to apply it to her skin. Yes, yes. <laughs> and she got used to it because uh, <laughs> Give me 12 suits out of her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was trying to fucking do the clone army and fucking <laughs> <laughs> well let's see what uh, fucking right. Frederica Bimmel says on the <laughs> sure well now that link that I sent you is that the, the stuff you use that is it so I'm going to I'm not and I'm not going to just order the three and get the two free I think I'm going to order like 12 and get six free yeah absolutely yeah. If that, I mean, if they're never going to make it again, why not get 50 of them? Oh, I, yeah. I just, I, I just, and you know, I bought, <laughs> oh, I bought sweet pumpkin. Sweet. sweet. Oh, listen to that. Sweet. Oh. I bought sweet pumpkin. You swallow your fucking bacon before you do your radio. <laughs> oh, I bought, and it's resonating in that fatness of our neck. Somebody in on their Facebook left a comment in all caps that just says "cake and pies, cake and pies." <laughs> <laughs> she loves saying the word "sweet." Oh, sweet, sweet pumpkin! <laughs> what a slob! What do you think Ravi would say? <laughs> Ravi, what would Ravi say? Ravi told her to lose weight. Ravi, absolutely. 
if that, I mean, if they're never going to make it again, why not I get fifty of them? Oh, I, yeah. I just, I, I just, and you know, I bought. Oh, I bought sweet yeah. pumpkin and citrus white, which is what I'm wearing today. I was say, yeah. what, is, what does she smell like? I'm not today? feeling it today. Yeah, Go get a whiff of it. Mind if I take a little? Yeah, uh, see what oh, you no, think. Go ahead. Go smell her seats. If you got any balls, yeah. <laughs> you got to get it up in there too to really get it. <laughs> She's delusional. Uh, see, do you, yeah. is that where you wear it? It's I all sn- I. Oh, because I sniff there. I got a stronger uh, reading up by the shoulder. I put my nose right on her arm. Yeah, yeah, you did. As a matter of fact, and you left a little something. I did. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Why don't you just fucking smell her taint? Wow, yeah, terrible. go right it's in. It's a real radio. Dog. Get right in there. Her fucking fat ass crack that you know she needs that stick thing to wipe with. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, they're smelling arms. So yeah, what, all right, and her mo- shoulder area. They don't want to get close to that. We move on from the lotion, hopefully. Incorrect. Oh, Fuck. my God. <laughs> and the guys really do sound completely disinterested. Like, in where are we going to go with this? Oh, What's great. the material? So, here? your lotion and your. Sweet. <laughs> oh, I got. Sweet. <laughs> By the way, their Facebook uh, now includes a photo of E Rock with Paris Hilton. Ah, I see that one. That's wow. uh, the dreamy uh, the, uh, bedroom the, eyes. The thin E Rock. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? How many years ago was that? 20? Yeah. Wow. How many years ago was that E Rock? Five, five years. And how big is your head? Holy Jesus Christ. Shit. Well, you know, uh, next to that praying mantis head. Very it doesn't look big anymore, though. If you know you can't I mean. even tell which one's oh, Paris Hilton. They're both so yeah. thin. Look oh, at that. I get it. Yeah. yeah, you can. He's on the left. Oh, okay. Thanks. Literal cheese. It's very proportionate <laughs> now. Here's a uh, Fezzy popping up. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. How, are, how is the Fezzies across the globe coming along? I mean, it's coming, but it's a slow process. Well, let's get it done. I'm trying. I want that to be the conclusion of this uh, October. Okay. Uh, we try to figure out how to get more. Yes, we're still talking about the lotion. Yeah, the lotion. There, we, there's got to be a manager, an employee of one of those stores uh-huh. that has access to some in a back room or something. We can pull some strings, get you some black market lotion or whatever it is. Oh, uh, it's the body spray that I like. I, I, I don't use a lot of the lotion. I use some shower gel, but I like the spray. If you shower gel it, to get it through the shower door. <laughs> yeah. I use some lard on my hips and shower gel when boarding an aircraft. <laughs> Whenever I'm boarding a boat or something, I use some shower gel. To get me onto the boat, and I talk like a fat Ted Sheckler. Fucking pig. She's, she's a monster. <laughs> they're not checking their Facebook page. Oh, uh, why would not. they? More well, photos of E Rock. We'll tell when they're checking when it's uh, pulled. Yeah, yeah, when it's just taken <laughs> oh, down. Oh, baby from... Hitler. There's Eric and Joe Nicolini. Wow. E Big... Rock in that one. Wow. He was svelte and cute. Jesus, E Rock. What happened to E Rock? What, what is exactly. that? I know I've aged, but what the fuck? Yeah, you were so boyish and Amon Gertish. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. He always had those sexy looks. Yeah. Spray. If you find it, you contact me or Terry, oh, please, and uh, and I'll scoop it up for you if I run across it because I can't do it. I mean, Monday, try that pumpkin stuff if you don't mind. Well, I will. And plus, I have new. I have new product on my hair. I'm all new today. <laughs> Really? Product on our hair hair. should be shotgun (laughs) pellets. That is, it's the worst hair ever. Why the fuck would she even draw attention to anything on her? It's a new product on her hair called IED. What a fucking (laughs) horrendous do. It should be fucking elephant man hood. (laughs) (laughs) Burlap sack head. I need some lotion. I like the sweet pumpkin. I'm starting to think that people are just creating Facebook accounts for Jocktober, for instance. Yeah. Well, they uh, might be. Nagel de Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Nagel de Bagel. <laughs> and he's posted a picture wow. of what he claims is Terry enjoying a little breakfast. <laughs> it is a <laughs> giant fat woman with an entire cake, and she is eating it. Strawberry shortcake? Looks yeah, like that it. looks pretty good. I had banana cream pie the other night. Thumbs up or down for the banana cream pie, people. I love, love that shit. Fuck yeah. Oh, my God. Look, e couldn't get that thumb up fast enough. There's some right across the street. Yeah? Yeah. Red-Eye yeah. Grill, brother. Oh, we might have to uh But, man, do you have some... extremely soft duties the next day? Of course. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh... It's, you ever shit after, like, a shit like that? It's like where your, your, your intestines and asshole just keep pumping. Yeah. You almost feel like your asshole's flexing its muscle. <laughs> 
Then you have to go right into the shower. You don't feel like dealing with a half a roll of toilet over <laughs> that point. I had amazing pie the other night. I had fucking uh, 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 pumpkin pie at the fucking porterhouse. Sweet pumpkin pie. I had some sweet pumpkin pie. Oh, was it good? You yeah. just told me there's a Magnolia's across the street. Ah, Magnolia. Oh, banana. Where? What is it? Banana bread pudding, whatever is it called? Yeah. I don't like oh, bread pudding. Dude. Fuck that shit. Get me a cake. No, no man. It's no. really good. It could be the greatest thing on earth. Bread pudding's, yeah. It's, it's crust, not real. Like, it's the ridiculously bread stuff in it. good. Bread. You want some? On cake. I should really, I mean, I've been the going to the gym. Jimmy, treat yourself. You know what? You're right. <laughs> I we haven't been doing shit. that for years on end. Don't get a big tub, though. Can you get a couple sample little things so we could have a little... Yeah, what little time is this place open? I'll find out. Uh, they should be open for breakfast. They're trying to do breakfast Magnolia? Now. Yeah, where you have a cupcake. And a Where's cup Magnolia's? Across the street. Who's that? On 6th that, Avenue. Uh, is what claims to be a high school photo of Bill Tetley. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how Bill Tetley looks. Wow, Bill Tetley. That is a great moment. Uh, here's the end of the third track. And wow. you have new product on my hair. I'm all new today. <laughs> Really? Not good. <laughs> you sound really a lot not. better too. <laughs> yeah. oh. And of course, the big out. That's the big no, out. That's the sound her shoes make when she steps into them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear a fat woman laugh? No. Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> like listen to it. It's you just hear. Breath? Yeah, you hear the wheezing you of the liquid in the I'm lungs. All new today. <laughs> really? Not good. <laughs> you sound really a lot not. better too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning the coffee clean club. pneumonia lungs that she's got <laughs> from being bedridden. Somebody posted a picture of Terry holding a gnome, a lawn gnome, ah. and the caption says, I don't gnome a hackier pig than Terry. <laughs> 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 That's not kind. That's no, just it's mean. not. She, she looks like you're like a high school advisor or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, what is she doing on the she radio? She is awful. I'm annoyed. Awful. Magnolia is Mr. Open. Brady hairdo. <laughs> <You want some? laughs> Hopefully blood. <laughs> you want some flourless chocolate cake, too, while we're at it? No, I don't like the flourless uh, cake. It's too oh thick. God, yeah, you, you can pick how a about, cupcake. How about a red velvet cupcake? Oh, no. God. Oh, I want some God. bread pudding. All right, let's do the banana bread pudding. I want a little pudding. bit of bread pudding. All right, uh, finally, moving on. Uh, we're looking at the B Morning Coffee Club on WBEE in Rochester, New York, for Jocktober. And... Uh, Moving on from the lotion, finally, I oh, see. Oh, right. I mean, that sweeper hit, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's got to be. So what does the next track say? Well, uh, I'm assuming they're moving on to a new topic now, Sam. I mean, I'm not. The show comes back what? from break. Yeah. All... <laughs> oh, the show comes back from break to talk about <laughs> the lotion. No <laughs> fucking way are they spending another second on Why it. Why do these assholes make it so easy for us to goof on them? I don't know. It's just one show. What? And did you edit this? Because this is four to five minutes... Uh, uh, yeah, it's them cut, talking about lotion. It's cut down a lot. Good morning, WBE. Hey, Terry, I just want to make a comment on your your sensor from Bath and Body Works being oh. discontinued. Yeah, they've actually discontinued it before and brought it back. Oh. So there might be chance that it'll come person. back. Oh. It's discontinued, but then this woman informed her that they had brought it back in the past. Oh, Jesus. It looks like you, man. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Terry. It's, it's a massive fat woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Terry. So there might be chance that it will come back. Someone said to me on Facebook that they thought it was a oh, spring. Boy. Don't check your Facebook now. Oh, uh, by the way, boy. yeah. Please don't do it. Don't look for any more uh, accolades <laughs> yeah, on, don't, on your don't, Facebook. Don't, yeah. I hope no one's bugging them on Twitter about this, too, because you want the Twitter accounts to at least be just <laughs> yeah. for work. Yeah. Someone just posted a picture of Earl <laughs> for no reason. Well, Earl's a photographer now. Watch out. <laughs> Facebook that they thought it was a spring and summer scent and that once winter was over it may be back again. I hope I that's true. I think they're right. Because they've also discontinued like the plumeria scent. scent before and brought it back. Because I've never seen them I've I've always missed the discontinuation. Holy before. I've never of walked fuck. in there when it wasn't waiting for me. I know what y'all mean. I felt the same way when they got rid of the McRib. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was outraged. Maybe they'll bring it back. Maybe it's a business <laughs> strategy. Maybe they're taking it off the shelves to create a panic with all you babes. It's clearly working, but I, I think that Facebook blue friend ox. is right that it's uh, oh, spring and summer time. Babe, the blue ox. Back. I hope so. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You, okay, you too. And, and then they fade out the phone call? Yeah. You can't fade out phone calls if they're live. That's no, weird. it's impossible because yeah. how could it be on one fader? 
She she was trying to be cool when the guy mentioned McRib. You know she was fucking <laughs> oh, she salivating. Oh, God. <laughs> guy mentions McRib. She almost fucking had to leave the radio oh, show. Oh, yeah. She wanted to yell, me too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> McRib. <laughs> Why would she call attention to anything as far as a beauty or grooming product? Especially that much attention. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I gave up on it at one point. Like, there was more lotion talk than that. Oh, no. God. That's impossible. I gave up on it. All right, I think we're going to um, stop here for now, believe it or not. I have to whiz into it. Because we got a couple guests coming into the studio. We got uh, the dude from Oz and Lost, Adewali Akinuyi Ag Agbahe. No, I think Bahi. the. Uh, I want to I say the G is going to be sound. Adewali Akinuyi Abaje or Abe. I, you know what? I'm not even going to attempt to say his name in front of Just practice I'll ask his him. first name. Yeah, because that's a rough one. How do you go to Hollywood with a name like that? Don't He's they... also in the Thing uh, oh, right, prequel right, right, right. thing that's out there, yeah. I am Rock Quarry. Ah. Uh, right? Yes. So why doesn't he have one of those names? Rock Quarry. Hmm. I'll just call myself Gus Schultz. Yeah, there you go. You need a Hollywood name. Yeah. But what do I know? This fucking guy's had a hell of a career. Yes. And then we got T.I. coming in. At tip on Twitter is coming in today. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna go back to Jocktober with uh, the B Morning Coffee Club on WBEE in Rochester, oh, New York. Oh wait, but if you do that, that, people will be attacking their Facebook all day long. Oh, now nah, you don't want that. Oh, wow, yeah, we didn't say to attack shame. the Facebook page. No. No. It was this is a new phenomenon that happened. I we didn't we have nothing to do with it. Before we played the clip, it was attacked. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Dumb bitch did wrong math. Now they're attacking her math on top of her fatness. Uh, Matt, what's up? What's going on, guys? Hey, man. Some bitch, that dumb bitch said she was going to order 12 bottles and get six free. But she's talking all fucking morning about buying three bottles, get two free. <laughs> <laughs> the math is 12 and 8. I bet you the bitch won't miss a chicken nugget if she buys a 20 pack. Oh, uh, that's true, man. Yeah, that would be 12 and 8. You're right. We didn't pick up on that. So Four not only is she fat, she's stupid. 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 Intern David is on their Facebook. Well, he has to. Be. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Where's he running away from today? I don't know, but he won't like that he's appearing here. Yeah. He wants to go into obscurity. All right, we'll uh, we'll break and we'll get some guests on the air that are going to be terrific, and then we'll go back to this. Okay. All right. All right. Serious, serious accents. The Opie and Anthony Show. We're going to get back to the B Morning Coffee Club on uh, <laughs> WBEE in Rochester. You know who she looks like, right? Oh. Chris Farley. A lot of people saying Chris Farley. Good, good, good. But you got to go character. Chris Farley's lunch lady. Oh, shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's what that pig looks like. Oh. <laughs> I asked Jimmy in the hall, do you ever feel guilty or bad? And he goes, no. And I go, yeah, me neither. No. It really was a great <laughs> moment. Not for this. Me neither. I said, no, I'm like, nah. Because I don't know this fucking person. Who cares? Why is she talking about stupid shit? She deserves it. Drop a ton of message. Where's our guest? Is he coming down the hall? Yeah. I wonder if there's a problem in the uh, security. sucks here. Yeah. They wouldn't let William Shatner up, Martin Sheen. Really? You fucking assholes. Do you really not recognize these guys? Well, they have a little power. Shatner's going to end his career by pulling a fucking uh, a bomb vest uh, ripcord there and just blow up the building. Really? Well, you give those people some power, and guess what? They take advantage mm. of it. Yes, they do. Huh? Those people. Those people, yeah. I think, uh, let me see if we can confirm this. They closed the page. Really? Is their Facebook page uh, officially closed? One guy is just reading Twitter as I was going to the bathroom, and he goes, <laughs> not only did they remove my comment, Facebook uh, gave me a content warning, and then he just writes, why me? Because <laughs> I think they just singled out this one guy. <laughs> he goes, why me? <laughs> it's fuck. You guys are fucking funny, man. Simple as that. I got some funny fucks out there. Excuse me. We're looking at the B Morning Coffee That's Club on WBE <laughs> in Rochester with Terry Clifford. Oh, yeah. We don't even need to know the other players because it's all about Terry Clifford. Terry Clifford. Oh, boy, is she sexy. <laughs> Are we done with the lotion bit? 
Yeah, I th unless you want to play the last track of the lotion bit to bring everybody up. No. To yeah, speed. I want to hear the end of the bit. We did it already. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, Please. but Jim doesn't remember because he's Shut up, distracted Sam. by Adam Shut up. I don't see it uh, being ten o'clock. Shut up. We're All not right. doing the lotion fucking bit. Who is no, fuck that lotion shit. Right. Good bit though. Dummy. What, what is she holding there? A flyer for the secret song contest. Um, I thought it was a menu. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would be appropriate. What a wreck. Let me see. Turn that a little She's bit. Probably sound. the nicest sure. lady in Rochester. Fattest or nicest? But who cares? Exactly. Fat ladies are always nice. The only thing that keeps us from killing them. <laughs> <laughs> they make cookies. She's got a tight perm in every shot. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, that is, okay. We found an even more okay, gruesome now. picture of her. Oh, my God. She's gruesome in every picture, but there she... She looks like she's got that bull disease. Bull. Well, uh, when I was born, I... Uh, oh, giantism? Like giantism. Giantism of the mouth. She looks like Andre and the Giant jaw. face. Yes, yes. What? There is an Andre the Giant thing going on Would there. Would you? What, punch her in the face as hard no, as I could? Uh, let's slow down. Would you? you know, but... There is no fucking way. Winters get cold up in Rochester. Don't. She's got a name tag Would on you? that says Big Easy. I wouldn't in the South Pole. No? Fuck that. Big, Big Easy. Easy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You know what that means. No, I don't. Fat slut. <laughs> Fat slut. She's big and easy. That's right. Is that it? That's right. What does big and easy flies. mean? Fat slut. For real, though, man. The joke was good, and it got a nice laugh. But what does big and easy mean? I have no idea. Well, you really don't? Big easy. No, I mean, I don't have a clue. It's probably, you know, so like She's got big beads easy. on. Yeah, it's Mardi Gras. Maybe New but Orleans. The big easy. It is oh, New I Orleans. See. I see. But, but her being big and easy. Why would you wear something that says big and easy if you're big? Uh, Newman talks about a promotion they're doing where they paint pictures against elephants. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> what? The joke see, writes itself. You see, the DJ has to paint a picture, yeah. and then the elephant paints a picture, and then the people guess whether it was the DJ or the elephant that painted the picture. But what if she paints a picture? Then isn't it both? Is that both A and B? <laughs> That's where it gets confusing. See, because she's fat like an elephant. I'll pick elephant number one. I bet this was complicated for legal to put together. Why yeah. Would, what is this dumb bit? That's it. I just, that's the whole thing. Each of us would do a painting, which I thought it was they wanted one painting from the coffee club. Yeah. So we were like, Bird, this is you got this. Right. So Bird, <laughs> being there, the trooper that she is... She jumped on the grenade for us. She painted the picture that was supposed to go up against the elephant. But Terry painted some, like, beautiful, like, what was that Happy Trees guy? Oh, yeah, Bob. Uh, uh, whatever. She Bob Ross, assholes. <laughs> Bob Ross, assholes. And of course she knows how to paint. Do you know who she looks like? She looks like the fat man in the circus scene of the elephant man who is showering in the rain outdoors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does. Yes. Bob, uh, whatever she did, oh, Bob. something like he would do on PBS, With right? Polka dots. Yeah, and... it was beautiful. Yeah, and uh, no way. And, and you're supposed to pick like which one the elephant painted. <laughs> so that was a no-brainer. So I, 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 I drew a line. I said, I'm not doing this. I'm not painting against an elephant. I'm a grown man. I went to college. Next thing you know, I'm going to be wearing a gorilla suit at a grand opening of a used car lot <laughs> if I say yes to this. <laughs> so person. they told me to shut up and paint, and so I did. Oh, well, that was it? That yeah. was it. That was I was the... waiting for a big, like, payoff. No, that was the story for the air. Ah. He does realize he's already part of the circus, right? What do you, how do you mean? He's yeah, on a lame yeah. radio show. What does he like think he has... he's... Right. He has morals or something, doing? where his radio career is going? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to be on in a that show called suit. The Coffee Club. The B Morning Coffee Club. The B Morning Coffee Club. It can't get any worse for you. <laughs> He's been doing it for years. Newman's elephant painting story isn't over yet. Oh, lucky us. <laughs> and then they got mad at me because I painted... They. It's too hard to tell between my painting and the elephant's painting. And I said, wasn't that the whole point of the deal? That is the point. Have you seen it? Yeah, I, just I think, saw it. You know what? And I don't remember yours enough that I could tell. I really can't tell. Are you kidding? I can't tell. Well, first of all, I painted against Asia. Asia clearly is a little... Uh, <laughs> This one gets Shirley the elephant. She barely oh, put Shirley? any work into it. Come look, Steve. You get Shirley? That's yeah, her nickname, Shirley the website. elephant. Shirley's so, a mess. So lame. 
That's nice. Yeah. Surely, Surely this painting is a hot mess. You, yours over there, I don't know. This but, is, the and, okay. the and the guy's complaining about, uh, you know, yeah. not wanting to be the guy that wears the gorilla suit. Because people won't take him seriously as a broadcaster. Right. 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 Hope you don't look happy. What? You don't look happy. It's horrible. Well, this seems like it's starting to skate into angry Jack Toberville. Oh, no, no. shit. And I just look don't want to get there. No, I'm all right. Look at okay. this. He's, he's actually a little scared. Got the fear in him a little bit. Well, I just don't want to get there because then it gets it gets ugly and everybody gets attacked. I then. might have the flu. <laughs> so, this got you. This gave you the flu? It I'm was a so bit bad. cloudy today. Oh. I'm a bit cloudy. Well, you're no, still I doing don't know. better than the morning coffee club. Well, I, th I thank you for that, Sam. Um, uh, there's not much we can do with this. No, there's it's not a much. Dumb radio just, bit. It's, it's like, not much. It's not even a bit. There's and not, I hate. I hate it because then what? They'll have the jocks painting and the elephants painting, and then all of a sudden, well, I think the elephant painted that one, and oh my god, it's outrageous because that's actually the jocks painting. Oh, ho, ho. oh my god, I can't believe it. And then what? But this isn't even like the setup for that or the conclusion or anything. This is just them talking about painting. No, it's a dumb bit. There's just nothing happening. It, and and if we did the bit, we'd get some like retard kid. Do the bit. And right. then Jimmy would have to paint, and the retard yeah. kid would have to paint. With and a paintbrush up bit. his asshole. Right. There was tongue. <laughs> yeah. Just dip his tongue in yellow paint. What is that? It's a streak. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would come out because he'd swallow it. Dolt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lemonade. No, it's paint. <laughs> Last track here. The elephant painting story ends on major laughs. So I know major you guys are capital like... letters. Went to West Point uh, thinking, oh, major laughs. <laughs> I was trying to do my elephant sound effect. I can't do it, though. That's good. What, what do you rock? We got to go to break. That wasn't oh, e see, that's that was an elephant, elephant impression. Sound. Come on. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's e -rock. a fat joke. It's just E-Rock. You think E-Rock changed the most in the last seven years? Physically? Yeah. Absolutely. Not even close, right? No, there is you mean no... on a planetary scale. Well, <laughs> sorry. Roland was not as big as he is now. What are you saying? <laughs> Say it. As big as he is now. Oh, well, you're, you're... No, Roland was smaller. He used to be oh, smaller. Boy. Travis saying. was a little thin, skinny rail. Yeah, but Travis is still in the process of becoming fat. Oh, Iraq's yeah. got something to say. Travis like... is still in the same species he was. <laughs> Iraq? Well, the one who changed the most isn't here anymore. But Roland, oh, Steve, I think Steve. more than myself, I can show you photos from when he started to now, and it's a huge difference. Yes, I've had my penis removed. <laughs> I've changed a lot. This is dangerous territory with Roland, but let me see the picture uh -oh. of what he looked like when he first started with Ooh, us. Let's see if I can find some. I'll send one over. Hang on. All right. Yeah. Uh, here's the final track of the B Morning Coffee Club from Rochester. Since it's, uh, like, people think the elephant did mine. I'm right about right. the elephant. <laughs> so nobody's winning the circus tickets. <laughs> so when you do yours... And I gotta do mine today. Yeah. <laughs> Just, do, I mean, do oh. something obviously done by a human and save yourself the lecture. I gotta do a landscape, you know, like the ocean. <laughs> oh with a boat. <laughs> and the sun. Dan Duncan! <laughs> Morning Coffee Club with Terry, Steve, and Newman. Bring the B to work. Take control of the office radio. Oh, oh my God! Why would you want to take control take of the control office radio? Take control of the office radio. They're throwing pens at you, <laughs> stapling your head. Why would you listen to that? Shit off in a week. This sucks, <laughs> dummies. Uh, what could they have been listening to before, where this would be oh. considered a good? Yeah, get? a good uh, a show. Like answer oh, farts. You took uh, control of the office. Wow, the one with Borat is... Um, okay, so this is wow. Roland when he was working for us. That yeah. was like one of... Towards the beginning of his time with us. I remember that. It's when Borat. Borat was in, yeah. Let me see. Very nice. <laughs> and he's changed. Who's changed more, him or Eric Nagel? I'm, I'm not getting involved. Oh, she. Well, you asked the question. You did ask it. Open. I just want to see oh, a picture. Oh, she. You tapped out twice and. Well, what are you going to do? Opie, how are you going to bring Fez into this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I've left Fez alone. I love the Fez. Well, who doesn't? I'm I'm not fan. saying. I'm not saying that. <laughs> big fan of the Fez. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> 
I want to call. I want to call you out if I can. Actually. Oh Jesus! Oh. Why? Listen, you, you do your whole Jocktober. Why don't you ball up and listen to this show for about one week? You'll have plenty of material oh, for your we- Jocktober. Nice try. I love Weez. How come you don't like yeah. Brother Weez? I've always loved Weez's show. Bro, bro, bro between, before you go to him. Between him eating chicken wings on the air, what him was that? slapping in the microphone and talking about colonoscopies. <laughs> that's not just, Jocktober stuff. Yeah, yeah hey, that's hey, sexy. It really is. Opie. Instead, you pick on that fat pig across the hall. Who's that? E-Rock? <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at the E-Rock jokes up there. That's yeah. good. Uh, Jeremy, I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you listen every day to find out how much we suck, though. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Wait, who do, just who, keep listening. But yeah. who do we pick on uh, instead of Weez? I want to know the name. Terry from well, the B. Big old Terry Clucker. Oh, she yeah. stinks. No, listen. I, oh, <laughs> literally. Okay. Are you guys in the same building as her? No. Okay. Hopefully you're not on the floor above, below her. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. She's, a, she's a sweet lady in real life. Whatever. Guys. She's yes. boring a on the radio. A lot of fat ladies are sweet. They have to be. I don't, oh. care. I don't care if people are sweet in their real lives. Uh, I, I care if they suck on the radio. Yes. yes. Well, it's well, literally. Jimmy. She has diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> OP. Yes, yes, we. Yes. this weekend, buddy. Uh, Jeremy. See Thank you, man. Get rid of Jeremy. Go, we can talk. We. Jeremy, go kill yourself. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was Anyways. a sign off I didn't expect. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Opie, yes, yes. Uh, give me sixty <laughs> seconds. I got to tell you this story. It's killing me now. I'm I'm shopping with my uh, wife at Target, and uh, I run into Terry. Uh oh. Right now, yeah. this is right before New Year's. Yeah. When I, I had no idea she even knew who you were. Right. This is no crap. Terry Clifford and her husband and her daughter are in, uh, actually it was Bed Bath & Beyond, not that anybody cares. And anyways, we're talking, and her daughter was getting ready to go to Chicago to be in Second City, of all things. Wow. Yeah, and I start going, wow, that's such a cool thing. I can't believe it that you got accepted to Second City. For folks that don't know, it's a comedy situation. Yeah. And I started naming comedians and Jim Norton, and I mentioned, you know, Opie might be coming up. She went nuts. <laughs> I didn't even know about this stuff, right? So she goes, I go, Opie, because remember you were going to come for New Year's? Yeah. So I say, it's fun. you know, Opie might be, I'm going to find out today, he might be coming for New Year's, right? She went off on me, bro. <laughs> and I go, man, I started feeling I'm bad because she is a nice bra. She's, She's a, a sweet lady. I'm, and I felt bad that she was injured. And she said your fans attacked her Facebook. And I'm going, <laughs> oh, my God. This, I'm not kidding over here. Awesome, People man. know I'm a big pussy. I felt terrible. I go, I'm going to talk to that Opie, which well, I never did. And now look what happened. You know what? I, I'm sure she's a nice lady. But the audio we got, it was the most boring radio I've ever heard in my life. Oh, well, God. listen, uh, he, this dickwad that was just on the phone, who I'm going to smack when I see, thinks, my show's boring, and then my show's great. He can suck my ass. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Why should he be so lucky? <laughs> Thank you. Thank right. you. So you want me to apologize to her? No. All right, good. No, I just want to, I'm telling you a true story. We could do whatever. I don't. You know, I mean, you guys do your thing, and it is your thing, and it, you stick with it. I don't, I, I don't know these people personally. I don't Of care. course not. Yeah, she was nice. She's like, probably a nice lady. Absolutely. Whatever. She was wonderful in planes, trains, and automobiles. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's no reason to be hurtful. I mean, she seems like a nice person. <laughs> how did you, how did She's you a guys, handsome woman. <laughs> you know something? I'll bet you that dick wad that was just on the phone gave you guys the tape. Of not, what? Not that I think. Well, where did you get the audio from that lady? Oh, man. You, all you guys are on the Internet. No, Sam, Roberts finds, Sam Roberts finds yeah, yeah. a lot oh, of the it's uh, Sam's job, but horrible I, radio. I, Absolutely. I, I get to listen to you guys online, man. No, I understand. It also I'm makes horrible wondering. radio. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it was? We were looking up uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and her version uh, was was the best one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ukulele? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I, only, I, I only met. I thought you had your minions maybe send you. They're the jocks they hate from their. Oh well, they they, they, they tip do. us off to some bad shows. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I, but I got I got spanked really bad because the guy I started in radio with in uh, Geneseo, yeah. we featured him. I didn't even know until halfway <laughs> through it, and we're really we were really good friends and we were roommates. And I'm going the whole time. I didn't feel good about it. I'm like something about this voice. I know this oh. voice. And then I asked what his name was, and it certainly it was the guy. I don't want to mention him again. This was I'm, your I'm, roommate, bro. And we killed him for Jack Oh yeah. Oh. And I didn't know until like halfway through, and then I actually had to tap out. I'm like, I can't do this. It's Jack Tober. A celebration of all things shitty in radio. That's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jacktober. OMG.
Jeez. Posts, polls, bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for Jock Tober. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited today. You are. Before I announce the show, <laughs> I want to start with a little pregame. Oh, good, good. Well, here comes the pre. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. Mm. Oh, no. Hi, who's this? Yeah, this is Bobo, right? Oh. 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 He was going to jump right Oh, in. that poor kid. wonder what he's up to. Oh. Um. <laughs> our pal uh, Jenny Hutt. <laughs> yeah, this is Bobo. I, 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 relax. Oh. We'll get back to you eventually. Oh, Bobo. Fuck. <laughs> a little on the needy side. Oh, Holy fuck. We'll get back to you eventually. Relax. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Jenny Hutt, who does a show here at Sirius XM. This okay. is the pregame. That's right. We got a quick clip of Jenny Hutt. She still does a show here? Yeah, they sort put her of. in a closet for an hour a day. Oh, is that it? it? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's a show? Yeah. Okay. Just Jenny. That's a show. Just Jenny. <laughs> That's a show. <laughs> and um, <laughs> she was on uh, Showbiz Tonight, really? Yeah, she started doing a bunch of that uh, talking head, bad pop culture stuff. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why she gets to do it. Well, we haven't been asked. Are you saying Jenny Hutt? Better than us? She puts on a better show than you, yeah. Fuck. Say that. Well, she was acting like a hole on showbiz tonight. Uh, what about you, Jenny Hutt? I... Boo Boo's mom says, by the way, Boo Boo has never seen any of Walken's movies. It's you think? I, I, I would guess that's pretty accurate. She, she did a good job, though. I think she did a great job. I happen to really love the Honey Boo Boo and Mama June version. I love the dynamic between the <laughs> two of them so much. I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of Honey Boo Boo. I would have liked to see them reenact the Pulp Fiction scene with the needle and Uma Thurman and John Travolta. Oh, AJ. I th well, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh AJ. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, fuck, you had to add something. You added nothing to, to the discussion. The whole thing was that. I don't know. That was a complete whole line. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jay. Oh, hey, Jay. You got to admit, though, you're talking about TV that anybody can turn on and watch. He, AJ took it a little far with that one. He did. Needles. Yeah. I hear you. You know. Oh, hey, Jay. Does she look better on TV than when she's just walking around oh, these hallways? Oh, now. Oh, I would OP. say she looks about the same. <laughs> Oh, uh, babe. So the makeup doesn't do shit? No. Jeez. Oh, just wondering. Oh, Time no. for Jocktober. Yes, it is. Does she hang around just to get celebrity photos? Yes, she does. Oh, is she Jenny Jimmy? Hutt? Yeah. The fuck is that? No, but she does it like, she'll be here for hours trying to get she'll celebrity photos. She'll be here photos. for hours. Jimmy sort of works around his schedule, and right. that's the difference. Does he? I've seen Jimmy stay here until 3 p.m. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is somebody supposed to get his uh, picture of Shaq signed or something? That was yesterday. It was mission. yesterday. How was the mission? Was Accomplished? It successful, E Rock? Yep, all done. Uh, we didn't talk about this on the air, right? No. Jimmy wanted only E Rock to take care of this task. He didn't trust anyone else, and he went through exactly what you were supposed to do, right? Yes. And what were you supposed to do? Oh, um, and had, how big is the picture? He had a big, one of those big art portfolio bags. Giant. It's a poster, not yeah. a picture. It, now yeah. he's making up. Posters. Well, if they're big people. <laughs> Only if but, they're big people. But tall even small people. people can get big in a poster. <laughs> but no, but his logic is if they're tall in real life, I want a poster. Right. He's only he only has two posters so far. Jimmy's crazy. He's got <laughs> Kareem Abdul Jabbar because it's a tall yeah. person, so that has yeah. to be a poster. Right. This is his logic, his latest logic. And then we'll have to ask him about it on Monday. He told uh, me that he had to make Shaq that big because Kareem was already that big. Yeah, and because Kareem was already a big poster, Shaq has to be a big poster. Yeah, yeah. He has it's... nowhere to put this stuff. Yeah. No. So anyway, so he brought in the big Shaq poster to be signed. It's Shaq and Jimmy, of course. Mm -hmm. Specially the... made poster. Uh -huh. Yeah, four foot by two foot. <laughs> four foot <laughs> by two foot. By two foot. High gloss. High gloss. Yeah. Poster. In this uh, art portfolio <laughs> bag that you would bring portfolio? sketch work and yes. stuff. Yeah, right? yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see people like walking in and out of like like art studios with, with these giant flat right. uh, things with handles on them. And he's got one of those. Giant. He's four got, foot by He's two. got everything. He's got everything he needs uh, for his uh, amazing his uh, addiction. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> All right, so then what happened? So uh, I was instructed, had to be laid out on a table, something flat. 
with also the special paper that he had with the photo under it because if you lay it down just on a table and there's some kind of crumb or something on the table, it'll make if a you dimple. go to sign, it'll, yeah, it'll make the dent into the photo. <laughs> so I have the, the he explained all this to you. Yeah, so I had to carefully take it out by the edges. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He said by the edges. By the edges because he doesn't want fingerprints smearing up the, the photo well, unless sure. it's Shaq's fingerprints. Nobody's allowed to, to smear this thing. <laughs> so you have to pull it out by the edges from the bag with the special paper. Did he show you this or just tell he you? He showed it to me. He demonstrated. He de yes, he did. And he will, by the way, when he gets back here on Monday, study oh, yeah. the poster. To make sure none of the rules were broken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, he I, is a nut. I pull it out and it has, this is a nut house. It has special yeah. protective paper on top of it. It's like very what? It, almost like, like rice paper. paper. Yeah, like that. On top of it, which you have to take off gently and, and display it out there, I had a post-it note with his name off to the side, not on the photo, so it wouldn't stick to the photo, right. so that Shaq would know to sign it to, to sign Jimmy. Sign it to Jimmy Norton. Right. We got Shaq. As, as soon as he came up uh, in the elevator, he was walking into the lobby. Shaq came over, signed it. He, he pointed and looked at it like he recognized it, but didn't say anything. And he goes, what's his name? And I said, Jimmy. <laughs> Signs everything there, and there, he goes, there you go. And somebody's, uh, I guess Getty's taking photos of him signing Jimmy's photo. He decides to lean on the poster <gasps> like this. With his arm? With his arm, like that, as they're taking the, uh, some of the photos. Did you say, hey, you stupid uh, guy? No, I, this guy could have easily killed me. Oh. So he signed everything, he walked away. I had to uh, get the trace paper, put it back on there after two minutes so I could let the ink dry. <laughs> He told you to wait two minutes? Well, he said you have to give it some time. Did to you let time it... it? I timed it. And I made he pulled sure. pulled out his iPhone fucking stopwatch. <laughs> Put the trace paper back on it with the protective paper on the bottom, slid it back into the bag, zipped it up, handed it to Club Soda Kenny, who then took it. Dude, here's. Now the, now the poster, is, it's going to be a problem, even though Shaq kind of like creased it with his elbow. It didn't look. You're gonna have to. Crazy. You're gonna have to tell Jimmy it's not your elbow. You yeah, know but that. But if it's Shaq, it's fine. Dude, dude. Do you have proof it's Shaq's? Because he's gonna ask for the proof. The Getty photographer. All right. You phone. might want to get that picture. Yeah, he I'm will call you out on it. He'll go. What the fuck happened to the poster? You Eric, know what? Eric's gonna have to buy a Getty picture to right. prove his. You know what would be the 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 greatest thing and worth the price? Take that fucking thing to somewhere. Get another one made, and completely fuck it up. Like like sign it bad. Smudge it. Put shit under it like sand Crumbs so it comes through. From your hoagie. Kink up the corners and then put it in his little folder thing and just leave it. So when he opens it up and pulls it out, he loses his fucking mind. And just say you brought it to lunch and you dropped it in the street in <laughs> a camera. Yeah, over he it. would lose his fucking mind. Jim has an account with a, with a private photo lab that's always on call. <laughs> He's a, always on call. Oh, Jimmy is a fucking lunatic. I used to be that guy. I, it was too much pressure. It, it was is. too much stress. When I was hanging out with Jimmy, I, I had to take the pictures. We've all had to take the pictures, and I just couldn't do it anymore. It was way too stressful. And then it's just going to sit in the portfolio. Yeah, he, my mistake. Everyone has made yes. a mistake. And when you make a mistake with the picture taken, you're done. He you finds someone else. Yeah, and, yeah. and mine was the famous down in Philly. You get one chance. It Jimmy. was Zombie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Rob Zombie, yeah. and I made the mistake of having a uh, window behind uh, Jim Norton and <laughs> Rob Zombie. And there was a supernova happening behind them Not, if, from the flash. I wish it was. Then he would have a, a real reason. It was a slight flash yeah. that you could see in the reflection. And he had to get that all photoshopped out, yeah. and I think that was the last picture I, I ever well, yeah, took. That was Jimmy. it. I mean, he talked to me about that photo years and years and years <laughs> later. Oh, yeah. Did. That was his, like, example of what, what he say? Of a well, screw-up. Like, I don't remember. Like, we were talking about Rob Zombie and how I like him or something, and the first tidbit of information he had about Rob Zombie was that, mm. yeah, I got a shot with him once, but, oh, he fucked that up. He took a photo, <laughs> and there was a flash in the background. We were in front of a window, and the whole thing was <laughs> fucked up. Still upset? Yeah, he's not happy about it. Oh, he's still not know. happy about it, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's met Rob Zombie multiple <laughs> times since then. <laughs> he's just not happy about that one. Yeah, well, this. that's just it, too. Like, he sees these people over and over again. It's not like he's n he just sees them once. Half of them are like, oh, I like your comedy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, it's like, right. Jimmy. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm glad it was a successful mission there. Yes. Yeah. A little stressful, though, huh? Very stressful. Oh, no, fuck yeah. Come yeah. on, now. Come on. You're the go-to guy, though. He likes you. Congrats. Because I, I helped him with. Uh, remember when he got Black Sabbath at the Rock and Roll? Oh, yeah, that thing? was a. Oh, my God, was that a biggie?
We, that, he, that picture had a fly places. He had the big blown <laughs> up photo yeah. that he brought in when Black Sabbath with Dio came in. Yeah. We had to have a special table in the back of the old studio laid out um, perfectly clean so, so the photo could lay there. Multiple yes. markers for everyone to sign. Oh, it. it was a big pain in the ass. Yeah, and someone had to stand near the table the entire time while Black Sabbath is on the couch and you guys are doing the interview. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> someone had to guard the table. Yeah, I think Pat Duffy was standing by the table. The by the way, that, time. that is another poster he has. He does have yeah, that as another poster. poster size. All right, time for Jocktober. All right. Very happy. Today is oh, Terry October. Clifford Day. No Whoa. way. Today? Yep. Yep. Oh, nice. Which means I, I will not be able to call uh, Brother Louise for at least a month. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he begged me. He goes, look, I, last time I saw him, he's like, please, just don't do Terry Clifford. And you're like, bro, you know I got to. Yeah, I did say bra. Yeah. I got her. Most of the he's in the same town as her. They they they're in the same circles because it's a all small right. radio market. You know, as far as the shows and all that. And... She really doesn't do much on her on the uh, the B Morning Coffee Club. There's already a link flying past me. Oh here. no! It's just they don't waste any time. <laughs> she doesn't do that much. So most of this October is focused around one story that they just went on for hours about. Literally. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, what is it called? Today's Country? W B E E 92.5. Today's Country out of Rochester, New York. Uh -huh. Rochester. All right. Here's today's Jacktober. I just received word from the new president of the Livingston County Farm Bureau. He sent me a note saying that uh, he's got a lot of feedback. I did a great speech last night, so in your faces. Oh, good for you. Oh. Yeah, that makes me very happy. As well it should. And you know what that means? You'll be doing another one a year from now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine with me, man. They were great people last yeah. night. I had a really good time, and I <laughs> ate about eight pounds of prime rib. Hey. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, what was that about? The guy gave a speech, and they liked it. That was doldrums. That was really bad. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll be awesome. Damn. She thought the ribs were awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to eat a bunch of ribs, and she was like, awesome. Was that on the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounded like it would be something you would just say before the mics went on. No, right in the morning. <laughs> that who gives a shit stuff. There's some. All the, right. Their Facebook is, is getting a lot of weird photos on it. What do you mean? Like what? Well, there's one guy with a vacuum cleaner uh, hose attachment. Well, he's trying to make his dick uh, bigger. Yeah, he's got the shaft of his dick sucking into the vacuum uh, well, how else do you fucking hose. stretch it out there? It's a picture. You got a small one. Keep the cop photo bombing in a photo <laughs> All right. frame. Nice. Uh, Jocktober approved banner with my face. A girl holding up a sign that says E Rock. Ah, and making a face. Oh, there's a cartoon picture of a house with a tree on top of it. But it's a tree. <laughs> the tree is growing out of the roof. Right. It's like there's a tree on their house. Yeah. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> That's See? a tree on the house. Okay, I a got tree. a tree oh, on my house. God. That's disgusting. Another photo on WBEE Rochester Facebook page. And this is two women making out, but there's shit between their mouths. Yeah, there's two Asian women, and they're totally making out, but there's shit just squeezing out from between their the lips. Of course, the classic uh, Game of Thrones guy with a brace yourselves. Jocktober is coming. Right. Yes. A robot with tank legs and a penis for a nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. What is that? I don't know. But Chop I don't me like coming that. out of a vagina. Yeah, it's bad. Ronald Reagan dice. <laughs> Ronald Reagan dice. <laughs> the fuck? Ronald, Ronald Reagan dice. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a good one. Yeah, Chip Chipperson, Jelly or Jam, you decide. Well, we're still trying to figure that one out, yeah. sure. Um, hey, Elect Goldie Mayor Wilson. Goldie Wilson. Oh, boy. Happy Jocktober with a dark brown uh, Indian-looking gentleman with a swastika T-shirt. Sure. Uh, Bob Kelly uh, is a baby. Coke mm -hmm. float in my cup. <sighs> Very good. A lot of stuff going on, on on Facebook. Yeah. We realize Facebook. we uh, share the same listeners. Very sure. strange. There is some crossover. Well, Terry Clifford tells a story about getting confronted in the makeup aisle. <laughs> it's going to be gold. I, I, yeah. The nerve of some people. Mm -hmm. I have to say that I was stunned. I was in the makeup aisle <laughs> yesterday looking for... <laughs> I was stunned. I was stunned. I got to say I was stunned. I, as she was telling this story. She is a beast, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's a very fat woman. I had to take my headphones off and ask Travis if Terry Clifford was doing the show just for me. <laughs> and I realized the story she was telling. Well, shouldn't the people in the store be stunned that she was in the makeup aisle? Yeah, really. That she could fit in the aisle. Right. <laughs> the nerve of some people. 
I have to oh. say that I was stunned. I was in the makeup aisle yesterday looking for uh, some oh. some a couple things, and a woman came up to me, and she and she was pretty heavily made up herself, and she was she was older than I was, Whoa. and she says to me, "You know, hon, if I were you." I w- you need something to clearly define those eyebrows of yours. Oh my God! Can you believe it? I thought the she was, fuck is? I thought she was going to tell me to get a face transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Come a long way with that lately. And see what's going on in this Facebook wall because more. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know this must be a W B E E ad campaign. Okay. Oh. Uh, because it's a man with a sheep <laughs> saying, "Baby, can we do it in the pooper?" <laughs> w B E E. Uh. <laughs> There's a, a picture of a dolphin with Hitler's head, and it says, hey, look, a dolphin. A dolphin. A dolphin. Adolf. Club Soda Kenny dressed as a disco man. Oh, well, that would be John Travolta Saturday from Saturday Night Fever. Uh, hey, it's a, a woman. A woman uh, and a horse um, having sex. A woman having sex with a horse. That's great. A woman having sex with a clown. Wow. Uh, there's a Troy on my house. There's a Troy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Troy on my house. house. And it's Troy Kwan's head mm-hmm. on the roof of a house. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. There's a Troy on my house. Uh, it's Anthony. <laughs> oh. With a Nazi field hockey team. Oh, yes. no, they're ice hockey. No, that's a female yeah, ice hockey team. Yes. Yeah. But Nazi. Oh, yeah, God. that's a real picture. Oh, Jesus. A woman uh, with a black penis wow, that's not on nice. her lips. In her mouth, Why would yeah. You do that? Oh, it's <laughs> great party. <laughs> great party. Uh, I got shit on my radio. A Scott Shannon quote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Opie saying, good luck, bro, pointing a pistol uh-huh. <laughs> towards the onlooker. Oh, this was last year's thing. That, no, it's uh, Jocktober, oh. but it's everybody with jocks. There's a uh, me eating out Jim Norton's ass. Oh, uh, amazing. Opie, uh, Opie smelling a jock strap and touching himself. Uh, E-Rock, very fat. Yes. Uh, and Anthony, yours. I'm uh, just nude. Your penis doesn't fit the jock strap. <laughs> no, it's too no. Big. The, the <laughs> cup is dangling off the head of my <laughs> immense pecker. Off the tip. Yeah. The thing is, this is all on the Facebook page of WB. That's weird, man. Yeah, Why yeah, are they yeah. allow that from their listeners? Uh, <laughs> let's go back to the. Uh, the clip we were playing. Ron, there's a Terry Clifford's in the makeup aisle. E Rock's head on a fat woman's body eating some food that says real Florida BBQ. Florida? <laughs> BBQ. <laughs> BBQ. You know, hon, if I were you, mm-hmm. I w- you need something to clearly define those eyebrows of yours. First of all, I'd let them fill in a little bit. They're way too thin. Ugh. And then I would paint. At least something on you is. <laughs> 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 it's a Troy on my ass. And fill in a little bit. They're way oh. too thin. Yeah. And then I would paint the remainder of them in. You and she used this. She used this phrase for such a full face. You need harsher eyebrows. Now oh. I've got a problem with two ends of that sentence. Don't tell with me my what? face is full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is your stomach? Yeah. She's got a full face. Your face is full. It is full. You know what they were trying to say? You have a full polite. face. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's way more polite than a lot of these photos. And more. I mean, the yeah. Troy on my house has been posted many times. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a good one. The Clubosaurus yeah. Kenny. <laughs> Clubosaurus Kenny. It's a black woman. <laughs> It's Kenny's head on a brontosaurus body. It fits. Looks good. On <laughs> Pictures of Troy when he was in that band. Oh, well, gangster. Uh, <laughs> Roland with the Energizer bunny ears on that says, don't get the panda angry. Uh, oh, two, oh God. two erect penises touching each other. One, uh, one is a little smaller a little than the small. other one. Yeah, the I'd other one so. uh, kind of bigger. If yeah. you're going to touch penis heads, you got to make sure they're the same yeah, size, right? Hey, uh, do you have the Tom Hanks thing? Sure. Before we go back to Jocktober, I guess Tom Hanks just cursed on Good Morning America. It's oh. a big fucking deal. This thing will be everywhere by Cares. tonight. This is how it went down. That's a little bit. Well, if you say it with an accent like that, they won't tell. Where was it? I want people to buy me. Fucking good. We are so sorry. Uh, <sighs> good morning, America. Man, oh man. I'm sorry. I slipped into a brand of acting. <laughs> I have never done that before. I would apologize to the kids in America that are watching this right we now. And cool. let me say, next time on the show, there will be a seven-second delay. Oh boy. oh, boy. They're so sorry. Oh, God. They're, they're so freaking sorry. out. They're freaking out. 
How sorry are you? Oh, God. Oh. On the same note, there's a picture Jesus. on WBEE's Facebook terrible. page. Yeah. It's a man with his face blown off. Oh, then terrible. Right above that is a picture of Roland right before he passes out that says Mexican. Mexican. M-E-S-S-I-C-A-N. But it's Mets. Mexican. Mexican. He does say Mexican. Mexican. We're Mexican. So why do we give a fuck that yeah. that people say curse words on tv still does anyone Why care anyone who cares care? in the end who's really getting hurt here they the children they uh completely panic all they right they did back to jocktober wbee in rochester new york the b morning coffee club with uh steve <laughs> newman and terry clifford terry talks about how stunned she was same story same story. With the full face? <laughs> With the full face. You In just... the makeup aisle? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, was this like a Wegmans employee? No, Were they like featuring w- makeup or something? No. Or was it just a... Are you kidding? They can't feature anything in that store. It's so crowded. Good grief. It was just a random shopper it unsolicitedly just... started to throw her two cents oh, my and God. convert <laughs> a makeover. I was... Stunned. I was, first of all... She sounds fat. Uh, how are you stunned by that? She just sounds fat. Huh? Her voice sounds fat. Doesn't it? <laughs> She's got a fat sounding voice. Yeah, of course. You know what's more stunning than that scenario? Huh. A rhino projectile shitting on their face. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you go. <laughs> now I'm stunned. Uh, that's great. But if you're stunning. a big gal, yeah. how are you stunned that someone uh, references your full face? Your full face. How are you stunned you're lucky by that? they said full. Takeover. I was stunned. I was, Blue. first of all... I was silent. I looked at her. I went, I, I mean, my mouth was open. Yeah, because you're I eating. Went, well, <laughs> thanks for the advice. I didn't know what to say because I wanted to say, how freaking rude. Yeah. Oh, but I wasn't going to say that. You don't why? think people not notice your fat face? I did not say that. So, why would you say that? If how she's, I would so rude. say that. Someone takes a shot at you in public and you're, what? <laughs> yeah. Don't you go right back at them? <laughs> These folks uh, are getting resourceful. Uh, There's a where picture of a uh, very young, felt, sexy Opie with his brother in front of the uh, Magic Castle there in Holy Disney World. Holy fuck, where do they find that one? I don't know, but you are looking like a million. Where did that bucks. one come from? Wow. Sleeveless shirt. No, it's not sleeveless. I used to roll up the sleeve so I could get an even tan. Even cooler. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good point, Travis. Even cooler. Oh, my God. That's a horrendous photo. That doesn't look like the Magic Kingdom castle. It is, though. It is. I yeah. went down there. Uh, it's weird. It's off to the side. I went yeah, down the there with my brother view. many, uh, many years ago. Oh, yeah. Wow. Where the, where the fuck do they fuck. find that picture? Flowing blonde locks. <sighs> See, that, that was before I met Aunt. Wow, that long ago? About. Jesus. Well, I know why you're at Disney About, World. About, I think. Huh? This guy is at Disney World because this guy knows how much young pussy there is. <laughs> That's oh, right. Yeah. That's right, Sam. Yeah. You tell him. By the right. way, I'm getting word that phase four could be complete. Well, we didn't even hit phase one yet, so let's see. <laughs> Let me click the old reload. Okay. And I'm hearing phase. We're in the process of reloading. We go straight to phase four today. Phase four is complete. <laughs> What's phase four again? Complete Terry, shutdown? Terry it's Clifford complete is... shutdown. It went, <laughs> shut from, down the Facebook went from phase zero to phase four yep. immediately. Uh, no, uh, just take the no. fucking pictures down. No, nothing. There. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Oh, and Terry Clifford has shut down her personal Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to look at that one. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. His brother was on vacation this week i hope he is oh I, wait I, I don't want to deal with I, this today i clicked on uh yeah. steve hossman who's the guy on wbe yeah and under friends he's got two and one is a guy named mark and the other is brother Weez. <laughs> oh no <laughs> your radio mentor op what, is, what does he look like he's right there steve. not Weez, the other guy yeah uh, i don't see any pictures really his voice sounded a little familiar and i'm not even oh do you know this guy he's got an ipad yeah right that's here. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he used to, to work. A hipster. He used to work with Weez. What else does he have? Yeah, he used to work with Weez. So did you? Yeah. And look what's happened. I've, <laughs> I've actually done radio with that guy when I visit Rochester. He used to be uh, on Weez's show. You like him? Yeah, he's all right. He's no Terry Clifford. No. <laughs> all right, moving I, I, on. I want to. I want to uh, wear um, yeah. a wrestling knee pad. Okay. And I'm thinking a brooch. 
A big <laughs> spider brooch. <laughs> Go with the hipster bit still. Yeah, hipsters have like to wear it. two really odd things. And then they fit in. And then they, no and one then no one questions it. anything. No right? one questions it. You're a hipster, man. Yeah, I yep. probably wouldn't notice if you did that. No, why would you? I'm just being cool like you, everyone else. Exactly. Here in Williamsburg. All right, why don't we uh, go back to uh, the B Morning Coffee Club, starring Terry Clifford. Starring. <laughs> Last we left you, she was in some kind of makeup aisle in uh, Wegmans. In Dullsville. And starring she uh, and someone said that she has a full face and she should do a few things. Look at her picture. And she was absolutely <laughs> stunned that someone would actually reference her as having a full face. She does have a full face. And when you're discussing and, makeup, right. I would gather that your the size and shape of your face is important. And I've heard about these people that are so nice they will not like go back at you. Yeah. Even though that person is insulting you. I've heard I heard people are that nice uh -huh. where they could control themselves. Sure. She said it would be rude to to talk back to her That's after rude. this lady said she had a full face full face all right let's see how uh this concludes and here's Boots' favorite saying and he used it again on me last night you gotta stop being such a welcome mat oh and that <laughs> aggravates me when he says that oh. well i just was stunned that someone would say that to someone they don't even know oh. Oh. and secondly why it's our whole job to make you look better right so they got it. That's tell what those you, makeup girls do. You're an idiot. If there's something to compliment, they <laughs> will compliment you. But if there's nothing to compliment you with, they'll they'll go with the full fucking face. Say, thing. look, oh, look at her face. <laughs> Holy shit, she has a fucking Andre the Giant face. Her eyes are a little too far apart. <laughs> oh my god, is she the weirdest looking thing? <laughs> and, and she's wearing a, a tag that says Big Easy. Big Easy. <laughs> that's who she is. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, is she terrible? Is that a full face? Yeah, that's a full fucking face. You would swear that's a guy. Yep. <laughs> you would swear. You would go, that's a guy. Holy fuck. You think that's the type of remark that hurts her feelings when she talks to Brother Lee? <laughs> oh, oh, God. I don't do this. I like going to Rochester. Oh, man. It's just gorgeous. a matter of time before I run into her. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to have to play that part where I didn't mean it and all that shit. But you did. You meant all of it. I well, mean, was every single fucking word. Re worry. Weasel be like, Terry, this is a, this is a Opie. Oh, you. Oh, now you. Oh, Terry, it's you just for the You've been radio. mean to me. No, it was. You've been, no, no, you have. Tell you the truth, listen to the tape. It was all Anthony. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I've used that one oh, before. Oh, fuck yeah, you got to. That's the best part about having a radio duo. You're able to blame the other party for everything. <laughs> Look, Gets I, you out of a lot of jams. I really had nothing to do with that one, Terry yeah. Clifford. He's obsessed with making uh, fun of fat people. Right. I, I try to stop him. If you listen to the show, <laughs> right. you'll hear. I'm a big fan. I kept stopping yeah. the audio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept st exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, get back into Terry Clifford being stunned, amazed. All sorts of shit. Yeah. Terry Clifford. <laughs> Someone's uh, monitoring and saying the show uh, has not talked since this whole thing started. Oh, boy. Why? Like, Do why? your show, man. I don't know. They get very upset. They go into battle mode. <laughs> they just shut down, batten down the hatches. And secondly, oh. my eyebrows look fine. I get them done professionally once a month. Why bother? <laughs> I mean, honestly, why fucking bother with... I don't understand fatties. It's the people uh, like ourselves that are uh, borderline good looking. Uh, you gotta t you gotta take care of your shit. Yeah. But if you're in the sub borderline good looking category, why yeah. bother? You're absolutely right. Why yeah. bother? No one's gonna look and go, wow. Her you eyebrows. Know? Her wow, eyebrows. You know, I thought you were a two, but now that you got your <laughs> eyebrows done, I'm gonna give you a three. And the retard bangs ain't cutting it. <laughs> They really are just too high. Yeah, let's be helpful today. Short. Yeah, we're the, being the, helpful. The perm, this is helpful. The, the perm is way too tight. The perm's Unless too that's tight. your natural hair. If it yeah. is, then grow it out. Get those curls a little looser. Oh. The bangs that go completely straight across your forehead, four inches above your eyes, way is, too high. is not happening. Okay? She does not have one redeeming quality. Could someone, uh, this. Could, could someone Photoshop all our faces into her uh, hair? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do we do that? Before we work great. on the hair too much, yes. yeah. how about she loses two people worth of weight? Right. That's the biggest thing is her. Yes. Oh, God. The biggest. We got to uh, honestly, have her lose some weight. Honestly, if you, if you don't want people to notice your full face. Throw a neck. 
No. <laughs> get some breast implants. Oh, she is a flat so. <laughs> guys like looking at titties. She's a flat so. Show some cleavage. They'll leave your face alone. I don't know what to do with the linebacker back. I always assume fat people can just open the closet and just grab anything and put it on and not look. Because they don't have to worry about looking good. They could just right. put on fucking a gunny sack and go to work or something because yeah. no one's going to look and go, oh, she fucking looks great in that. That, that must be freeing. Let's ask yeah. E-Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why he's wearing a Skeletor shirt? Well, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the flow chart. Yeah. I can't help it. I was yeah. going to say I, I don't make the rules. There's an E-Rock flow chart around here. Right. Coke floats in my cup. Coke floats in my uh, cup. Jesus. <laughs> The what hair is, is just too tight. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. The bangs are too high. Uh, and she does have nice eyebrows, across. though. Sexy. They are Give terrific. Give her those eyebrows. Although, uh, a nice arch. Nice little arch to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, like, punching targets. <laughs> <laughs> her ears are, like, in her head. Yeah, yeah. She's got those inny ear lobes. Where her head is just naturally trying to consume them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking sign that's too close to a tree after like 25 years. Yeah. It just starts eating the sign. That's what her ears, her head is eating her ears. Yes. Right. There's no. an earring that's like getting engulfed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. All right, let's uh, continue with this clip. Her in the makeup aisle at Wegmans. Secondly, my eyebrows look fine. I get them done professionally once a month. Well, now you said that oh. she was a little made up. Thank you. Uh. Thank you. There's a guy that was almost honest. Almost. He's like, you're, he wanted to say right there, you're delusional. He was a split second away from honesty. Yes, and then had a bell. And a giant blowout. Because the, <laughs> the show doesn't yeah. say starring whoever this guy's name is. It's starring Terry it's, Clifford. She should exactly turn her. Right. She right. should twist her ear and have Arnold's head in there. <laughs> she really has a big fat head. <laughs> it's Terry Clifford's morning coffee club with the uh, others. With the others. Terry Clifford is the marquee performer. Does she dress here. up? Yes. Does she dress up as the as the two weeks broad for Halloween? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Can we do the two weeks? Uh, fat Can you find that picture? Split screen it. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah, she does Mom. have that fat head. Well, now you said that she was a little made up herself. Why didn't you just come back at her and say, well, what about your look? Well, because I don't want to be confrontational and get well, in a fight in the middle of the aisle at Wegmans. She said, what tribe are Wegmans. you in? <laughs> See? <Yeah. laughs> Believe me, I could have come up with enough oh, zingers, but man. I just... But you didn't, so shut up. <laughs> I hate these people. Could you either have. do it or you don't. Could that, have. That could have shit sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> I could have, really? It, it's the same broad. It really is. That's the same broad. Oh, God. It's the same broad. Oh, that's See, but the two weeks broad has the longer hair. See how it kind of two softens her look a little weeks. bit? <laughs> two weeks. Uh, she's got a, um, a it, very big head. It covers up the ears that are being swallowed by the skull. Yeah. Oh, God. She was scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, now we got the two weeks there, broad on our right? screen. Now let's. <laughs> we, oh, God. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Wait. That's All right. good. All right. All right. That works. All right. Come on, Sam. That works. Come on. There you go. There All right. you go. All right. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see it. There's some similarities. Definitely. There. Oh, God. Violet Wegmans. She's a, what tribe are you in? <laughs> see? <Yeah. laughs> Believe me, I could have come up with enough zingers, but yeah. I just wouldn't do it. Oh, my word. I was stunned. I was absolutely stunned. That, and then I got so mad at myself because I was so stunned. I just got in the aisle, paid for my stuff, and left. I never even bought what I was after. <laughs> so as a result today, I'm not totally made up. Uh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Wow. No <laughs> one God. noticed. Yeah, thank God you said that. No one noticed. No <laughs> one cared that you're not made up. No. Sorry. Uh, Anthony. Yeah. Oldie time deep sea diving helmet. <laughs> Plus tap shoes <laughs> <laughs> equals Williamsburg hipster. And then you just meet your friends like in front of one of the Asian fucking restaurants yeah. in Williamsburg. Uh, and you're, you're having a great time. Sure. Yeah. Uh, mo Sam wrote this because I'm going to have to deal with Weez eventually about this. <laughs> Sam writes more on this dumb lady. <laughs> I want to get back at her on your behalf. Actually, I want you to get back at her. But I shouldn't live that way. That's not a nice way to live. Well. You I'll... think you could have taken her? 
when oh, it came down to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, duh. Look at me. I could have sat on her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you think you could have taken her? You're saying nobody. She could take half the fucking guys in Rochester. Nobody notices whether she's made up or not when she has to sit on two desk chairs to broadcast <laughs> <laughs> next to each other. Uh, Get the ones without the arms. That's on not them. a nice way to live. Well, you I'll, think you could have taken her? Like oh, it came down to yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> would you hit her first in the stomach or go right for the jaw? Yeah, how would oh, you do that? I've yeah. never considered that. I don't know. <laughs> or just a, qu a quick oh. kick. I probably would have just, you know, cut her down to size with my word. You know, <laughs> I get, I get, you're fantasizing. Tell tell the people you'd punch her in the fucking face. I got to tell you, that clip rem made me think of something. Oh. That's how Fez would sound if he had a sex change. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. How do why? you know? Huh? How do you know? I don't know. I just had a visual. Oh, why do you say this? Stuff? If Fez had a sex change, he no one a, else heard that? He had a rough Look, day. Look, just the, the last day. part. Just, just the yeah, last part. Maybe we should just. Last I want to get back at her. On Hold on. Last part, though. Oh. Humor me. Didn't he have a tough day the other day? Yeah, time? how would you really? do that? I yeah. never considered that. I don't know. <laughs> or just a, oh. qu a quick kick. I probably would have just, you know, cut her down to size with my word. <laughs> you, you hear it. Oh, no. You hear it. You hear it. <laughs> oh, no. You hear it, though. <laughs> There's something there. It, if there was some it. hormones <laughs> introduced that, right. that would raise the voice a little, let me hear it again. <laughs> I knew you would hear there, it. There's... Oh, no. I knew you would hear it. Oh, no. Yeah, how would oh, you do that? I've yeah. never considered that. I don't know. <laughs> or just a, qu a quick kick. I probably would have just, you know, cut her down to size with my word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. saying if he had a sex change, th yeah. that's not going to happen. So he should be, you know, he should be all right with that, right? It's a standalone <laughs> fruit. <laughs> you know, you know, it's. Fez no. did have a rough day because he was upset that uh, Chris, yesterday, I yeah, think Chris Stanley had uh, mm. when he brought in the clips of you and Jimmy talking about intern Dana. Oh right, he also included the clip of uh, Opie asking who talks more, Fez or Dana. <laughs> oh no, and the answer that's what in. got him going. Yeah, because I mean, it oh, was indeed. Fuck, I'm sorry, Fez. Oh, but no, I mean, you shouldn't apologize because Sam's the one that said Dana talks more. Uh, he, she does. I was just asking the question. She does. What I mean, happened there uh, in, on the show when they brought in the audio of Jimmy calling her a midget and, sh and shit? Dana wasn't in yesterday. Oh, uh, but uh, I heard she shut down her Facebook. <laughs> really? <laughs> Which uh, apparently Iraq, she developed got quite an ego over. Oh, Iraq got something on after that? the first clip. There was just this long pause. And Ron hits the console and goes, what took them so long? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Ronnie. Ronnie rolls. Oh, that's I believe good. he said he could listen to it all day. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And well, Jimmy fucking flew <laughs> off on her, man. Midget. Um, oh, fucking, you're, you're a f average Jane 5. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got to say... Maybe I'm getting soft because now I'm a father too. Terry oh, Clifford boy. sounds like just a nice lady. Oh boy! Oh boy! Was that before? She just sounds or... like a nice lady. Opie. Was that before or after you commented on her retard bangs? Uh, <laughs> I didn't say retard. Bangs. I said retard bangs. But then Opie said we should Photoshop all our faces into her hair. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good carnival game. And then, <laughs> and then that said, would be fun. fun. And then said as if it could were... someone do that. And then said as if it were factual, not a joke. Mm. Let's all be honest. Terry Clifford looks like a man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? What happens when you leave the studio? Well, no, no. It's, little... it's when I go to Rochester. Oh. I've got to deal with. Oh, okay. So that's. Oh, all right. Oh, no, you're I'm just, fine. With you're it. just covering for the next trip but to Rochester. I could just hear that she's a nice lady, though. Is she? Yeah, man. Oh, she I would, would just. She allows ba people to basically say. To tell. To point out her fatness right in front of her, and she doesn't even yeah. respond. Yeah, that's she true. is a fat that lady. Takes a though. special person. She is a big fat I bet lady. She does a lot for the community. I bet she does. And charity. Yeah, but and... Erock works for you, and you call him fat. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Good point. You know? Yeah, but Erock's like you know 
fat. I bet if she, <laughs> uh, I bet if she did Jocktober and goofed on a radio station, they could never say, "Well, I bet she doesn't do anything for the community." Right? Because I right. bet she does. A she lot. Yeah, she shopped at Wegmans. That's yeah. doing something. I bet she's very community active. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if she's active, but she does a lot for the community. Yeah. She probably sits around a lot. And doesn't do much. Oh. Active. Oh. And, yeah. Mm. Well, you see, she's so overweight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I think I think she did it to herself though. Why would she bring that story to the show? That's why I told I was talking to yeah. Travis about it's... why on all days the day that I'm recording you oh. is the day that you're bringing up the fact that somebody came up to you, you a stranger you came up to you and said you have a very full face. <laughs> why would you do that, Terry Clifford? Learn. Like, you're not a good-looking woman. <laughs> but you probably have other qualities that are nice. Can you imagine yeah. what this is doing to her? If she but got what? so flustered at Wegmans that she didn't even end up buying what she wanted. Right. Just because of that one little comment. I mean, God bless her for trying and all, but... And then you can hear from the guys. They're like, are you really <laughs> telling this story to us? Do you think that they all know how fat she is? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I bet they the do. The one guy paused because he wanted to say you're delusional. Of course. Of course she should say that. Yeah, you have a full face. It's full of cake. It's full of, it's full it's full of very full. roast beef. It's full of whatever you can get your hands on. She's whatever probably, you could shove in it. She's yeah. probably trying, though. Oh, 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 Listen, we've been, following, oh now. we've been following Terry Clifford for five years. We've done five? Yes. She was there for the first October. Wow. And? She's been fat ever since. <clears throat> yeah. The Twitter's now down. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? And supposedly they haven't gone live in <laughs> ten minutes. Oh, people. She's probably crying. <gasps> you made her cry, Opie? I hope not. Last time she cried. There oh. were tears, right? Mm -hmm. And then she'd have to wipe her tears mm -hmm. and go back on the air and do that show. Because that's the, the kind of professional she is. Wait, she said that? Right? I think that was another person. Oh, that was, that oh was... I thought it was her. No. Oh, well then, fuck it. <laughs> oh, just another I still think she's casualty right. left in the wake of October. Yeah. Let's take a look. Hang on. But if we've done it five years in a row, she must know it's coming. She's like, yeah. she's the queen of October. Yeah, Put it on thought, your calendar. She thought maybe this time she'd made it through because it was kind of late in October. Like, oh, and, we only got another like week and a half. And plus, so. Opie had been, you know, she knew. She would talked to Weez and said, hey, yeah. tell your boy. Uh, Weez was campaigning for her hard, man. Yeah. So in the middle of the summer, by the way, I'm up in <laughs> Rochester having yeah. a good time. And he goes, hey, brah. Sorry. Terry Clifford's a really nice lady, brah. I see her all the time at Wegmans. We go to the same restaurants, brah. He sees her in Wegmans? All that shit. He goes, please. I'm like, the one who said I go, I don't even know. Day. I go, that's months away. I don't even know what we're going to do this year. Relax. Did he say she had a full face? Is, is he oh, the no, one? Oh, he never said any no. of that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? what? Jocktober 2012 is the Twitter name for this person. Oh. It's got a picture of you guys, but I don't think you have anything to do with it. Because mm -hmm. this person on Twitter just wrote, at Terry WBEE -E is a fat cunt who should die of AIDS. Oh, Jesus. Of the cancer <laughs> of the know? AIDS. Which is just like... <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. Well, I mean, die of AIDS of the cancer of the AIDS is just... <laughs> it's such a even, terrible way to go. Does that even too. mean? Oh, oh man. Why would you even Terrible. read that one? I know that's really what? bad. And I'm not even saying that so <laughs> oh. so you read more. I'm like, it's why terrible. would you read that one? Just to tell you what's going on. Oh. I had to shut down my oh, Facebook wall. Christ. Hashtag fat lady tweets. Oh. Come on. Terry Shivo, greater sign Terry W B. Well, she uh But she got that big check for all the bullying, right? Terry Clifford? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think no. You what? Know, no, confused. That was a. That was Rochester. That, that was her. That was, that was a Terry. <laughs> what? That was a bus monitor. That was a large, dumb, oh, fat woman. Shit, I thought it was the same person. Yeah, no, that oh. wasn't. Oh, I thought like the kids weren't making fun of her. I thought today. in the end she did well because she got the big check. Yeah, no, that wasn't her. Oh, that was, uh, look, she's like has pictures where she's doing all this nice stuff. Doing good stuff for the community. Oh, she went like to we don't do ever. She went to Goodwill. You don't care about the community. We don't care about the community no. at all. Oh, not in the least. She's as big as those two people together. So big. <laughs> and those two people ass. are fat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're also flat -sos. And she wears sensible clothes. She just wants to wake up. She wakes up happy in the morning. Yeah. In a good yeah. mood, ready to put on a good show. With her Andre the Giant hair. <laughs> oh. She dresses like someone working in a hardware store. <laughs> just trying to find out if anybody wants a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's terrible. Pulling up to the studio with four white horses. Yeah. 
Are we done? This one was. I think we're un- done. This was uncomfortable. This one. Well, I for, for you. <laughs> I didn't feel good about this one. Yeah. Just blame no, it on the you show. Shouldn't blame it on the rest of the show. It's just a man. It's just the show, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Obama and Mitt Romney told jokes last night at the Al Smith dinner. They told some jokes. We're gonna go to break with uh, Obama making fun of uh, himself here. A little bit. And uh, we'll wrap up next. Stay there. Ultimately, though, tonight, not about the disagreements Governor Romney and I may have. Uh, It's what we have in common, beginning with our unusual names. Actually, Mitt is his middle name. I wish I could use my middle name. (laughs) This is the Opie and Anthony Channel. On Sirius XM. It's not the same like it was. Erectile dysfunction has become a serious epidemic. Pussy is over. Don't mean nothing no more. I can't get a heart on. Take it from legendary comedian and ED sufferer, Pat Cooper. It's no joke. I'm not making this shit up. You're with that gorgeous muffer. And you're in bed and it don't happen. Happened to me. And she goes, what's the matter? I said, I, 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 said, I think it's erectile dysfunction. She goes, what's that? I'm fucking dead. She goes, you mean you can't get it up medication isn't the only option i tried cialis i tried uh, viagra i tried everything i'm fucking dead if you or someone you know is suffering from erectile dysfunction contact your physician to explore alternative medical treatments i swear to you i went to a urologist he says how do you feel i said my big thrill is peeing i said when i was getting laid i said go ah ah now that i pee i go ah 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 it's the same fucking thing it wouldn't have cost me a dime just take it from pat Cooper, don't buy into the erectile dysfunction hype. Fuck all the bullshit. Your penis no longer works. Life as you know it is over. The doctor said to me, you're fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. New from Puddinhead Records, Opie and Anthony present Sitting and Singing, the Handicap Hits. I roll it with the devil. (laughs) Yes, I'm rolling. It's all the rock you know and love. Done specifically for people without leg mobility. Cause traps like good, and baby, we were born to roll. Just because your legs don't work doesn't mean your ears don't. Just ask Van Halen. Hey, I wish I could jump. I'm never gonna jump. Might as well just sit here. The hits just keep rolling in. If only they could walk. Ah, yes. I would roll 100 miles and I would roll 500 more. But my hands would hurt because I'm rolling. Get it? I sit in the chair that you're in. Now face north. You roll around 90 degrees and still just sit here. It's sitting and singing the handicap hits from your pals at Puddinhead Records and the Opie and Anthony Show. Ah! This is the Opie and Anthony Show. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go oh, oh, home. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go oh, oh, home. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go oh, oh, home. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go oh, oh, home. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go home. Anthony has left the show. Yeah. We had a huge argument over the Terry Clifford thing. He didn't thought, like it. No, I, what? No, I didn't like it. Oh, I got the way to fuck up my bit. <laughs> I Jesus. knew what you were gonna do. This is why we can't do radio together. You don't know where I'm going. No, I know where you're going. I was I the guy this there. time that was gonna be the guy that had a problem with it. No, you just want to make it easier for you next time you're in Rochester. I don't want you getting there. No. So I'm going to slam the brakes on. Do you really want to know how I feel? How do you feel? I feel a little bad about this You one. do? They've been in like, they haven't talked in like 15 minutes. You know, you told me to do Terry Clifford every day for the last. I know. And okay. now I feel. And next year, you're just going to want me to do it again. I don't feel too good about myself on this one. You should feel all right about yourself because you provided then again, so much why entertainment. Would she, why would she talk about that on her show? <laughs> So it's her fault. Well, I gotta blame somebody. I can't take the blame myself ever. Back already? 
Yeah, I decided that piss turned into a dump. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to do a bit with Sam and he fucked it up. Oh, Sam! Yeah, but I you know how we don't discuss purpose. stuff sometimes, and I'll just go with something and go, "Oh, I know where he's going." Yeah, not Sam. Sam. I knew. I go. We was... had a huge fight over the Terry Clifford thing, and he goes, "Yeah, Ant didn't like it." I would be the one that would have a problem of with this. Right. You would, but I went the unexpected no, route. Whereas now you're you trying were far to more spin it because you want to Sam. Out feel like you did something wrong you were far more predictable i knew where you were going sam you were the problem and man. i veered far off the road the hell? and i don't feel good about the terry clifford one rolling give me uh oliver stone's new movie oh okay i don't feel good about the terry clifford one. no not really are you gonna are you gonna cut this part and put it on your phone so you could play it for, <laughs> for <laughs> weeks i don't feel good about See, it. this is what i did terry clifford Nah, I mean, there's a, there's someone monitoring the station. They haven't talked in like 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's probably very upset, right? Uh, yeah, but she was the one talking about makeup and a lady saying that she had a full face. Yeah, that, that that's uh, worthy of uh, just Fuck. being slammed. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Just slam the shit out of her. Because she had some woman say her face was fucking full. <laughs> so take that and run with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just are horrible people. I just I... yeah, but if if it was some like I don't know, she went to like pick pumpkins or something, it yeah. wouldn't have been as brutal. No, we'd have talked about how the pumpkins looked like her big fat head. <laughs> what? <laughs> or that she entered herself in the the giant pumpkin contest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're right. I'm sure. No matter what she talked about. All right, give me another one. Let's see if we can. S steer clear of fat jokes. All right. What's something uh, radio people talk about? Uh, Boring radio people. Leaf like they would talk about going to uh, a pumpkin farm. Leaf yeah. peeping. Oh, like a fucking uh, looking at the colors of the foliage. Leaf yeah. peeping. All right. Yeah. right, right. Did cars pull over when, when you were looking at the leaves because they thought they saw a moose? <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh. See? Well, that happens. If you go to New Hampshire, all of a sudden the cars all pull over. Yeah, yeah. They see a moose. They see a moose. All right, give me another one. Well, there is... Uh, Halloween's coming up. Yeah, maybe like your favorite trick-or-treat uh, costume. I was going to say candy. Too no, easy. No, no, too easy. trick-or-treat costume. Yes, yes. Mm, she would have been pretty safe there, I think. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's really nothing you nope. can do about, you know... Nope. ...dressing up as um, Hulk... Stay puck like marshmallow that. man. Right? Things like that. Right. Dressing up as the world. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> just put a fucking just put a map. Wear a map shirt. <laughs> all right, we failed in that one. Yeah, Give me another that's one. Terrible. Um well a lot of uh, we could always go back to the bre favorite breakfast cereal bit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and cereals are not, you know, everybody right. eats cereal. That's fine. Exactly. Yeah. Just not in such large quantities. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think finally if they talked about cereals, it wouldn't have been as bad. That wouldn't have been bad at all. Yep. Yeah. All right. There you go. We found one. Yeah. Yeah. But you had to talk about how a lady said she had a full face <laughs> in her makeup aisle. What? I mean, Terry, please. What were we supposed to do? A full face. Fuck. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do you want to get right back to the fugitive or if you want to get an update on a previous Jocktober? Well, I got, oh. a, I got an update on one, too. Well... Terry Clifford Station still hasn't put up the Facebook page. <laughs> they, I think uh, they're waiting till November first. <laughs> We're such idiots. Really? They? Oh man. Go there. Have, as of okay. yesterday, they still didn't put their Facebook page back up. Have you last year? No, no, from this year we this got year. her. Oh, you oh. weren't here. Oh, you weren't here for the you Clifford. Terry Clifford. You did Terry Clifford? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why he would do that to you. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why would you do that to Jimmy? He was all in too. How uh, awful was she? Not good. She wasn't good. Okay, well, the WBE oh. page is up. What but happened? The discussion good. was on how a lady kind of made fun of her because she was trying to get makeup. Uh huh. Which was just like, like, why would you bring that to the show? Why would if you, you look like that? Yeah. What's the Facebook page? The WBEE Facebook page is still up. Okay. Let's go to Terry Clifford. No, Terry Clifford is not up. <laughs> oh boy. With it, well, what happened? Did people post some <laughs> un unflattering things? Yeah, does we said anything to you? I, I, I'm too scared. You avoid this call? Every time the phone rings, you just look at his name, and you're like, I'll get back to him in fucking December. <laughs> he begged me. 
I said, look, I'm, only, I'm, only, <laughs> I'm like, I'm only one voice. I said, I said, I can't control these animals. I threw you guys under the bus. I'm like, I just can't control these animals. You threw us under yeah, the yeah, tree. Oh, yeah, I had to. <laughs> you can't control these animals when you were the one who so far every day this month has been like, oh, wait, man. Is something wrong with this? What happened? Oh, boy. What about this one? No. No, no good. Oh, man. I guess they're broken. What we happened? said uh, every day. Is it? Is today is today Terry Clifford Day? That's what you said. Well, I think the old find me a jury. <laughs> I, I think find the old didn't want to go home. Jury. Didn't you want to go home during? Thank Terry you, Clifford Jimmy. Day? Thank you. I don't think that's a little true. something extra in your Christmas stocking for that. <laughs> and I think we might be able to squeeze in a little Jocktober today. Yes, we oh, need yeah. to do that. Got anything special today, Sam Roberts? Yes, I do. Don't give I me a read because I'm gonna fucking hit the can. I wanted to make up. We had no Jocktober yesterday, mm -hmm. so I wanted to make sure today's counted. Yeah, it has to. Is it a strong one? I think so. What city are we going to? Oh, we don't want to say. Don't want to say? No. What country? We don't want them to be on to us. Country. <laughs> Is it Canada? Local? Sort of local to us? Mexico? Local-ish. East Coast-ish? East Coast-ish, I would oh, say. Yes. All right, that's good enough. Same time zone. That's all you need. It's Jocktober. A celebration of all things shitty in radio. That's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jocktober. Hosts, holes, bits, and stunt boys. This is It's time for Jock. October. I want to see the boat movie. 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 I saw the space movie. I want to see the boat movie. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. So when were you going to talk about it? Eh. You didn't like it? Eh. Ah, oh, you Come on. I thought the effects Hold were on, amazing. Man. What? I saw it in IMAX 3D, too. Yeah. yeah. What, I, what was I, the problem? It looks great. I, I, I even said, I go, it's like being on a fucking ride. It's great. Amazing. You're Amazing. fucking in it. You're in sure. it. You're floating around. Got... Other than that, first of all, fucking uh, Sandra Bullock is... Thanks. She's fucking. She's exactly the same whiny girl that she is on the bus and fucking on the net and every other fucking movie she was in. She's the same fucking thing. There's nothing amazing about it. The story itself was just like I found myself getting a little bored. She was stuck in space. <laughs> bored. It's nonstop action. I know. That's the good part. Going from you know fucking space station to space I, I, station. I, I I did like the 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 scenery. Did you believe was George great. Clooney as an astronaut, or were you thinking, holy uh, shit, little, it's George Clooney in space? I was a little out of it with <laughs> right. George Clooney in space. All right. But uh, yeah, visually, I don't know how they did it. It's the most cutting edge fucking. Uh, cinematography I've ever seen in space. It's it's great. Uh, but... Did you like the get-to-know-you part of the movie when they finally decide to ask questions about, like, uh, where they, they're they from and stuff? Stuff that they would have known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's the one thing that did bother no, me. But I thought, not enough to say the movie sucked. I, I didn't say it sucked. It was it looked great. I, and, thought, you and think the she was, I thought she was really great. I didn't think she was really oh, okay. great. I thought she was Sandra Bullock like she is in... It, I, it was like speed in space. I'm not a fan of Sandra Bullock, but I liked her in this one. No, I didn't. Uh, and there was that, I, I don't want to give it away, but there was that one thing that I thought yeah, they were yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. that annoyed me. And when I realized they weren't doing it, I was like, that was a tremendous... That really yeah, yeah, yeah. took me off guard. I was like fucking very impressed that uh -huh. they did something certain that... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I thought that was pretty brilliant. Yeah, there were, there were you know, I just didn't find... Like, I, I thought I was going to go in and go like, holy fuck... That was the greatest moment. I, I tell you the truth, I like the boat movie better. Wow. You know, they said that was a total crock of shit. The yeah, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. could I could give a shit. You know, I'm yeah, there yeah. to watch a movie. Sure. Uh, and and uh, I like the boat movie. Hmm. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I can't believe you got bored during Gravity. It's 90 minutes, and it's like about a person that has to. Dude, there's only like two minutes of downtime. I know. Space. It, I, 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 it's two minutes on where purpose, they're working. Yeah. Like there's, 2001. There's two minutes where they're working mm. a wrench. Uh, besides that, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like nonstop action. No, I know. As far as. I mean, story wise, I got bored. It was kind of like, you know, all right. Do you like when uh, oh, was, uh, George Clooney? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
It was some good stuff. It, I, like I said, it looked great. It was, uh, it was kind of creepy. Even when drops the wrench, you're like, holy shit, is she going to get the wrench back? Oh, my God. Yeah, there was certain... It's very tense. The floating, the movement in space that they, I thought they painted so well. It was great. Yeah. It was fucking did impressive. You, did you like the opening yeah. shot? Yeah, that was very How they cool. really took their time and... Oh, fucking amazing. Just showing you how vast it really it was, is up there. And there's Martians dancing. I was like, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looked great. It looked great. I, I like Sandra Bullock, and I typically don't love her. I think she she's... Uh, in this one, though, I just thought, uh, maybe I cried a little. Oh, God. <laughs> maybe I did. Did you really? Maybe I did a little. What part? I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe there's a couple parts. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I'm emotional. You are emotional. Oh, little Jimmy. <laughs> All right. All right, Jack told me. I like Jack. What? So what would you give it? Let's do the ABC thing. Uh, out of five stars. And you can do the minuses five and the pluses, stars. too. No, I got to do stars. No, out of five stars. Well, I got a lot of places to do the fucking ABCs. I don't like the ABCs. Yeah, me neither. I'm How five. many stars would talking I'm a, I'm a one through five stars. All right, one through five. Uh, do, you ha do you do half stars? I do do half stars. All right, sure. Let's go. I would give it three and a half. What? All right, that means you like three. Them. Yeah. I I liked it, but, but I barely. thought I would give I it. thought I was gonna get blown away from everything I heard and yeah. Sometimes and you get overhyped. I thought yeah. amazing. I would have given it five. I would have, I would have given it a nice four. Four uh, solid four. Solid four. I might have given it between four and a half and five for me. I'm taking it back. I'm giving it one. Yeah, <laughs> I can I can do anything I want. What you is can't? it? One star. Did the four. frog mean anything in that movie? No. The frog's been bothering me ever since. I don't think the frog meant a thing. Why? The frog. There were like three actors and a frog in this movie. <laughs> so yeah. the, the director said, we need a frog. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know. There's some deep shit with that frog. I like the I just haven't figured it out yet. All right. Well, I guess we're... Um, October in? Into October. Well, Sam handed the disc, and he said, do not turn it over. Don't turn it over yet. I want you to do the thing where you ask, like, where are we going, blah, 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 and then you can turn it over. We did that part already. No, but I didn't tell you where we were going. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Turn it over. Rochester, New Whoa! York. <laughs> oh, good. I think I'll be there next oh, week. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yes. Are we revisiting? Oh, yes. Uh oh. I think you have perfect timing on this one because I think my pal's on vacation. Okay, good. I think. If I read his tweet correctly the other uh, day, I think uh, he's away this week. I'm hoping. It's the middle of the Brother month. Wheeze hates that we do this. I have to just stress that because he has to live in Rochester. He's the big, he's the big fish in Rochester, and he hates that we go after. It's oh, Terry Clifford boy. Day. It's the uh, middle of the month. We yeah. missed a day. I figure, why oh, not? Oh, no. Terry Clifford. At the B Morning Coffee <laughs> Club. B Morning Starring. Coffee Club. She's Starring. a nice lady. Terry Clifford! Oh, God. Who is Weez she with? says she's a nice lady. That's Which, great. Uh, Terry Clifford is the star in the main attraction, mm -hmm. along with Steve, who's just kind of the anchor. Steve Hausman? Uh, yes. Oh. Yeah, he used to work with Weez. He's not a bad guy, by the way. Oh, my God. Listen to this. this a lot is of some, nice guys up this there. This is some fucking lineup for, uh, for Jocktober. Some wind-up. Hey, no, she's nice. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, she's five cans on that. Weez got to me last time I was oh, up there. no. Like, he kind of begged me. He goes, can yeah. you please? Bro, she's nice. He's like, ah, bro. There's so many shows you go after. Is it true that phase one is already... Um, I'm walking in now. To I, I, heard, I think they're prepared for this. They've been waiting for this day. Uh, I, I, I think. Well, somebody deactivated her personal Facebook. Immediately. Oh, I, uh, hold it's on, like man. emergency procedures Wait, in place. The show is mainly Terry Clifford and uh, Jeremy, who's the uh, younger, dear, kind of outrageous dear, guy. Look out. And it's sort of Terry Clifford trying to, you uh, know. Rain him in? Maybe a little. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Jeremy. I don't think she's officially a whole, though. You don't no. think so? She's, no. No. Maybe we'll let Jack she's, Tober she, be the she, she fucking ah. clogs them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's say hi to Nick in Tennessee. Nick. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, um, NASA actually just released a photo of uh, one of their launches. And if you zoom in, like, uh, where all the fucking flames and stuff are, you can actually see a little fog. Oh, we didn't talk about this on the show. That's oh, true. Yeah, I did see that. I that was pretty that. fucked oh, up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't see the movie, but you were talking about frogs. And I figured oh, okay. Out. There's something going on with the frog and gravity. Mm. I'm not going to let that one go. Thank you, Nick. Because <laughs> they, they chose not to have a lot of fucking, you know, people in this movie. No. And, and then they have a frog? What the fuck? All I right, we're going to uh, Rochester's new country. It's not new anymore. I think the Facebook uh, 
maybe closed already. Why? Yeah, it's gone. Wow. Yeah, they, they phase. All right, then we don't do it today. Mission accomplished. They must have like just been dude. It's a, ready. Do you understand what I'm saying? I I go to Rochester a couple times a year. It's a problem. Oh boy. Weez is begging. He goes in the same circles oh, as these boy. people. He gets squeezed out of the same circles by her. <laughs> He's begging. Oh, apparently someone's saying not true and puts up a link to the uh, Facebook page for the Bee Morning Coffee Club. All right, well, let's hear it. Maybe, we, maybe there's some good stuff by Bee Morning right. Coffee Club. All right, maybe they've uh, changed their tune since uh, last year. There's a Facebook for the Bee Morning Coffee Club. Bee Morning Coffee Club. Let's see. All right. <laughs> right now they're scrambling. <laughs> yeah, still, that's cute. Just scrambling. Is that it, Sam? Uh, he's he's checking. Sam is um. Uh, who is this? Mm -hmm. Who's out there? Look at the Kenny wannabe. That's a young um. Hey, short version of Kenny out there. All right, are we doing this or what? Um, we dude, found something. Uh, there Not is. only are we ignoring Wheeze. You made sure it was all Terry Clifford clips. It has to be. She's the <laughs> highlight of the show. She's the best. Hey, it's there. Okay, yes. The okay. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Falcone. He died for your radio sins. All right. No. Uncle Paul. But their last post was from 2012, <laughs> October. So this rule. Yeah, will... yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll bet you they put that up as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking guys. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what Siamese twin one double? Oh, that, <laughs> that's hilarious! <laughs> Look at little Jean Bonnet. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious! <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. They're actually putting photos of it's Terry, Terry Clifford. Clifford. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's hilarious. All right. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a phone shoved up a guy's head. Oh, that's just so much. Oh, that's great. All right, All here right. we go. Today's okay. October, Rochester's new country, WBEE. The B Morning Coffee Club with Terry Clifford. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's two other guys on there, too. Oh. Whatever. One of those guys is Jeremy, and Jeremy cuts off Terry Clifford with a sweeper. Uh oh. Do you think Terry will sound like a hole here? Oh, I bet. Rochester's new country, 925. Oh, Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy! That's me. Oh, oh Jeremy. That's me. Oh, she, uh... How's she looking these days? By the way... She's very fat. I believe... Mm hmm And this is just me. Uh-huh. I think that this... Is a dummy page, a fake page? Is a fake page yep. probably created... By Jocktober people last year, that is now getting Jocktobered again this year. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I bet. Or, or it's a, or it's a fucking diversionary page. They leave up there. But it says in parentheses, no bad language or inappropriate photographs, please. Hmm. Which is not something you'd actually put. And there's there's, and then it says the first post from a year ago. Hope our fans start posting some nice messages soon. Huh. I think that. The Jocktober folks started this page last year. <laughs> They're attacking, <laughs> attacking their, their own, own page. <laughs> their own shit. They've become self-aware. Yes. Wow. How's Terry, how's Terry Clifford looking, you ask? I can't tell if, um, like, I, I wouldn't be able to tell if her voice was sexy or not if you didn't know what she looked like. Right. Like, I'm listening, because a lot of female jocks, they, uh, they portray themselves as sexy on the air. You, all you have to go by is the voice for the most part. Sure. Uh, especially in the old days. Sure. You know? Um, and I can't separate her image that <laughs> she looks like fucking Chubsy Ubsy from the Little Rascals from uh, the voice to try to imagine. I'm going to really try next time, next okay. clip you play, right. to see if I would listen to this and be like, oh, she has a sexy voice. Well. Why don't we? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! She honestly does look like Chubsy Ubsy. Oh, oh. she's a handsome woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh Miss Crabtree, I have something heavy on my heart. Weez doesn't want us to do this. No. <laughs> I think I'm safe as long as I mention that on the show. Okay. Oh, of course. Yeah. 
They got some roots up there. It's I'm just waiting for the day I, I run so into So does she, monster. and they fucking push the <laughs> sidewalk up. Uh, the gang talks about Happy Meals, uh, adding oh, books well, of instead course. of toys. Oh, this should be uh, a good clip. That's yeah, nice. McDonald's, they want to do that. At least the kids in my family, oh, my God, they're going to be so excited to hear that news. Never mind. I think it's a great thing, and I think it's a long time coming. I can't believe they didn't do this a while ago. Of course you do. No. <laughs> if I'm a kid... If I'm a kid... She, first of all, I just tried to separate the voice oh, from you the did. image. How, how'd and it that, go? She sounds fat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just she something in the... <laughs> there's just something in that resonance in the vocal. You don't like, like her that, Muppet hairdo? mushroom hairdo she's got on. It's fucking oh terrible. It's Susan Waldman wig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh my God! And then why would you cut your bang she, straight across like that? And she's got like some kind of like a chip thing going What's on that? too. There's oh. a certain chip aspect to her voice. I kind of like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah a fan. I think she's kind of nice. That she's a nice lady. Hairdo. That sensible hairdo she has is infuriating. Who's that? Uh, Avril Lavigne. Get it? No way. Yeah. Is Where? It? Yeah, she's here. Fuck, Fuck, open the think. door. All right. Avril, take a picture. We should take one. Yo, Avril! Yo, Avril! <laughs> Yo, Avril Levine! We're running out of time. We're going to run into William Shatner's time. It's true. Oh, man. I'm off. Crazy. Uh, today's October is WBE, Rochester's New Country, featuring the great, I say the great Terry Clifford. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, she is great. At least the kids in my family, oh my God, they're going to be so excited to hear that news. All right. Never mind. I think it's a great thing, and I think it's a long time coming. I can't believe they didn't do this a while ago. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a kid, that's the whole bad deal with the Happy Meal is the toy. I know. Go in there. I'm not going to finish my nuggets just so I can read. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you better eat your nuggets or you can't have the toy. You lose that leverage as a parent. You do. Bad move, McDonald's. Bad move. <laughs> Here's our weekly peek at what's new to rent, stream, or download. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's unbelievable? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. These things Jeremy says. Terry Clifford has never heard anything like this before. She's a delightful woman. Oh, Jesus. She reminds me of my mother. I bet. She's very Rubenesque. <laughs> Rubenesque. Delightful woman. That I bet her calves need some lotion. Yes, voice. they do. She probably has. My mother would get like dry, flaky calves and feet. <laughs> Chip on my psoriasis needs lotion. <laughs> That voice it's pretty bad. is horrendous. And then you couple just the that 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 fucking job of the hut blah 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 that she gets in there. You put that with the, that that <laughs> <Jabba> the fucking <laughs> accent. Anthony is fucking mean. That Rochester <laughs> accent on top of blah 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 blah. blah. So, so you're saying there's audible big fat jowls? Yes, things. big fat jowls. <laughs> Sounds like she's got a fish caught in her pelican neck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Steve Hausman, though, I give credit there. Yeah. He knew it was a bullshit story, and right. he wanted to move on with his shit. Yes, he did. And I think uh, somewhere in there he was wishing that he was still on with Brother Weeze. No problem uh, with Steve Hausman. No problem with Hausman. He wasn't going to play with that dumb story. He knew there was nothing there. No. Terry starts talking about flags hanging in the Rochester area. Jeremy gets her with a zinger. <laughs> oh, I like a good That's zinger. Right. And with a picture of each of our... You know, our lake and our falls and our river right next oh. to it. They're very pretty. Just the first one that caught my eye. How would you know pretty? Oh, gee. Oh. Yeah. That's <laughs> very mean spirit. Oh. <laughs> that one, Weez, is going to have to talk to you about <laughs> yeah. that one. Yeah, line. Bro, did you have like to call story. her a pig, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gave me a fucking talking to. He never gives me a talking to. They're very pretty. Just the first one that caught my eye Oof. said City by the Bay, and I thought, what do we have this for? We buy it on sale from San Francisco or something? Um, I know you've only lived here about... I don't like this too cool for the room guy uh, either. Everything... Uh, I, I know it's all about Terry Clifford, but what about like, that guy? Dude, uh, you know, every no. word he says... Ah, uh, you know... It's just like... Uh, no. Yeah, I know you like flags, Like he's trying Terry. way too hard to be, uh, I'm too cool for this shit. <laughs> 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 she's got a chipper yeah, thing going on, <laughs> something like that. She's marvelous. Uh, you know... Fuck, Terry. 
this for? We buy it on sale from San Francisco or something? Um, I know you've only lived here about 30 years, but uh, Arondacoit, there's a bay there. I know Weisenheimer, but when somebody Whoa! says San Francisco, <laughs> they should not take any bunk. Yeah. But then, so anyway. Weisenheimer. Exactly. Weisenheimer. Look out. This guy's good. Uh, Weisenheimer. Where's the zinger? What year is this? I thought Terry Clifford had the zinger there. No, Weisenheimer's no, no. good. See, That's a zinger right there. You missed because she called him a Weisenheimer and he mumbled, shut up, pig. They <laughs> <laughs> missed that part you too. Know, <laughs> hey, Terry. Hey, you know. Hey, Chip. Uh, What's up? <laughs> Are they on Twitter? Why would you uh, ask? Because I don't want to, I think it's just mean spirited. We should say at least something nice to them and say we're just kidding and having a good time. Yeah. Terry no. can't believe how far Jeremy has gone with one of his insults this time. Oh. Oh. This time Jeremy has gone too far. Are you going to waste all that manpower and labor to hang him up and take him down in the same month when you could use that time to, I don't know, maybe pick up some trash around this? The same street you're hanging these uh, sign, uh, flags on. You know, we all think we can do a better job. We all do. Yeah, but uh, I don't. Know. It's always sexy. I know. And I shouldn't complain because I did enjoy them and I do enjoy them. Alex, yeah. Alex White over yeah. here. You know? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll debate that guy if Lovely Warren won't do it. Set it up. Call okay. Channel Eight. You get in there and I'll uh, square off against old uh, giant glasses. I don't. Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Jeremy! Oh, <laughs> Jeremy! God, that just sounds terrible. <laughs> I know. Can you believe Jeremy said that? He said he oh, had big glasses. Jeremy! Oh no! Well, she's a nice fun. lady. You guys. know how much she'd hate me if I called her retard wig on the air. <laughs> Fucking Lego person oh, hair. Jim. Oh, now Jim, that's not fine. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Moots in a cancer wig. She would jab. Oh, you know, we're just going to our jab. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that accent. It's so unsexy. <laughs> that Rochester. Oh, yeah. We're just going to, you know, come in here and do a good jab. <laughs> jab. <laughs> jab. Jeremy. Jeremy. I think we're going to say jab. All jab. Day all right. Well, <laughs> Terry is blown away by what Jeremy oh, said to his grandmother. Hurricane couldn't <laughs> blow her away. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing left. Her, she might have got knocked into the ocean like the Ferris wheel. <laughs> We meet Shatner's ready. I thought he was coming at 920. How long do we have, Mr. Shatner? He beamed in a little Where early. Is he? <laughs> well, he was originally scheduled for 9, and then we were told maybe it was going to be close to We got to bring him right in, though. It's Shatner. To 915. Where is he right now? Can He's we on his way. All right, let's take a quick break. We're yeah. going to do William Shatner, and then we're going to do uh, the rest of Jocktober. So we're going to get back to the Jocktober. Don't you worry. I guess tomorrow we'll do the Jocktober. Yeah, thing. we got to finish up. Uh, you want to do it tomorrow? Fatty pants. I don't like the Terry Clifford stuff. Oh, Jesus, this fucking character. I'm not acknowledging it. It's and it's another touchy feely one. He comes over and puts his hand on your arm. Just really? Like, yes. Well, cubic contact. I did have a lot of cubic contact. <laughs> Apparently not. Human contact. I love cubic contact. Cubic like, contact. contact. Cubic contact. Like Cube. What's with the fucking nasal? Why do I acknowledge him? I swear I talk. Who, Craig? Like, no <laughs> yes. Craig. It's oh. Jocktober. A celebration of all things shitty in radio. That's not very nice. Oh. Fantastic failures of pontificating nice. proportions. That's so oh. bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jacktober. O-M-G. Hosts, polls, bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for... Jock Tober. I want to see the boat movie. Boat movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was reading on Twitter. Some guy said uh, yeah. he wants to go see Captain Phillips so he could go to the ticket booth and just say, I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> right at the old ticket window. <laughs> I would imagine a lot of people are saying that. Oh, yeah, yeah. People <laughs> driving their spouses crazy. with. The, <laughs> what, what are we doing tonight? I want to see the boat movie. 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 It just sounds I retarded. Boat I love it. I want to see the boat movie. Do you? Okay. Got a tree on my house. <laughs> I got a tree on my house. <laughs> oh, my house. Oh, somebody. <laughs> fuck. Uh oh. That's a great. Happened? That's a great uh, motto to have. Somebody fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I need to be more organized. Uh oh. Guy, uh, guy, I gotta get organized. Yeah, gotta get organized. 
Okay, fix the phone. There's 40 guys with guns coming to kill you. I mean, straighten the phone out. He fixes the phone. <laughs> yeah, he, he fucking shuffles his paperwork when he's hosting <laughs> nightly news. That was also, um... And it's got Shannon Slam on Twitter. Basically, oh. uh, they were talking today. Fuck, where is it? Taxi driver did that, too. There was a thing on there, too, with the poster that said, I gotta get organized. And it was spelt different. It was oh. organized instead of organized. Wow. And he brought that up. It was a weird little fucking... I remember that. Just a quick thing in Taxi Driver, yeah. Organized. He looks... Hey. <laughs> Bobo is gay on Twitter, who's uh, uh -huh. defending uh, fake Twitter accounts in general. Uh-huh. I like the Bobo is gay. He writes, yeah. uh, Scott Shannon asked this morning if, if it's still customary to tip ushers at Broadway shows. What? And then he writes, what a fossil. What? Why would you bring that up on a radio show? Tip ushers at Broadway shows? No one does that. About. that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could catch that for... Wow. Maybe uh, you could have one of the guys uh, grab that clip, because that could be terrific for Scott and Todd Fry. I'm sure then he was put quickly put on the pay-no-mind list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably ignored. <laughs> the permanent residence. There. Right. Yeah, I got to do a phony phone call. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, jerky, I don't need to talk to you. I saw you went back and forth with the jerky boy guy. Johnny, he thanked me for, uh, yeah. he used to thank us for playing the audio and pointing out. He goes, I guess they're still stealing. So he, yeah. he's fully aware that uh, the yeah. Todd dude's been stealing from him oh, for yeah. years. Yeah, fucking just conceptual stealing, Yeah, thieves. stealing his concepts. Johnny's doing good, too, huh? Good. Yeah, he's doing voices, some cartoon voices. I like the Johnny guy. Yeah, huh? Uh... uh this is a to be continued that we're finally continuing. This is from yesterday. We're Jerry still Clifford. We're still on uh, Rochester's, Rochester's New Country WBEE, the Morning Coffee Club with oh, the great Terry Clifford. <sighs> Starting to yeah. feel a little guilt with this one. Uh, Why? I don't know. Because I'm changing. Ooh. He sounds like Chip. It's a head toward menopause. I think oh, I'm starting to that change. Is hot flashes. <laughs> change <of> life. Christ. <laughs> Emotional. And none, this shit never used to bother me. You need to take just, Compose. You know, Remember Compose? Some Boniva. <laughs> boniva and Compose. There you used to be a commercial for this fucking, this drug. It was called Compose. Keep stolen, man, because I'm not paying any rent. Oh, oh. And, and, uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm liking this. The commercials were this woman, yeah. and she's like just about freaking out. Right. She's like, oh, the daughter's getting married. And I don't know what to wear. She's getting... And then the husband has to come up and go, honey, honey. And he kind of gently grabs her chin in his hand. He goes, take Compose. And she'd take a pill and, like, be cool. Like, oh, everything's fine really? now. It, it's just... It, it's a Valium. It's, it's an amazing, like, statement on what was going on back then. So, like, it wasn't geared toward men at all. Like, a man would never take Compose. So it's like, we, compose yourself. Why don't we find the commercial for tomorrow? For tomorrow. Oh, yes, because any, we're uh, trying to get the E-Rock yeah. uh, thing Compose. over and done with. Get your fucking shit together, bitch. E-Rock gets paid within the hour. Wow. Before Piers Morgan. Oh. Uh, yeah, but the Terry Clifford thing, I'm yeah. starting to feel a little... little. Let's you know, finish it up. We'll be gentle. You know that hack bit where you got the devil on your shoulder and you got the fucking angel over here? Uh-huh. Uh, that's what I'm kind of seeing on my shoulder. Why? The devil's like, do it, do it, you fucking uh, piece of shit. No. And then the angel's like, you've changed. <laughs> I got two we devils. We not be happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate that bit. Every fucking cartoon did it. Yeah. Anyway, where were we, uh, Sam? What track? I believe we were right around track four. Terry mm -hmm. can't believe how far Jeremy has gone with one of his insults this yeah. time. Oh, if you remember, no. Terry Clifford is the lovable uh, lady, young, beautiful young lady. Yeah. What? That uh, is a host. lovable oaf. A lovable she is oaf. an oaf. Exactly. She's oafish. She's Del Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jeremy is the young. Really just too cool for the room. Doesn't guy. care. Hey man. I'm wild so man. cool I'm on He's a, a bit of a wild man. Country music station. That's how cool I am. But he gets extreme. Oh yeah. He does get extreme. But Sam his Roberts. point of view with his insult, he's opinionated, and that's why people love him. Oh Jesus. Love to hate him is more like it, you know what I mean? Oh now. But he doesn't care. Oh, come on. Are you gonna waste all that manpower and labor to hang him up and take him down in the same month? When you could use that time to, I don't know, maybe pick up some trash around this, the same street you're hanging these uh, sign, uh, flags on. You know, we all think we can do a better job. Of we course. all do. But yeah. I Oh, this is the jab clip. 
Jab. You better jab. You know, we all do our jab. I said this to myself a few times. A uh, jab. We all could do a better jab. Her voice is anti-sexy. It's terrible. It's the opposite of sexy. It is the anti-matter of sexy. We can do a better job. We all do. But yeah. uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. And I shouldn't complain because I did enjoy them and I do enjoy them. Alex, Alex, Alex White over yeah. here. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll debate that guy. If Lovely Warren won't do it, set it up. Call okay. Channel 8. We'll get in there and I'll uh, square off against old uh, giant glasses. I don't. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, oh Jeremy. Jeremy. That's why people fucking oh. hate women on the radio. Oh, God, listen right. to that. What? Who says that? Right, because they'll allow the guy to keep going. That, oh, I'd God. listen to that shit. Oh, Oh, Jeremy! Jeremy! What? Did you hear Jeremy say the guy had giant glasses? That is a yeah. little over the top. But then, then the yield sign, stop oh, sign, yeah. appears. Well, maybe that's what she drinks gravy out of. Oh. Giant glasses. <laughs> it's not your jab to make fun of people. Jab. Your jab. Hey there. What's your jab? <laughs> yeah. Picking up skills. You thought you were going to steal from me? <laughs> I'm going to have a hot meal, and I'm going to find your wife, and I'm going to kill her, too. <laughs> Sydney, have a fucking cream soda. Just don't make fun of my big glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeremy continues. Jeremy's just Oh, fucking, man. This guy's oh, out of control. He's on it. the edge, man. He's yeah. pushing it. This young broadcaster that's full of young cum. <laughs> <laughs> Terry is blown away by what Jeremy said to his grandmother. Oh, right. Wait till you hear this. I know. We went over to uh, Uno because she said something uh, as soon as I was driving through Henrietta. So I went to the closest place. So I just took a right there, Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It was so funny. She goes, um, she saw the sign for Marketplace Mall. She goes, Marketplace Mall. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> And I couldn't help it. I knew I should have not been a smart aleck. But I said, um, well, I don't know. I for, you know, I've lived here 10 years. I forget back home if they have these. But you know those places where, like, there'll be a whole bunch of retail stores? Oh, my God. Like, in one big building? You said that to your yeah. grandmother? Did uh, she fall off? No, she goes, okay, that was a dumb question. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and then she... <laughs> <laughs> that is, you still uh, feel it bad? That's fucking wow. hideous. Like, wow. <laughs> but he bothers me too. He that stinks delivery. too. Well, that story sucks. So, Smart Alan. And, and she's trying to pump it up with our stupid. You said that to you your said, grandmother? You yeah. You oh, said that? oh my gosh. I could see if he said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh. You said that? Wait, <laughs> said that? My grandmother said I was hungry, so I threatened to kick her in the womb. <laughs> All right, that's where you'd go. You said that oh, to your you grandmother? That? That's not your jab. It's not that's your jab. jab. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the third guy on the show, Steve, is just sitting back like, Leave I can't Steve believe. alone. He yeah, wants to be back with Brother Weeze, I guarantee you. Well, that's obvious. He's sitting back going, I can't believe I'm stuck with these two fucking idiots. Oh, man. He doesn't say a word when all this stuff Yo, is Yo, Steve, love you, miss you. <laughs> love you, miss you. That's love the, the ha houseman. Radio love, veteran of Rochester. Love yeah. you, miss you, is the official cold call goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your jab. Your jab. <laughs> Who said that to your grandmother? Your grandmother? Oh. Jeremy oh. talks more about his grandmother. Oh, great. That's yeah. Good stuff. Terry Clifford has never heard anything like this before. Oh, you practicing really? being cool? Yeah. I'm just not caring. I don't give no. a fuck. So we get home, and the old lady doesn't do squat all night. I thought I was get a home cooked meal, not a back scratching. Well, she traveled all day for crying out loud. She was probably exhausted. She had a 15 minute delay oh, in no. Chicago. In Chicago. <laughs> I had leftover Unos for dinner. Oh, my God. Uh, I didn't fly right. her up here to eat Unos. <laughs> Oh, Jeremy. Nah, but it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Oh, God. We all just pulled our eyes apart. Like, I know. Everyone kind of went, oh. <laughs> what a monstrous hole. Wow. She was like, terrible. David and the dentist going, is this real life? Is this real life? <laughs> oh, Jeremy. Oh, no. Jeremy. 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 He's saying nothing outrageous. Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's old Jeremy. Jeremy. 
<laughs> maybe she just really wants some Uno. Yeah, maybe she's mad yeah, that he didn't true. bring it in because he likes to bring in his crust and she eats it off the floor like a fucking farm oh. animal <laughs> during the break. I love her delivery, though. Oh, cheering me. Getting me very upset. Your grandmother. Oh. An hour and 15 minute delay in Chicago. 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 Jeremy. In this clip. She sounds like Gollum if Gollum was a fat woman. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In this clip, Jeremy talks about his grandmother. And Terry thinks he's gone too far. Of course. I swear it's a different clip. <laughs> Steve, a hot air balloon ride? Totally worth the money. That's why we want to do it. Julie and I would have a blast up there. Hey, Newman, Steve Bristol out! Mountain has the Achoo! Scottish <laughs> Highland Games on Sunday. Oh, that's where I'll go. Yeah, it's been long enough since my grandpa died. My grandmother could look at some guys in kilts. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love that. <laughs> hey, she's still a woman, Bert. Better than looking at your fat ass. Oh. Oh. I hate the way every time she laughs, she laughs like De Niro and Raging Bull. Uh, uh -huh. When he's going, oh no, she, she laughs like like Tommy Cuomo going, "Fuck him up, fight him, fuck him up, fight him." Like she can't believe what she just heard. Uh -huh. Yeah. I stopped the clip just before the Terry Clifford. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Just so you could really enjoy it here. Right. I'm sure she'll love that. Hey. <laughs> She's still a woman, Bird. Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, it's your grandmother. Oh, my. I'm uncomfortable for her in this conversation. I'm just kidding, for God's oh sake. God. funny. Oh, God, outrageous. It's, it's just, there's, oh, my God, it's nothingness. <laughs> and this guy probably goes home because he hangs out with Terry Clifford all day, mm -hmm. really thinking that he is truly outrageous. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Like, I wow. said some crazy shit today. Yeah. I, one thing about, like, my grandma looking at guys in kilts, oh, like, I can't man. even get into it. I set her off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look out. Yeah, grandma, her, you don't want to hear about what happened today. Yeah, her fucking, her awful, mm -hmm. her fucking, her, her Joni in the later years of Happy Days wig almost fell off. <laughs> fucking fat permed idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Terry Clifford. She is about a fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel guilty about that one, Oak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like her delivery now. <laughs> I'm all in. Uh, are you? Yeah, with that. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. You're on the other hand of the opinion that she's a fat piece of shit. Just about a fat piece of fucking shit. <laughs> what's, CM, what's CMF doing right now? Uh, I'm getting reports. WCMF, a station I used to work at a long fucking time ago. But I, Louise used to work for forever. Oh. He has moved on from there as well. Uh, it's all about October right now. One of Terry Clifford's staff is threatening a CMF in intern that sent Opie Radio a picture of Terry. Is that true? Yeah, uh -oh. I think uh, we're recording. I think they're trying to get our attention. Because uh, oh. he said that some intern took a photo, was listening to O&A uh -huh. while he was interning at this other Rochester oh, station. shit. And heard us making fun of Terry Clifford. So apparently he went out into the lobby and either took a photo of a photo or he took a photo of Terry Clifford and tweeted it. I didn't see the tweet. I, I haven't seen the tweet. But then they started saying that, like, Is yeah, it, and then Opie and Anthony started talking about the photo, and da-da-da. So who's saying that? What the, photo? Whatever the what morning they, show hosts are on this other maybe, channel. Uh, they maybe they thought about? we were talking about that yeah. photo when we were talking about that other one that was up yesterday. Yeah. Maybe. With her dumb fucking curly head Harpo Marx wig. And <laughs> <laughs> That's who it is. I would just toot a fucking horn and then push her into a fucking ditch. <laughs> Are you saying her perm is a bit tight? Oh, yeah. a bit on the tight side. Horrid perm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. We don't have a, a squeaky horn anymore. I need one of those. Honk. Yeah, the honky horn. But we're recording that station. So All right, we'll see what happens. But something's going on. <laughs> There's. Uh, that's it for Terry Clifford. All right. Can we maybe get a just a, a tiny taste before the end of October? I I, I feel like. Depends on your behavior. I feel like mm. the the people demand a little more. Just a little more. Just They're, a little. Just a little. If everyone behaves themselves, they may get rewarded. All right. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com.
Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony Show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.